Hey guys, it's Fia back again with another Twitch VOD for you. This one is from the 13th of February, 2022. Uh, more Heartbreaker Farms, bit of transmog hunting given that it was a Sunday, and I've just noticed that the batteries in my hearts must be dying because they're very, very dim, but that's fine. I hope you enjoy this VOD as much as we enjoyed it during stream. Be sure to jump in and chat with us. 4 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Or you can go to twitch.tv forward slash fiama forward slash schedule to see what that is in your time zone. And also, social media. Instagram is the big one. Please do throw me a follow, fiama.29. And then there's fiama underscore 29 on Twitter. There's also like a Facebook and a TikTok. The links are down in the, in the description underneath. So you can definitely check them out there. I look forward to seeing you in chat next time. And uh, hope you enjoy. Hi. How is everyone? Ah! Oh, Axiom! Thank you so much for the cheer. Much appreciated. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Let's get cracking, shall we? Ooh, start off with a battle. that down just a touch. A bit loud for me, I think. I'm... I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. Ah, uh, oh shit. I have to turn in that quest. Oopsie! There we go. Back into here. What am I placing? Kill melee units, place units. Okay, so I don't think the fly barrel get any kills, so let's go with the berserker for the best right very quickly very quickly um i know the camera's probably skewing the what oh thank you much appreciate you're welcome you okay you help me spam the hydrates now like you don't encourage them fuck <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, i'm tired <laughs> hydration yeah 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 okay okay uh eyeshadow gray in my crease, black on the outer corner and lower lash line. Purple in the middle bit and like a bronzy brownie bit in the, like the inside bit, like right in here. Yeah. So those are your colors. Enjoy. Have fun. Uh, this button. No, this button. There we go. Encoding overloaded. Why? From where? Oh, fuck me. All right. Let's close that. I'll close that. And hope for the best. I've got nothing rendering. I have nothing uploading to YouTube. Literally fucking nothing. I don't know how encoding could possibly be overloaded, but there you go. Maybe my computer is just actually dying. Wouldn't surprise me. About time for something else to go kablemo. Anyway, uh, let's... Let's have a read. Yes, the bot was not on because I had to restart my PC a couple times today because reasons. Um, so the bot, I forgot to turn the bot on, but there you go. K got first. Um, second for Ali and hello Nutty. I hope you're having a lovely day. Uh, Shiba has grabbed third. Koala has grabbed six to ninth. Yuri has grabbed last. Zam has grabbed also here. Hello Gribbon, a fear stream on time. Fuck you. No, yeah, it's, um, yeah. I, I thought I was running a lot later than I was, so I did my makeup really fucking quickly. It turns out I did actually have time to go a little bit slower. Uh, <laughs> but that's good, right? That's good. I was actually, like, I. it's a good thing I was early because then um, I got a really, really, really bad tummy ache just out of nowhere and had to go and, like, lie down to try to let things just happen. And yeah, so that was that was fun. Um, I, I keep having this sinking feeling in my gut like I've missed a day of Heartbreaker runs. I know I haven't, but it feels like I have, and it it feels like, oh, anxiety. Whoo, through the roof. It's great. It's wonderful. Hello, Twig, welcome back. I hope you're having a lovely weekend. Hello, Apathy. And hello, Axiom, and thank you again for your biddies. Much appreciated. It didn't work, it did not work the first time, but that's okay. That is okay. Hello, Kay. How was birthday dinner with the fam? Um, so birthday dinner with the fam is next week. Um, 
birthday dinner this weekend was just me and Jess. Um, so, but it was fucking delicious. It was so good. We had, um, like, because I'm, we were talking about like platters and tasting plates and things like that, because I don't like only being able to try one thing from the menu. I like to be able to try multiple things from the menu. And, uh, Jess is very, um, I like to call it accommodating. Other people may call it enabling. Uh, <laughs> so we ordered a couple of dishes and then just shared everything, which was really, really good. So no, it was fucking tasty as fuck. It was really really good um so yeah that was that was fantastic um but yes next weekend is the the epic three meals over three days with the family i haven't seen in two years we're having dinner on friday lunch on saturday and breakfast on sunday and i'm very looking forward to it very very much looking forward to it fear which deaths of chromie one were you farming for the charms there is only one deaths of Chromie, question mark. There is no multiple of that. That is one, one thing. There is no question of which one it is. Ah, uh, I am confused by the question. <laughs> Sorry, if, if you need to include more information to make me actually give you a proper answer, please feel free. But um, as the question stands, I am confused. <laughs> Yay. Um, she was, yes. Yes, I was farming Deaths of Chromie. Was that the question? I'm not sure. The Jess look. Oh, fuck the hydrates. Good. Um, Ruby one. Ruby one. Oh, the Emerald Dragon Shrine. The Emerald Dragon. That's what, like, which section within Deaths of I'm so sorry. Good. Yes. Emerald Dragon Shrine is what I was farming. And you just run around in circles. The, re the way you can tell which one it is, is the fact that everything is fucking green. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, you just run around in circles. Um, but that information is also available on Wowhead. That is where I found it. Um, so if in doubt, always check Wowhead. Um, yes. I missed it. You own it. Does it fly? I own it. It does not fly. It is a ground mount. It is a ground mount. I always specify now when it doesn't fly because, um, I cannot for the life of me remember who it was, but someone was like, hang on, if it doesn't fly, does that mean it's like an aquatic mount potentially? And I'm like, oh shit. No, it, it is a ground mount specifically. Armani Battle Bear, no. Dark Riding Talbuk, no. You haven't missed anything. I know I was here. <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't say it. Uh, I missed that particular piece of information. Always nice when the food's nice. Agreed, Jack. It, there's nothing worse than going out to a really lovely restaurant and being all excited for it and then being served food and it's just meh. If it's crap, it's okay because you can like send it back and because they've done something wrong, clearly. But like, if it's just eh, it's kind of like, oh, okay. <laughs> but no, it was really, it was really good. Very filling, um, like substantial serving sizes and just, oh, really, really tasty. Really tasty. Um, good afternoon, everyone. How goes it? Goes well, binary. It goes well. I hope you can say the same. Uh, Onyx Cloud Serpent. No! Emerald Shrine is in the southeast. Yes. More the place to farm the stuff, or is it all of them? Emerald. Yes. Sorry about- I was- I was very confused by your original question, but I am glad we figured out- I'm glad that I figured out where, what- what you were actually- Yes. Good. Mm. Uh, now if Chromie were to die, couldn't a past Chromie go forward in time to see it happen and avoid it? That is the basis of the Deaths of Chromie scenario. <laughs> that is the whole basis of the entire scenario is we are going to go back in time and save a bunch of chromies from death <laughs> that's literally the whole scenario it's hilarious um it's also adorable because i love chromie uh got it so i don't need to go into the scenario things it's just in the map uh yes it's inside the scenario yes it's not on the outside world it is still part of the scenario because it has to scale you down you have to go into the scenario then go to the thing. Just tr seriously, go try Desecrate. It will make sense. You need to do the thing and it will make sense. Um, yeah. Uh, Fathom Dweller, no. Swift Lovebird, no. Time Travel, ugh, yes. <laughs> uh, it's an actual thing. I was kidding around. No, it's an actual thing. Chromie is a real cutie. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. But yeah, no, Deaths of Chromie was introduced in the Battle for Azeroth pre-patch. Right at the very end of Legion. Um, and yeah, you go in and you build, like, every time you- you cannot defeat it. The first time you go in, you can't win. 
you literally can't win. Um, but as you do more runs and earn more reputation with Chromie, you can get, like, she's almost got, like, her own talent tree that you can kind of pick one side or the other uh, and work your way down that. And then you can start getting bonus items dropped that will help you, like, entirely clear one shrine completely. You don't even have to go there. You can unlock portals and all these kind of, like, little funky things along the way that help you get further and further and further in the progression of actually saving all of the different Chromies. And then at the end of it, you're supposed to be able to do all of them. Um, and there's achievements because of course there are. So that's why I have them. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it was, it was very cute and it was a lot of fun. Um, highly recommend giving it a go, even if you don't need the lovely charms. Um, it's a fun little side doovy. I think there might be some, them, I think, cause you can, you, you can get time warp badges from doing it because it's time travel. Um, and, and. I think there might be some rewards you can buy for time warp badges from Chromie as well. Not tons though. I can't. I can't remember exactly. I'd have to do some more research. But you can also do that because I'm not going to do that research for a while. So, <laughs> um, is Chromie not the most powerful being in the universe? Then pretty much, pretty much. But she's also adorable. So it's kind of. It doesn't. Like it's brain breakingly fun. You know. Purple Hawkstrider. No. Uh, she can send multiple universe armies of Azeroth's heroes at things just for a few gold. <laughs> yeah. Except only one of us at a time, apparently, because we can't- you can't do it in a group. It's- it's a solo scenario. Uh, <laughs> I got two blue things in there. Why can't they just be one purple thing? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um... She knows when she's supposed to die and she's okay with that. In the scenario, the Legion was trying to kill her before her original time of death. Yeah. It was a whole thing. Oh yeah, but what I meant was the sub scenarios on top of almost within deaths, but I get it now. Good, okay, I'm glad you get it. That's what matters. That's so cool, it's very cool. Quartz Senrana, no. Nifty Time Lord title, correct. Correct, I've been going through what I think is BFA stuff on Kultiris. Yes, Kultiris. Uh, again, I'm new, barely understanding what I'm doing, to be honest, that's okay. All you gotta do is explore. That's, that's, the, that's the most fun part of WoW, is discovering things for yourself. No Mugan Mechanistrider. No. Uh, now what if you do two runs but you bring past you into the next run? Now is it solo? That's not how the thing works, so no. <laughs> Desires Battle Gargan. No. No. Uh, to cover the colours again in case no one, uh, in case somebody wasn't here and would like to participate in the guessing, I have a charcoal grey, I have a black colour, I have a purple colour, and I have like a bronzy brownie sort of colour. Uh, and those are the colours that are on the mount that you are guessing that my makeup is inspired by. Um, the pink lipstick is not part of it. It's just it's just the eyeshadow. Uh, and it's a ground mount. Uh, and I own it. Those are, those are your hints as to what the mount is, because there are 900 and something fucking mounts. So, yep. Tombstalker, no. I've been playing since Mist. I still don't know what I'm doing! There are definitely large chunks of the game where I have no idea what I'm doing as well. It's just that I stream the bits where I do know what I'm doing. <laughs> so, you know, it's it's a fun part. Although, on launch day of the new expansion, uh, new expansion, new patch, on launch day of 9.2, uh, I probably won't know what I'm doing because I've read literally nothing. So that'll be fun. It's also really super fun. Ah, oh, Grubin! Thank you so much for your Prime Gaming sub for 11 months, my god. Holy shit, that's amazing. Thank you so much for your ongoing support and generosity. So kind of you. Uh, yeah, Wandering Ancient Winter Edition, no. Um, I did the Wandering Ancient shortly after it had been released and I will not be doing any of its other forms again until I have run out of other mounts to do. Um, Cause I've already done that one kind of thing. Double dipping is weird. Um, especially when I have so many others to do. Uh, broke. Uh, Amethyst Druin Strider, no, uh, except I started a few weeks ago, went to Pandaria to get cool Asian looking armor, does that count? <laughs> oh dear. But no, when we, when we have the, the new patch that opens up end of Feb, um, I'll be going in there and I'll have no idea what the hell I'm doing because I've read literally nothing. And it's quite convenient that, uh, that weekend is my marathon stream for my six year anniversary of, of streaming, uh, cause I was talking to Jas. Last night? Last night, I think, about um, like what we can do for those 12 hours. So we're gonna spend some time in the new zone 
um, you know, exploring and farming some rares and killing some stuff and just doing a whole bunch of, you know, fun stuff. And we're probably going to end up doing Mythic Plus. Um, if that's actually available week one. I actually, now that I've said that aloud, I don't know if it is or not. I know raiding isn't, but is Mythic Plus? Um, but yeah, you know, just getting ourselves kind of along the way for, uh, for that kind of shit. Because if I've got 43 mounts to collect, I might as well cross off a couple of easy ones. Uh, there was another quest in Wrath with Chromie where you had your future self help you defend a bronze dragon shrine and you did the same quest with your past self again. That was very cool. That was very cool. Ah, uh, that sounds so cool. Uh, and there were dialogues between your past self and future self, etc. It was really fun. It was. I liked it a lot. Deep Coral Snapdragon. No. Uh, available, but I believe already tuned for season two. Yeah, that, that makes sense. So we'd be starting off at like the three and four and five keys. <laughs> That'd be fun. That'd be fun. Uh, Exit our Elec. No. Good afternoon, Trud. I hope you're having a lovely day. Uh, in that quest quest, you critiqued your past armor quite harshly. Yes, it was really funny. It was really funny. Mythic Plus should be available week one. New season. Yeah, so it'll be it'll be tricky because we'll be doing a new season with old gear. Um, but look, hey, we can still make a little bit of progress at least. Ugh, I've decided to level a priest for 9-2. Let's see if I can get it to 60 and semi-geared by then. Well, you've got a few weeks. A couple of weeks. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Nothing like a challenge. Fuck yeah. 50-50s, baby. Yeah, might be tough. Yeah. That'll be fun, though. At least, uh, maybe get, uh, get some keys for, um, Tazavesh. Get the feel for that, considering I've run the dungeon a grand total of twice. Ah, uh, I made a mage yesterday anyway. My Hearthstone main deck. Love it. Love it. Hope you're enjoying it. Sable Ruins right out. No. <laughs> ah, Shiva. That's funny. That's funny. <sighs> I wonder how long these lucky earrings actually take to recharge. Because I haven't recharged yet, clearly. Don't know if I want to run Tassavesh. You're going to have to for, uh, what's it? You're going to have to for, uh, for KSM. Going to be so overtuned. Yeah. Yeah, it'll take a couple weeks for them to fix it up, I think. Striped Nightsaber. No. Black Hawk Strider. No. Run the place zero times. Next patch will be a shock. I would highly recommend going and running it at least once. Because it's a bit of a, um, it's a little bit of, not a labyrinth, but um, it's not one, like, it's not a linear dungeon. It's, it is reasonably open-ended, so um, you kind of want to find where you're going, maybe. Um, and even just see the mechanics on Heroic. Because, um, uh, <laughs> oh no, it's Mythic only, right? Sorry, yep. Yeah. Uh, see the mechanics, because, um, yeah, some of them are very interesting. And they actually require you to do things actively outside of just killing things or getting in a bubble. There's like stuff you actually have to go pick things up and throw them at the boss and shit. So like, yeah, I would highly recommend just running through it once with your guildies or something. Cause uh, especially now that we're overgeared as fuck, um, it'll be a hell of a lot easier than it was in like the first month or so. Like a lot easier. Um, is gonna be spicy. Quartz and runner, no, it's easy if you're geared, yeah. Don't forget it'll be split into two parts. Yes. Ah, uh, they'll give you the mount last day of the event just to troll you. Yeah, fucking look. Look. We made heroic when it's made Mythic Plus. Uh, we would know that by now, wouldn't we? Um, first part would be far easier than part two. Was there a Mechagon heroic? No, there was not a Mechagon heroic as far as I'm aware. Uh, hello, chicken. How you doing? Welcome back. Uh, Russet Ruins Rider. Nope. Hello, lovely chat pals. Hope you- ev Hope everyone has had a glorious weekend. I have had a very, very, a very lazy weekend and my body is making me pay for it. I've eaten so much cake, which is great. It's delicious cake, but um, I'm being punished for it, which is nice. So fuck that. Uh, 
But apart from that, dinner last night was fantastic, and I've just, I've been showered with messages of love, and well wishes, and presents, and the fucking hype train we had on Friday, and all that, it just, it has been, it has been, it has been glorious. That is a very good word for it. It has been glorious. Uh, okay, where's the bag? Uh, is there a place to get leveling gear, or is it just quest rewards? Uh, if it's your first character, yeah, it's just quest rewards, or dungeon rewards, or whatever content that you're doing to level. Once you have hit max level, there are heirlooms that you can buy. The idea is that your baby tunes have inherited the gear from your higher level tunes. Um, so it's heirloom gear, um, but they need to be upgraded. So they like, when you have them at the first part, they only, they scale with level up to this point, and then you can upgrade them so they can scale to this point, and then upgrade them so they can scale to this point, and it gets expensive fast. Um, it's, it's designed partially as a gold baby sink. Toon, da, 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 baby toon, da, 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 da. Partially as a gold sink, and partially as a, you need to be an established player to be able to afford these. Um, so definitely a, a goal worth pursuing, like getting enough gold to do that. And it should be fairly easy to get enough gold for it these days. Um, but yeah, not for a first or second character. You, you have to have a character at max level to be able to get them. Um, yeah. As far as I'm aware, I could be wrong on that one now that I think about it. Um, but back when they were first introduced, you had to have a max tune. So, um, that's possibly still the thing. Uh, Black War Raptor? No. They've said it'll be made into heroic. Just looked it up. Well, two heroics. Brilliant. Grey Riding Yak? No. They released a heroic version of Echigon when it went into the Mythical Well, Did they? Huh. Shit, I, didn't, I missed that entirely. There you go. Happy first birthday. Thank you. I just a lovely day and dinner. I did. Thank you very much, Seeker. I did. Crimson Diahorn? No. Not sure if they did the same for Kara when that released. Inquisition Gargan? No. Uh, since you're in BFA, just go Arcane Mage and Quest Dungeon Gear, yeah. Or High Slippers 45, not light years away from that. No, not at all, but yeah, um, like, leveling a whole different section of tunes all at once will definitely, like, it's, it is slow going. Um, general advice is usually pick a tune and stick with it until it's at least max, and then kind of develop it a little bit and work on some of that end game stuff, and then you can go forward and, and have a whole bunch of alts that you gear up and all that kind of stuff, but it, everything is so much easier when you have a main character that is caught up with current day stuff. So that, that means at level 60 with a covenant that's at renown 80, that has a decent level of gear. Um, once you have one tune at that level, it makes it a hell of a lot easier to catch up all the other ones. Um, but that doesn't mean it's the only right way to do it. Obviously you need to play how you want to play. Uh, but that is, that is the generally recommended way to make your life easier. Ah, uh, don't bother spending any gold on gear. Yep, correct. Uh, not leveling gear at the very least. Don't think you need a max level tune anymore. Well, Corcoran Direwolf, no. I uh, just need the money, which is hard for a new player who doesn't have friends yet. Yeah, absolutely. It's it's a lot of cash that you need for the heirlooms, <laughs> especially to upgrade them. Blood Gorged Krog, no. Would strongly recommend a single tune. Yeah, also remember to log out in rest areas. Correct. If you've got the little Zs on your character portrait, portrait the, the Z, 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 that is where you can log out. Um, anywhere else your rested experience will increase at a crawl. If you log out at a rested area, even just overnight, you'll get quite a bit of, um, of rested experience, which is fantastic because it helps you level. It gives you a bit of a burst when you start leveling again the next day. I'm sure we're making alts get indecisive on who to play for sure. Magnificent flying carpet? No. Arcadian war turtle? No. Do you have it? Does it fly? I do have it. It's a ground mount. There's grey, like charcoal grey, black, purple, and a bronzy brown sort of colour. We're getting along at a decent pace with these ones. Decent pace. Creeping carpet? No. Armoured chosen to roll us? No. <laughs> You're having fun with this one, guys. Huh. 
Um, Swift Violet Ram, no. Black War Bear, no. Black War Ram, no. Black War Woof, no. <laughs> Atreus, De or Arch Atreus, is it? I can never remember. Jas, what? How do you pronounce it? The Death Charger, no. I know which one you're talking about. I can just, I, I never remember which way I can, act which way you're supposed to pronounce it. But no, it's not that one. Atreus, but it is like a ch, like a chair. Good. Okay. Good. I got it. Look, I at least I was right. I, cause sometimes I say Atreus and sometimes I say like Acarus with like, like, kuh. Ah, check in with the tier two sub. My goodness, thank you so much. Welcome to the Fionati. So generous of you. Arcurus. It's a kuh, I think. Hardchus, so Acarus. Acarus. Uh, Brown Elec, no. Unladen European swallow. <laughs> Hello, Zeran. Welcome back. No. Um. Oh my God, Shiva. I'm like, look you, look you. Gone night how? No. Stop taking it around. Can I decide? This is my eighth tune for the day. Eight out of fifty. <laughs> We're gonna get there. It's just gonna take some time. Hand of Bamethra. No. No. Just mad it's not the Amani Battle Bear. <laughs> but like the Battle Bear's like pink and brown, isn't it? Like the saddle is like pink and then the the bear is like brown, not black, right? I could be wrong, but Uh is where I used to play this event during Wrath. Yeah! It was introduced a long time ago. Long, long time ago. Uh Grey Riding Camel, no. Great purple Elec. No. Calderai Nightsaber. Yes. Ice has got it. How was dinner? Fucking delicious. It was really, really good. Awesome food. Um, and just, and really just lovely. It was really, really nice. Colors on your face then. Gray and black. That's what I've said like three times now. It's gray and black. With purple and brown. Is the Calderai Nightsaber. Number from you, please. Ice between one and 100. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty well, thank you, do. Hope you're doing well as well. Number two. Number two. Where the fuck is my spreadsheet? There we go. What, your favorite expansion? I don't have one. Because there are so many different things from each different expansion that I've really enjoyed. It's really hard for me to compare them. Um, so I don't, I don't have a favorite. Um, like, yeah, I mean, I, I could, I guess, have a favorite for, for questing and a favorite for leveling and a favorite for, like, all the kind of, do you know what I mean? But, um, in terms of just, like, a favorite overall, it's, they're just, there's just too many reasons why I like each different one. I just, I can't pick a favorite. It's too difficult. Uh, number two is niche for Ice Tour. Ice Tour. Oh, if I spelled your name correctly, that would probably help. Awesome sauce. There we go. Congratulations. Hope you enjoy it. Mm. Uh, nothing worse than going out. The food's rubbish. I agree. I agree. Um... So the old pearls did no damage to you then, I'm guessing. 
the old pearls. Huh? Out of the old pearls. I'm confused, sorry. Uh, so we were so me in the fact I cannot see the saddle from the image yet. <laughs> yep. The purple and the brown are from the saddle. Yup. Uh, I love when you join this heal tank, it puts you in the DPS queue. I know, right? It's the bestest. It's the bestest. That game is so cute. I want it. There you go. Niche for us. Just inadvertently. Did you order? Oh, that one! The but yeah, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, like I mean, my tummy has been upset, but I think that's more to do with the fact that I've been having entirely too much cake, and candy and chocolate. Uh, than than three expired pearls. Yeah, no, I, th I think it's got much more to do with the fact that I've been eating like shit. <laughs> but thank you for your concern and thank you for remembering that shit that I clearly did not. Good lord, I am so tired. <laughs> I'm just I'm just wrecked. Oh dear, it's gonna take them half the dose of anesthetic to knock me out for surgery in March because I'm just gonna be so tired. I'm gonna to want to fall asleep and stay asleep. Like, <laughs> what sound does a crying Pandaren make? Brewhoo! Oh no! Oh no! Always loved the BFA night savers. They're very pretty. They're very pretty. All right, this is my final horde for this batch. Obviously, it's not my last one, but for this batch, so we're gonna be switching to alliance after this one. Uh, I understand too hard considering got to make a choice. Every expansion has always had a boatload of amazing content. Yeah, look, I agree. I, I agree wholeheartedly. And even if even if it's not, like, even if the content itself hasn't been the best and my favorite, I've often had some incredible experiences with people I've played with in the expansion, and that's kind of made it for me. So it's been, yeah, it's, it's too difficult a, a question. But thank you for understanding and accepting my answer. Um... Oh man, the wife and I got given expired pearls once tasted like straight vinegar. Oh wow. So these ones tasted a little bit odd when I ate them. There were only three of them and they were a bit kind of, they were a little harder than normal. Um, and they didn't, they're not, they weren't particularly like yummy. So I thought maybe Jas had just put less fructose syrup in them in, in the tea than usual, which you know is fine. Like that's fine. Um, but then he comes in and says, don't eat that. I'm like, why? Um, and the the bag of pearls, because they were uncooked, right? The bag of uncooked pearls smelled like nail polish remover. They smelled like acetone. Yeah. So that I was like, ah, good. And then we found the uh the expiry date on the packaging. Um <laughs> and it turns out it was one of the bags we'd ordered back in June last year. Um, cause I've, because I've received a couple of like freebies when they've released new flavors and stuff along the way and they've always come with pearls. And so I usually put the new stuff at the back of the cupboard, right? So that whenever you just grab something out, it's, it's the, fr like it's, it's the oldest that we have. So hopefully, you know what I mean? Um, but I must've done something wrong. I must've put the fresh ones at the front or something. And these ones got left at the back of the pantry, but, um, it is what it is. And our new order is arriving tomorrow uh, and it has... 1.2 kilos of pearls in it, so that should be fine. Um, all right, we did a lose, but that's okay. We're going to keep going. It was the first battle of the day. They often un end up being a lose. Oh, Kay and Zeren, by the way. Uh, oh, what has gone wrong with the website? Kay and Zeren. Um, the, uh, the Soda Stream Syrup recipe book has shipped, as has the Fitbit. Um, and the leggings from Landa have also shipped as well, according to Throne. So, like, holy fuck, that was, like, quickity split. Uh, I thought you'd be, you'd like to know. Um, <laughs> I thought you'd like to know. I'm getting a lot of packages on Monday. Those ones probably won't arrive on Monday, but, um, yeah, they will be, uh, yeah, good, fun. Oh, you get notified. Oh, good. Okay. Noted. I didn't know that you were notified when it was shipped. I get an email when something is shipped. Like I do, obviously. And then I also have it on my dashboard. I didn't realize you get one too. That's super cool. That's really cool. Good to know. Thank you for that information. All right. Switching to Alliance side. 
Good morning, Z. Good luck with that, Brigitte. Thank you, Yori. Enjoy your look. For the Alliance. No. <laughs> I mean, yes, technically, but also no. Um, when you get that email, Kay, do you get a, a thing saying what the estimated delivery date is? Because I have that, but I don't know if you get that. Sure do, and it said Monday. Mine says Monday, Feb 21. So, like, not this Monday, but next Monday. Which is still fucking, that's fine. I am totally okay with that. Um, but, yes. That's cool. All right, awesome. I love, like, I it, it really helps me to know, like, what you guys get. Because, like, me being like, guess what? I have news for you. It's like, bitch, I got the email. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> you know, it's a little bit, mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ah, uh, I know that I, yes. Good afternoon, Draz. How are you going? I think the one I got said 25th. Yeah, um, because the, the Fitbit one was a little bit later. Where's my details here? Yeah, Friday, Feb 25th. But that is an estimated. And I remember when I got the, um, the earrings, it said that they were going to be, that it was going to be like, um, two weeks and they ended up arriving in like three or four days. And that was Amazon, I think. And then some of the, like the, the, um, heart these lights that meaty got um they also said like two weeks and they ended up getting here in like two or three days which was incredible um so yeah look hey you never know you never know hello dj how you going welcome on in if you 21 was tomorrow it would be a lot closer to 92 we would and hopefully i wouldn't be doing these runs anymore because i would have a heartbreak amount i'm just putting it out into the universe 92 is only 10 days away it is it is. Closer to my payday, that would be great, yeah! <laughs> Shit. I'm so sorry, Jack, for helping you to that realization. Are you feeling okay? <laughs> I think it'll be around Monday, Tuesday for the book, because if I were to buy it right now for myself, I'd get it Tuesday, yeah. Yeah, hey, I'm, I'm down for that. I'm down for that. If only I wasn't so busy, I'd go out and, like, actually, maybe on one of my work days, because I get a lunch break when I'm working from home, and, and I have a, like, obviously I have, like, supermarkets fairly close by maybe on my lunch break i should like walk down to the supermarket and grab some ingredients for one or two of the flavors and make something up because i like i really want to try it because i feel like it's gonna be an apple cinnamon fizzy drink excuse me excuse me apple cinnamon fizzy drink okay good <laughs> uh are you american absolutely not i don't recognize the accent i'm from australia it has it down in my about panel underneath. Uh, I'm Australian, but my father is English, and so I have a bit of an English accent kind of woven in there a little bit. But yes, definitely not American. <laughs> definitely not American. Uh, Uncle jokes about Fitbits and says the name is meant to remind you to fit a bit less food in your mouth. <sighs> Look, he may not be wrong. He may not be wrong. <clears throat> oh dear I need to know how that one goes so bad fuck yeah but so are you okay is what is happening here are you waiting for like my verdict on a few of the flavors before you buy it for yourself is that what's going on here are you waiting for me to influence you <laughs> that was good okay good <laughs> I'm not laughing at you I just I'm laughing and like laughter is is happiness sometimes. I think that's fantastic. Look, one 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 one, no fucking heartbreaker. It's fine, it's fine. Please, Thea, influence me. Thank you for answering. Thought it was UK, but couldn't work it out. That's okay. Not a problem at all, DJ. Not a worry at all. Yeah, bit bit of Australian, mostly Australian with a bit of English thrown in. Cause uh, why the fuck not? <laughs> uh, okay, into a new group. Oh man, my accent would really throw you. American living in Australia. I have this odd pseudo Aussie American accent. People in Oz are like, oh, where are you from? And I get the same when I go back to the US. It's like, what do you mean? I'm from here. Yeah, well, uh, my, my dad said the same thing about, because I said, you know, you've got an English. I explained to him that my accent apparently is really unique on, on Twitch. And I explained to him, like, how I explained it to you guys with the whole, you know, my dad's taught me to speak and therefore I speak like him in a way. And uh, when I told him he had an English accent, he said, I absolutely do not have an English accent. I'm like, yes, you do. 
And he said, yeah, except that when I go back to England, they all tell me I sound like an Aussie. And I'm like, well, they're on drugs. Like, <laughs> he doesn't have what the English would consider to be an English accent, but he definitely does not want, have like what the Australians would consider to be an Australian accent either. He He's in, like, you know, he sounds like me, except more English, but not all the way to English. So it's, yeah, he, he feels my pain in a way, but I like, I, I like my voice. I mean, I hate, you know, when you hear recordings of yourself back and it's like, oh my God, is that what I sound like? I don't like that part, but I like, I, I feel like it fits me, you know? I feel like it fits me, and so I'm, I'm happy with that. Uh, it actually sounds like Kay is paying you to influence them. I mean, doesn't it? It, it does, doesn't it? it? It absolutely does. I need to find out how to do that thing where you have like an Amazon list, and if people buy stuff from it, you get, like, you know the Amazon affiliate thing? Because then like when I get gifts from Throne and they're from, uh, from Amazon, then you can get yourself one, and I can get paid. I just don't know if Amazon AU does that. <laughs> um, fucking ice cream truck again. Apologies, you're about to get deafened. Um, I think she's okay for my game. If you're gonna come, to you have, you have, and I'm okay with this. I just hope that they're like. Not super difficult to make and stuff. Get me some ice cream for specifically a fucked up SpongeBob one. It's not one of those ice cream trucks, unfortunately. Um, oh, there's only like five accents in the US though. Um, I can't stand hearing myself recorded. Yeah, yeah. You think it's bad? Try listening to yourself for six hours. Um, yes. From New York, imagine a stereotypical New York accent mixed with the Aussie. Good day, mate. I'm walking. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's great. Ah, uh, it needs to be missing an eye. Fuck, what's the point then? I know, I know. There's one of the, I think it's one of the places where they do like the soft serve and then like dip it in chocolate and like stick candy to it and shit. Yeah, one of those ones. Are you in Secret Harbor? N no question mark? I don't know what that is. I'm sorry. Uh, Boston, New York. Yeah. Tennessee, California Valley and generic Midwest. <laughs> generic Midwest. <laughs> Where does my Valley Girl accent sit in? My terrible Valley Girl accent, Jack. Where does that fit? No, I'm not doing it. It's horrible and half of you would leave. Um, yes, that's one of them, yeah. Just got an email from the school. One squid has been COVID exposed. Oh no, Seeker. Fun waiting game and even more testing than before. I'm so sorry to hear that. I hope everyone's okay. Don't answer, he just wants to be in your secret harbor. That's really lame though. Like if you're gonna be a troll, at least like try. Good lord. Don't be lazy. Don't be fucking lazy. California Valley Valley Girl. Okay, yeah, that's fair. That makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, a boot and a. How two things I get bullied by my friends over on VC. <laughs> oh dear. Hockey maple leafer. <laughs> what? Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Here's a fun one. Ah, oh, that that is a really good question. See, if I'm like, usually I'd say decal because it's like a nail decal that I'm I'm talking about. But I know that people call them like decals and decals and. All sorts of like fun words, but no, I, I say decal. Personally, this is not decal. <laughs> Just call me a troll. No, DJ, I was having a conversation with you about the terrible troll that you warned me about. The person asking about secret harbors. I said, at least if they're going to troll, like, you know, at least if you're gonna troll, make it a good thing. Don't be lazy. 
speaking about the person you were referring to as a troll. <laughs> Context, it matters. Oh, I see decal. Mum says decal. 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 I've not heard that one. Okay, that's a new one. Decal? I want, it feels like this is one of those words where there isn't actually a correct way to say it and it's just really, like, regional. Which is fine. Like, as long as you eventually understand what each other is talking about, that's all that matters, right? It's weird and she fights me on it. <laughs> there are, there are definitely some words that have a correct pronunciation. Let us, let us be real about this. But there are some words that have so many different types, like so many different pronunciations that it's okay. Like any of the 70, 12 are fine. Yep. Okay, caramel. Every, you, you fucking Americans seem to forget that there is a second A in the word. I, know, I mean, I know you call it aluminum and that you actually have spelt it to eliminate the I that you're missing. Like you've changed the spelling of it, but you're literally missing an entire fucking vowel. Like, at least if you're going to say it wrong, start spelling it wrong too. <laughs> I say it with all of the A's, yes. <laughs> um, the A changes the previous vowel E into a long vowel sound. There you go. There you go. Like you remember the vowels every other time, America, right? So we're talking about aluminium and caramel, both. So um, Shiba asked about caramel, and I said it's fuck like you 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 like pronounce the a the e there's a second a make sure you pronounce it because it's caramel not caramel. There's a word caramel is a woman's name. Caramel is a sweet treat. There is an extra a in there, and you need to fucking recognize that it exists, please. Whereas uh, aluminium, they call it aluminium but they actually knock out the eye that they're missing. They spell it differently as well. And so in that case, I have to kind of accept it, even if it's wrong, because you can't, like, especially when you're learning how to read and shit like that, if it's spelt without a, with a fucking missing letter, how are you supposed to know to pronounce the missing letter? Because it's not fucking there. Um, so that, that I understand. If you're missing the letter, you don't pronounce it, that's fine. But there's a second A in caramel. Please pronounce it. It is there for a reason. Don't just fucking ignore it, you noobs. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, crayon is another one that really ruffles some crayon. I agree about caramel and aluminium. Y'all know how to read? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, crayon. Like, there are letters there. Use them. Enjoy. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, fuck. That's fun. That's fun. So true. Good. I, I, I'm, I love that you love this, DJ. Even US scientific community acknowledges that the element is aluminium and uses it as such. Now, good. Good. I'm so pleased to hear that. My friend very much says crown and it pisses me off. Friendship ended over crayons. <laughs> I fear you're missing something. What am I missing? Are you about to spam me with hydrates? Mother of fuck. <laughs> In Q, X. There are there are hydrates in Q. Piss off. <laughs> that took me too long to realize what was going on. I'm embarrassed. Another hydrate. No, no more hydrates. <laughs> that, was, that was wonderful, and that needs to be clipped. Oh shit. Oh fuck, that was fantastic. What's a hydrate? That's a hydrate. He's gonna go pee pee now, yeah. Oh fuck. That's so true. Oh no 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 no. It's um it's okay, DJ. So it's not technically a Twitch thing. Um the what what is a Twitch thing is channel points. We call them embers here. Every channel can call them something different. Um, but it is off, it's a feature offered by Twitch, so we call them embers, uh, and they're just underneath your chat box. It's the little purple um, campfire with like the logs and the little flame. That's your embers. Uh, you can click that, and there's a whole bunch of things you can do with them, like a whole bunch of redemptions. 
Uh, and one of them is a hydrate, which is to make the streamer have a drink. Uh, and that is a default suggestion from Twitch, but not every channel will have it as an option. Um, and there is a bit of a meme here where chat drowns me, or attempts to, with a fuckload of hydrates. <laughs> and it's great, but also sometimes makes me really need to pee, which is why X usually drops like a ton of them and then a chair stream, because it gives me the out to go to the bathroom when I need to. <laughs> Yep. Excuse me. That's only four alliance done. What the hell's going on? Why is this slowed down? Maybe the alliance cues are Go away. Not you guys. It's the fucking ice cream truck again. Um. That was wonderful. It was nice knowing you, Fear. Thank you, Kay. It was lovely to know you too. And I guess at this point, I'm not going to be able to test those syrups for you, am I? It's going to give you make Fear drink water to stay healthy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or to try to kill her, either way. Either way, um, thank you. very welcome, DJ. Uh, you're trying to drown fear with love again? Yeah, apparently. But, but Ice Queen. Yeah, but, but, but shit. No, they, um, every time they come by, they, because it's all apartment buildings here, right? And I am on a relatively low floor, but they crank the volume on the music up so that it can be heard at the top of the towers. So that people will actually come down. They don't wait long enough for people to actually get down to the bottom and then exit the house and all that kind of shit anyway. But they blast it deafeningly loud for the people at the bottom so that the people at the top can hear it. It's like, how about you just don't be here? Go out somewhere where all the houses are at ground level and they'll all actually come out and get fucking through. Do you think there are that many children around here? There are not, let me tell you. Like, it just... Oh, anyway. It's really upsetting. Not really, chat. Most of us like you breathing. It's if you naughty water nymphs. <laughs> uh, why don't they just get a directional speaker that points up? I don't know. Maybe it is that they do, but I'm high enough that I catch it, but and not low enough to like miss it. But like you know, but low enough that it's deafening. Maybe I don't know. Or maybe they're just idiots and don't know how noise works. Apart from oh, if I turn it louder, people further away can hear it. <sighs> yeah. Look, it's uh every single weekend at this point. It's happening. Um, and it's deafening every fucking time. It's really upsetting. Oh well! Guess it's water time for fear. Mm -hmm. There's one. Then I have a stretch. Uh, how's the 50-50s going? Oh, well and truly done. Like, weeks ago. Three weeks now, I think, roughly. Yeah, three weeks ago now. Uh, and they have been running through- oh, do you mean like how they're going with the attempts? Yeah, um, I've done every single tune every day so far. So far. Uh, no heartbreak yet though. No heartbreak yet. Uh, we'll forge Nightmare. We can do that. Let me give it up, that's okay, baked, not a problem. Not a problem, but yeah, we finished we finished the leveling challenge three weeks ago, which was two weeks ahead of my deadline. Uh, and the reason I have them is for Lovers in the Air, which is what's going on currently. So every single day I'm doing 50 attempts for the Heartbreak amount. Um, we're up to 1,114 attempts uh, and no mount, which is why we're still going. Because if I'd gotten the mount, I would have fucking stopped. <laughs> Basically. Ah, uh, give us a big old smooch. I can do that. To clarify for any people who may be new here or anyone who is a creep and is lurking, uh, what that means is I have a Logitech mic cover. I ain't giving anybody a kiss. <laughs> I do not give consent. Good. Um, there we go. Ah, uh, Mount isn't going to get much use for the first couple of hours. <laughs> yeah, true. Oh my god, what's wrong, DJ? Oh, you're just going to try for two heartbreakers just to style on people? Oh, no, not worth it. Not worth it. In my opinion, it might be worth it to some. But not to me. Not to me. <clears throat> Actually, I think I might turn this off. Uh, like, it's very, very warm in here, but my toes are freezing. 
So I'm like, do I put socks on and keep the rest of myself cool, or just do I just turn it off and then if I get warm again, I turn it back on? It's it, it's a tough it's a tough question. It's a tough question. Uh, you've done this over a thousand times. Lol, that's an oh my god. Oh, um, so not all this year. Not all this year. Um, I had 850 attempts when I started this year's runs. However, this year, if I do end up having to do the 50 characters every single day, I'll end up doing 750 runs total over the 14. There's a there's a three hour 15th day, which is why I get the extra 50 in. Uh, 750 attempts total. I'm hoping I don't get that far. I'm hoping it fucking drops before then. But only time will tell. <laughs> it's people that have done this 20,000 times, correct? Yeah. I just got on the I got on board a lot later than a lot of people did, unfortunately. Um, Kira, also, also your skin and uncrusty lips. Thank you for the hydrates. Be back later to troll some more. Enjoy your lurk X. Have a wonderful time. I look forward to seeing you again soon. One day I'm going to hydrate you back and it's gonna be great. Uh, gaming socks does increase DPS by 20%. I don't have gaming socks, but what I do have are like snarky socks. I have one set of socks that says I'm a delicate fucking flower. Another one that says motherfucking girl power. And then the pair that mum got me for my birthday, which was on Friday, uh, that says, um, cute but psycho, but cute. Uh, she also sent me an oven mitt that says, um, I've got a knife. So I'm not sure exactly what my mother is trying to tell me, uh, but look, I'll take it. I love, this is, this is not a misogynistic gift from my mother. I fucking love baking and she wants me to not lose my hands. So just before anyone kind of feels a bit strange about that. Um, <laughs> it's still crazy. Ah, it's fun. Everyone has a different idea of fun. Oh God, I hate when my toes are cold before I go into a bath because it feels like the water is like lava, but really it's not. I know that feeling. I know that feeling so well. Probably not far from a thousand mythic plus, honestly. Yeah, and mythic plus takes a hell of a lot longer than this does. Okay, well, that's easy. 60% ingredient, good. Okay, love all those socks. They are phenomenal. Okay, mum mum finds the best socks. She's just really good at it. I miles past a thousand rainbow. Oh fuck yeah. Absolutely. Just from BFA. I wonder actually, no, this is the wrong character. Um, because your stats tend to be character based, not account based, but like the number of deaths Fiyama, like my main, has had in raids. Yeah, that'd be an interesting fun time. Uh, if it drops, I'll donate 50 so you can go to the bottle and get some champers to celebrate. Oh, would it be acceptable if it was a sparkling rosé or a sparkling moscato instead? Because champagne uh, tastes like butts. <laughs> would that be acceptable? Um, I'm going to hydrate you back. Sounds like a really awkward threat. It has been requested of me that I... Oh, look, the heartbreaker. It's the toy. Um, <laughs> that's the third one I think I've gotten so far. Uh, it has been requested of me to release a merch drink bottle that says down the side, Fiamma has redeemed hydrate. So that's what, um, that's what I'm threatening to hydrate him with, them with. I just realized I don't know what gender X is, but yeah, that's, um, yes. <laughs> there is, there is a trust, there's a reason behind it. <laughs> uh, wait, you don't have a Logitech RGB socks? If they had those, if they existed, I would absolutely have them. That oven glove is cool as fuck. I agree. The I in Brie. I love your username. Just side note. Your, your username is awesome. Welcome to chat. I see that you're a first time, first time chat from viewer. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a lovely day. But yeah, the, the, uh, it's, so it's got like on the other side, it's got like the bowl and the, the stuff and the, the knife is missing from the hanging thing. And then she's like, I've got a knife. I just, I love the whole, like the, the idea of a, um, of a fifties housewife just holding in all of her feminist rage being like, don't fuck with me, honey. I have a knife. Like it's, <laughs> it just, yeah, it makes my heart happy. So yep. Good. Uh, <laughs> The size is different if it's a close family. Oh, absolutely. It, it totally is with the close family members and stuff like that. 100%. Um, yeah. Dose fine matriarch intendeth to reveal to potential kitchen mates that you are in fact equipped with a sharpened culinary tool, which may or may not be used for such purposes. When I'm, when I'm cooking and, and I'm like cutting stuff or whatever, and Jas will be on the other side of the kitchen bench and he'll make some kind of snarky remark. I'll just kind of stop and then like look at him. And he just kind of takes a step back while laughing awkwardly. He's like, you're holding a knife. I'm like, yes, I am. <laughs> so, <laughs> of course, I would never hurt him. 
but it's just, it's funny. Moscato is delicious. Probably 80% of my deaths and raids are from bosses. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, what is the other 20? It's like, don't ask. Don't ask. Nothing wrong with butts. No shaming here. No, but sometimes some people don't like that taste. Uh, and I'm, I'm one of those people. I do not enjoy the taste of champagne. <laughs> uh, for sure, I love Moscato. Good. Yeah, I am a wicked sweet tooth. Wicked sweet tooth. So yeah, Moscato is the, the thing. It's the thing. 100% don't blame you. Good. Glad. Thanks. You're very welcome, Brie. Not a worry. Uh, so, Lorena Bobbitt socks. I don't know who that is. I'm so sorry. Is this a reference I'm missing? So, I'm cis male. I dare you to hydrate me back. <laughs> Thank you for confirmation, X. I usually default to they, but occasionally fuck up and use like a he or a she, and then I kind of go, oh shit. Because um, I don't want to like. I don't want to trigger anything for anyone. You know, it's not a pleasant experience and it's unnecessary, so. But I appreciate that. I'm going to try to remember that. We will see how that goes. <laughs> we will see how that goes. Um. I wrote these ones just now. With that, yeah, I am good at the death look. It's a thing. Uh, I think I probably learned it from mum, honestly. <laughs> but I, um, yeah, I'm, uh. I'm good at the you're in trouble look. Yeah, the 20 is me falling off, me getting life grip swap blasted off, and me running in as tank on trash and pulling too much. Good. Wonderful. Yeah, jumping off the elevators. What percentage to elevators, Jack? <sighs> I never die to elevators. I'm powered and yeah, fair. Fair. Most of my most of my raiding life, I raided sitting next to someone who I was raiding with, and so I'd put myself like I'd just kind of run forward and be talking to them, not realizing that I am approaching or falling off the elevator, so wouldn't notice in time to hit my slow fall. So I have I have absolutely died to elevators, um, but look, look, ah oh dear. <laughs> Mm-hmm. So Alliance's healer cues, noted. <laughs> Even the notorious Antorus elevator, I did not read that to you. That's an easy way to get around it. I feel old now, Lorena Bottom was late in the mid-90s who was displeased the husband chopped off his flesh carrot with a knife. Wonderful. Um, so mid-90s, I was about five. I was born in 1990. Um, I do know of that story. I just didn't know her name. So there, there you go. There you go. I would have sought bastard someone if I did. What's your favorite character to play? Uh, class is my mage. Um, I, my main is my mage and my main has been a mage for, uh, 15 years. It's been since I started playing. I have never changed mains. Um, I do have at least, I've got four of every class, uh, plus a bonus mage and a bonus druid to make 50 characters. Um, but yeah, no, fire mage is far and above my favorite. Always has been, and I hesitate to say always will be because, you know, never say never. Um, but it's, yeah, I, I've never fell out, fallen out of love with it so far. Uh, so we'll see how we go. Oh, excuse me, I died this morning when some dick nuts threw me off the frozen throne, went back and killed him. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. Uh, button. Favorite is Paladin. Wrong. Same, I have a priest as my main. Ah, oh, fantastic. Is it too late to start? Wow. No, absolutely not. Um, In fact, almost any point is a good time to start WoW because the catch-up mechanics and stuff that they have in game now, like th that they've learned that people have alts that they want to bring up to the right level and stuff like that. So catch-up mechanics for that um, these days are phenomenal, like really, really, really good. Uh, we have a new content patch hitting in approximately 10 days as well. So if you have a decent amount of time to commit to the game, you could uh, like theoretically uh, level 
a new tune, like start playing level right up to 60 and then be there in time for the patch to hit and then go into it fresh with everybody else because uh, right at the start of that new zone, there's going to be a ton of catch up gear for players who didn't quite achieve high levels of gear in the current patch and all that kind of stuff. Like there are always catch up mechanics floating around for people to take advantage of, but um, yeah, they've, they've gotten pretty good at allowing people to play alts properly the way they want to play them. Um, so yeah, definitely not too late. Uh, right now with Exiles Reach is the perfect time for new players. Worst time to start where was BFA? Well, that's gone. Paladin, no Fialadin. Fine. Uh, what's coming in the patch? I didn't know. Uh, neither do I. Uh, there's a new zone. There's a new raid. That's it. I have purposefully not looked at what's coming. I, like, that's not everything that's coming. Uh, there is more than that. That's all I know. Um, because I, I'm intentionally not looking because I know how many fucking story spoilers, like storyline spoilers are going to be out there and I do not want storyline spoilers. So as a refresher for anyone who's been here for a while or for anyone who is new here uh, and didn't read the rules, the first rule of this channel is no spoilers. If you spoil, you will get timed out. If you kick up a stink about it, you will get banned. Um, so don't, don't do it, please. Uh, but yeah, so I've been avoiding knowing anything about Next Patch simply because I don't want to get the, the spoilers, um, that come with it, naturally. Uh, so it'll be really good fun. I'm really looking forward to going into this fresh zone and, and area with, I, I'm healing, I'm sorry, I know that there's the battle that's just finished. Um, I will get there in just a second. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to going into this brand new zone with no bloody idea of what's going on and just exploring and learning as I go. Uh, it'll be great fun. Um, so yeah, I'm super keen for that. Super keen. All right, I think everyone's about safe there. Let's do this then. Moo, fairy, zombie, koala, and grouping. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Uh, we'll jump into new thingy. Um, did I get kills? I did get some kills. All right, um, I'm going to pop down my shadow flying rope. Look at that beautiful, look at that. Look at that. It also comes in um, in Ash's colors, which you can probably see up here. Um, but yes, I love that skin. Okay. Uh, good. Not everybody died. Wonderful news. Did I switch it? I did. Wonderful. There we go. Last thing I want is to open that box and for you guys to be on a different screen. That would suck. <laughs> it would suck a lot. Um, I like Fire Mage, Mane of Fury Warrior, Second Pally. I really wish where I would get hit with a bard or some other new support class. Yeah, the tricky thing about that is that it would like fundamentally change the way that combat works in, in WoW and a lot of other classes would probably need to be tweaked to allow that to fit in and stuff. It's just at this point in the game, it might be too difficult for them to do. But hey, never say never, right? I think I'm gonna join, wasn't sure if I was late to the party. Oh no, not at all, not at all. We've got new new players joining all the time. Uh, you can type exclamation, oh, actually, that'll probably be an old link now. Um, Cause we've got a, um, like a RAF program that uh, basically you can help me, ah, oh, Alliance Realm, I oh, thought, fuck, that's fine. Um, but you can use link in chat if you would like to join and you'll be helping me pay for my wow sub uh you know if you're going to be doing it anyway might as well help support someone uh and that's that is a way you can do it uh where what am i doing now queuing good many many more mounts 43 43 new mounts yeah no fair pally curian druid or enhancement shaman that's fair yeah, it's, uh, look, we'll get there, we'll get there. Lots of sand dust, different shapes, creatures from the trailer, yes. Behave Chapman and make a pizza. Enjoy your pizza, Shiva. Last time I went in blind to an expansion patch was Legion. It was amazing. Yeah, it, it really just adds that extra level to it, hey? Especially when I'm creating content like this, being able to capture my genuine first reaction that I'm actually seeing this shit is just, it's, it's next level, and I like it. Mods are not gone. I'm a mod, Sam. A magic eye-popping water? I don't know what that is. Um, I also don't want to know, so just before we go anywhere, um, it'd be going so easy to behave. 
Uh, first movie I came out was Enhanced My Shaman, then they nerfed the poo out of Win WF. Is it Wind Fury? Felt lost a lot of its utility. Um, be hard to add support class without making it required for all content and balancing it so it's viable. Yeah. And good luck with PvP. Yeah. Look. It'd be cool if they figured out how to do it, but, um, I don't know. It's, uh, I would be very interested to see how they managed to make it work. Uh, I'm not against it. Um, I would just, I hope that if they do decide to add a new type of class that they make sure they do it properly and it doesn't just fuck over the whole game. Because it's like, once you do that, if you, if you add a new ability or you add a new item, you can just take it out. You know, you can remove it next tier, you can nerf it into the ground, you can make it useless, whatever. But if it's an entire class, you can't just take it out again. So once it's in, it's in. And if it's broken as fuck and you can't fix it, that breaks the entire game. And you're just, you're screwed. That's it. No way out. So um, I really hope that if they do decide to add a new type, like an entirely new type of class like that, that they make sure that they get it fucking right because I don't want to see the game that I love be destroyed by one bad decision. Ah, but that's just my personal feelings, of course. Ah, uh, in the trailer they were talking about, what about the water, so I was making a joke about it. Ah, oh, okay, gotcha. Gotcha, hello, Sari, how are you going? Uh, that is 10 Alliance tunes, so I am now switching to uh, back to Horde to start batch two of Horde tunes. So it was Gisalia who was my last one that I was on. So we drop down to the mage. Let's get on into it. Thank you, X. I'm working through them. I'm getting there. Getting there. Just a couple at a time. No DPS only characters are a slog all day. Um, this is why I start with my pure DPS tunes on each faction. Um, so I go through and do all of the hunters, rogues, and mages first on both sides. Um, before I start switching to things that have multi queue and can do like tank and healer and stuff. Um, so we don't even remember this. We had an 848% hype train on Friday. So you may have been caught in a sub bomb. <laughs> it should tell you in the top, you'll have like the inbox. Uh, it should say there such and such gifted you a sub to Fiamma. Um, yeah. Uh, Paul. Oh, Warlocks, yeah. So, Hunter, Mage, Warlock, Rogue. Yeah. Those, those four. Sorry. I, I thought there were only three, but of course, no, there are four different uh, classes that I go through. Um. But yeah, go through on all of those, and then, like, from top to bottom of the list, and then start at the top and go through the rest of the ones that I haven't done yet. <clears throat> Can't even play without the moment GPU is rooted. I have to wait until I make my last payment. Oh, no! Oh, shit, Zarin. Can you, uh, like, are you able to make the payment on the, la the new one early? Or is that not an option? Or now I feel really bad. Um, still dodge most of the bombs. God, I'm seeing I finally remember my way to Understudy. Fantastic. Oh, excuse me. That's awesome. Well done. See, man, I was gonna sub anyway. Ah, that's very kind of you. You can, you are able to continue your gifted sub. Um, there's like a, when you're gifted, like when you've got a gift sub, I think there's a button to like continue sub, but it might not appear until like you've got 10 days left on it or something like that. I can't remember exactly. Um, I don't remember. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while. Damn, no birthday, man. I was really, I, I was really hoping you got it. I'm assuming you said you were meaning hoping. Um, me too, but that's okay. That's okay. It can be birthday fortnight. It's fine. Uh, it's all right. It's just the universe testing me, making sure I really want it. Oh, I'm done. Okay, so I'm starting back from the top of the list, but going through ones that aren't just DPS. Oh, I don't know, don't feel bad, just waiting until it comes in stock before making the fight. Oh, right, you don't want to have it fully paid off, but still waiting for it to, yeah, okay. 
That makes sense. That would irk me as well. Yeah. <laughs> if I've paid for it, I want it now, damn it. Yep. What happens for you soon? Yeah, DBSQ finally popped. It's been aired for four years. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Almost instant cues, and it's for healer. Alright. So it looks like the faster cues are healer on, on Horde as well at the moment. It's interesting because it takes me like anywhere between two and a half and three hours to go through all of my tunes. Which, it, like, whether it's tank or heal cues, chops and changes, like, as I'm going through them all, it's really kind of funny. Um, so, yeah, it's heal, it's at the moment, it's healer cues for Horde. And it was also healer cue, like, the healer cue for Alliance was really quick as well, but um, that can change, obviously, pretty quickly. As soon as people hear that it's a, will realize it's a healer queue and start queuing all the healers up, um, it becomes a tank queue. So, <laughs> it can switch back and forth a fair bit. <clears throat> New PCs all built. Gentleman's just waiting for the GPU to come in stock. I'll make the last payment. And presto! Amazing! Oh, that's so good. That's so good. Helicues are goated. It's five DPS only specs. Paladin is DPS only. <laughs> yeah, sure. Ah, oh dear. <sighs> oh. Thank you. One minute, not too bad. Problem is, when you got 50 tunes, even a one minute queue is 50 minutes across all 50 tunes, and that's nearly an hour of waiting in queue. It's like, I never thought that I would hate a one minute queue time, but here we are. <laughs> like, here the fuck we are. <clears throat> I'm actually catching up, I'm about to hit um, instance lock, I think. I'm at 18 with three minutes to go. So depending on how quickly the next couple go, I might hit cap and have to wait before I can queue again, but we'll see. Ah, uh, seriously, I can't believe how quickly my prop pally face rolled through everything until endgame. Maybe when you put it like that, geez, yeah, I know, right? Like, how fucked is that? How mind-blowingly fucked is that? I wonder how many days of runs I'm going to have to do for Midsummer until I get the stuff from Mahoon. <laughs> there's no there's no event dungeon for Noble Garden. But I think I'm still missing, because Noble Garden's the next big event, by the way. Easter. I think that's in April? I don't have ATT turned on, so I can't fucking check. Helicues, Helicues, na 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 na, Helicues. When you climb the tree and the nest disappears. Oh, yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, nutty. Oh. But yeah, um, Noble Garden's the next one. Uh, and I know I've got some stuff missing because it's still in my ATT list. I just don't know what is missing. So I've got the meta for the Noble Garden done. That was the first holiday meta. I've got all the achievements done for all the holidays. Uh, except for, like, um, Dark Moon. Um, I think Dark Moon and Time Walking are the only ones I've got missing. So I've got a handful down here, the four there, and then the two from Legion Time Walking there. Everything else is done. Uh, what I'm aiming for now is toys, pets, transmog. Most of it's transmog. So I think there's like a, a bunny ears thing that I'm missing from, uh, what's it? Because last Easter I didn't care about transmog. Transmog for me is a very, very recent thing that I've actually cared about. Um, so that's mostly what I've been going after. Um, there are three Lovers in the Air toys that I'm missing. 
uh, but I'll have them easily um, by the end of the event, so I'm happy about that. The only thing then I'll be missing is obviously the mount. Um, <laughs> but, you know, that that's, uh, we'll get there. We'll get there. Pizza's in the oven. Amazing, Shiba. May I ask what kind of pizza? There are no wrong answers, of course. Whatever your whatever your heart desires is the correct answer, but um, I would love to know what's on your pizza. Um, you're going to make homemade ice cream tonight. Oh, yeah, I'm thinking I might experiment and make green tea ice cream. Try putting popping pearls in it and see what happens. Um, so if you're churning the ice cream, what will happen is that the popping pearls will be popped by the churning thing, and you'll end up with just all the skins all through the ice cream because uh, the skins probably won't dissolve uh, they're designed not to dissolve um, if it's not a churning thing then what may happen is that the fluid inside the popping pearls freezes and gets pointy because of how water freezes in in like shards and then uh, that will that will puncture the membrane so that when it starts to melt it'll just ooze everywhere um, the other thing that might happen is if you actually freeze the membrane, it might crystallize and just disintegrate and melt and stuff. Um, I don't think it will work, which is why most places tend to put popping pearls on ice cream as a topping. But I would be curious to know as a science experiment how it works. It shouldn't, it shouldn't do too much to the texture, so you, the ice cream should still be fine even if the popping pearls go bang. Um, but yeah, oh, I'm determined to complete the holiday meta done this year. That sounds like a fantastic goal, okay? Year of the event! I'm glad you're joining me on this journey. I like transmog, but I just sell it? Of course, of course. Totally reasonable. Pizza, pizza, just a frozen stuffed crust cheese pizza. You get frozen stuffed crust? Jas, we need to find frozen stuffed crust. Uh, <laughs> what if I had to add mushrooms and barbecue sauce? Those are fantastic options to add. Remember netting a few hundred thousand off the rogue dice? Holy shit, yeah. And you egg pizza is the worst. That is an interesting combination. I'll churn it, but probably fold them in by hand. Noted. Okay, okay. Interesting. Well, I look forward to seeing what- oh shit, I'm not in remaster. Can I activate in time? I think I can. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. There we go. Major frozen stuffed crust. Get a hot dog stuffed crust frozen pizza. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, Woolies and Coles have it. McCain does frozen stuffed crust if memory serves. Specifically get Delicio frozen pizza. We might not have that brand here. Um, but if there is Woolies, if Woolies has stuffed crust and Coles has stuffed crust, then I will have the ability to access both of those. Pizza is something I try not to have super frequently, just because, um, like, it's pretty heavy and makes me feel, it makes my body feel heavy, you know? It takes ages to digest and makes me really sluggish and stuff, um, but it is tasty as a treat, so we usually just get, like, the Aldi ones that are, like, three bucks, because they're fucking, and you don't need to add anything to them, they're just fucking awesome, but, uh, sometimes it's nice to have something a little different. I'm addicted to pizza. Oh no. Oh no. I have bubble tea so often that it's kind of like, you know, <laughs> do, do I really want to have that many treats or do I want to like, you know, do I want bubble tea or do I want pizza? When it's offend myself and I go with quick and easy, pizza is one of those things. Fair. Fair enough. Sweet, just got the Angel Spawn Straight Companion from the Death of Run first attempt. Ah, fantastic. Okay, well done. Well done. Yes, and yes, new place just opened 200 meters down the road from me, like three weeks. Already know my standard order and my details. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Yeah, definitely helicues. Double Demon Hunter, woo! I have chosen the mount already. I've got the Logic Mic cover on. There's another Hydrate.
I'm staying vengeance because I'm not bothering to play momentum in an event. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I swear in EU at the moment DPS queues are the quickest. No way, cheese. That's funny. That's you super interesting. Doofus! Prepared. Welcome on in. How are you going? Good enough, right? Oh no. Oh dear. That's right, the longer queue was just to save us from having to wait. Because now, like, I'm a 19 for two minutes, so we'll see. We'll see. How do we all the Germans queuing as tank and heels trying to be as efficient as possible? This is why I queue as everything I have available to me. Because then it'll stick me in as a tank if that's fastest, but it'll also just stick me in as DPS if that's fastest. Like, it's so much better to queue as everything you have because it'll give you the fastest possible queue. Like, is that not efficiency? I've seen Heroic Dungeon DPS special high demand queues exactly twice since I've seen it once. Once. It's hilarious though, isn't Super common for LFR queues in Shadowlands. Ah, uh, four and a half minutes is healer. Oh my god. Queue us both. Take yourself out of the queue. Stick yourself in as DPS as well. You don't need to do much. Just enough. That's all. Shit dies pretty quickly on its own anyway. Because they put so many essences in CN. Yeah. Just saying, when I get my new computer, I'll need to catch my prop pally ups if you need a tank to go with healer for faster cues. Raise his hand. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, anyone is welcome to join us. Exclamation add me in chat will give you my battle tag. Then you can add me, funnily enough, to your Battle.net friends list. I will add you and then in quick join. Just in here. You can see my name and you can see what I'm doing and you can click join like this. And then I invite and then you join the queue with me. It's as simple as that. Very, very easy. Um, obviously not just for Zeron. Like anyone else out there who is looking to queue with us for faster queues. Uh, of course we are um, North America Oceanic and um, Horde currently. I've got four more Hordies and then I'll be switching back to Alliance again. I have anyone with a tank is DPS and DPS is a tank. I hope the Warcrafting has been going well. It has. It has. So far so good. No amount yet, but we'll get there. We'll get there. <clears throat> We're only a week in. Or six this is day six out of technically fifteen. So uh yeah, no, we'll We've got time. So efficient I'm only managing to jump in on every second group. Yeah, it's well, I have got all my add-ons except for a handful that are necessary turned on. So um I have saved instances for checking whether or not I'm gonna be locked out. I have Tomcat so that I avoid accidentally queuing for dungeons. Uh, for, for like Shadowlands dungeons. I have rarity, so it can count my fucking attempts. And I have GSE, so that I can actually use my, like I can actually be efficient when it's not a healer. Uh, so I can actually do stuff properly because I don't know how to play anything uh, except mage. So there you go. Uh, yes, also script, yeah, that, that script that Jack's got there, if you make that, I've got it as a macro, my macro is called BUY in all caps, and it, that script there, if you put it in a macro, you click the button and it removes you from party, like it removes you from instance group. Uh, not from the party, just from the instance group. And then I've also got my logout macro, which is literally just slash logout. And if you click that button, it'll log you out. And if you're in a rested area, like the garrison, it's an instant logout. So you just switch. Um, the turning all the add-ons off makes load screens a uh, fuckload faster. When you've got 50 characters, you want to reduce the time you spend staring at load screens. Let me fucking tell you. <clears throat> oh, we lost someone. And I'm in tank form. That the tank form, tank space. That explains why everything's dying so slowly. Um, 
What if the game is waiting for it to be Mount Farm Monday to drop a Heartbreaker? Well, it'll drop tomorrow then, won't it? It'll drop tomorrow. How'd you add it? I think you gave me the boot because I haven't been active. Totally fair. Yeah, so every every so often, if I hit friend cap, um, I jump in and anyone who's been offline for like more than a month or anyone who's been away, like flagged as away for over a month, uh, I remove them and add more people because I figure like it's nothing personal. It's just so I can fit more recently active people on there. And um, if people are like, if people become active again, then I'll just re-add them. No biggie. Like, you know, if I had a problem with someone, I would block them, not just remove them from the friends list. <laughs> I've done that before. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's all it is. Nothing personal. Uh, how many times are you uh, currently on for this mount? 1,120... something. Seven. 1,127. Um, if it doesn't drop at all, I will get to 1,600 by the end of the event. I was at 850 when the event kicked off. Yep. You handy? I'm glad I can help, Kay. Uh, hello, Daz. Jesus, there's a lot of attempts. Yes. But they're quick. This one's really low drop rate. Yep, one in three, 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 three. 3,333. <clears throat> Uh, I would if you should do like prime attempts, like attempts that happened happened on a prime number. Huh? Cool video. I'm confused. What is the video about? I wonder if you were to make a video. Um, I mean, I'm upload. I'm going to be uploading my vods and stuff, but um, I don't really have time to edit stuff further than that, unfortunately. I uh, recently joined a guild. They invited me to an old raid. Oh, I'm a healer. Okay. Um, I missed the expansion my first time there. I had Gmod drop first time. Holy cow. That's awesome. That's fantastic. Oh, shit. I'm not in heal spec at all. I don't have... Okay, it's fine. I'll do more damage and then they'll die before they can hurt anybody. That's how it works, right? <clears throat> I wasn't paying attention, <laughs> so I forgot to switch specs before they became active. Whoops. Ah, oh, hey, dinged! 51. Lovely. Uh, I've been in multiple groups of this where there wasn't a healer. Yeah, look. I just, I feel bad though, you know, like if there are people in there who don't know what's going on and they don't quite know what they're doing, then I want to make sure that they can still enjoy their time in, in the instance and stuff. But like, sometimes I'm like, oh fuck, oh well, let's go. <laughs> uh, best defense is a good offense. Sometimes, sometimes it's also good to help people not die. Just, just a little bit. Oh fuck. Turns out, yes, that is how it worked. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Have any more? No, no more requests. Prop Paladin can just spam flash of light and water glory and be a healer. It's just in a weird town with weird people. Trying to get a train home. Just another vivid dream. Oh, that's so strange, does. So strange. If you aren't going to actually heal, at least know if you have any utility you can use in DBS spec. Yeah, I know. Look, um, I know that a lot of the the prot pally rotation does tend to like heal others around them, kind of thing. Um, so I just thought like hey, it'll be fine. Question mark. Uh, but look, we got there, and I don't think anyone even approached half health. So that's okay. Can I have a pally tank? Yeah. I'm in as healer and I'm in healer spec. What the fuck am I pressing? Everything. Good. 19 instances. 
three minutes to go. I'm like, I'm hanging out just short of the lockout, which is a good feeling because it means I don't have to stop and wait because stopping and waiting makes it feel like it's going longer, you know, taking a longer time. But in actual fact, it means that I have been taking longer overall, but that's fine. <clears throat> I've got two more, this one and then one more before I'm switching back to Alliance. So the Alliance folk who want to jump in with us, prepare your tunes, check out that quick join tab. Be prepared. Uh, I expect the ratio amount farmers versus people doing the instance for the first time is like 100 to 1 at this point. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Is this so feeling worried? So I wasn't worried. Good. Wonderful. Heal a class where they can only heal Baby. themselves. But they're able to take the damage from other players. Uh, would be cool to so say tank, tank is one third health, use the ability that transfer the damage to the healer, and then the healer heals themselves. That could be interesting. Two book boxes on that tune. Oh no, Jack. Oh no. Oops. Oh well. Oh well. DK healer. Yep. Correct. <laughs> no, your powers of perception are as wet as water's backside, but thick as you are. Pay attention, my words are a matter of pride. Yes, that is the reference I was making. Ah, uh, oh, is that a battle? Good. Ah, oh, Jack just missed it. Curse of the, the double heart-shaped box. Ah, uh, we lost our tank. Good. That's fine. Selfish. Oh dear. Right, these guys seem to be keeping themselves alive pretty well. Koala, Gruben, Meaty, Igor, and Zam. Congrats on the bonus ship. Uh, onward. Nope, I'm not clicking that until you can see it. Oof, that was close. Uh, alright. So I'm gonna place my Berserker again. See if I can't get that last kill. Now we hop. Uh, have you seen someone else get them out during your time farming? No. I suppose a lot of other a lot of people only open their box after leaving the instance. Um, I also don't pay a whole lot of attention to chat. Like, um, so I mean I might, but I like yeah, I haven't actually I haven't seen anybody yet. Uh, 11.30, so we are switching back to Horde side because we've hit our 10, uh, sorry, we're switching to Alliance side because we've hit our 10 Horde. So Alliance people, if you are wanting to join us, prepare your butts. Uh, we are about to dive in to our final round of Alliance tunes. Second and final round. Uh, have you, Rez, have you seen it drop for somebody else or for yourself? In fact, uh, I've never seen it drop in 1130. I've never seen it drop for somebody else. But again, yeah, I don't really pay attention to chat. And um, people do sometimes open the boxes after they exit the group. So both good reasonings why I may not have seen it. Prepared. Wonderful. Good. Glad to hear it. How are we sitting? Still on 19. Good. Always wait till after to open the box. Interesting. I can't wait going through a whole fucking load screen. I want to know now. Like, <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Mm, vague memory of seeing someone get it and people freaking out in the group at the time. I was confused because I had no idea that it was that rare amount. Fair. Fair. Understandable. So it is healer cues on Alliance currently. But I also don't have 50 tunes to run through. Very true. I mean, it do, like, it's not going to take more or less time to open it in the instance or afterwards. I just, I like, I don't want to wait until going through a load screen and being back in my garrison before I open it. I might as well just open it now. Like, what's going to go, like, what's... But everyone, to each their own. To each their own. Ugh, oh, gross Q times. <laughs> Peter Mine was super pissed when his wife got the rocket on her first go, wasn't playing all that actively at the time. Ugh. What is the point in being pissed, especially with somebody you love? Like, fuck, man. It's just not, it's not that important. It's not worth it. Good lord. Ah, well. Ah, well. Um, as bad as our guild who got hotshots, pilot gloves, and didn't realize how rare they were and destroyed them. Oh, no. Oh, I was in a funny way because he'd been farming. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Uh, hello, dupe. Can't stay long. Hope you're all doing well. Very well, thank you. I hope you can say the same. Ah, uh, he still hasn't gotten it all these years later. Ah, oh, well. Eventually, it'll happen. It'll happen. I don't want to wait for that mount to drop for me. I feel like this is a reference and I don't understand it, but that's okay. That's okay. I don't understand a lot of references, so it's fine. Mm. Uh, Dawson's Creek was Ah, yeah, no. Dawson's Creek was on when I was younger, but I, yeah, never watched it. Another one down. On to the next one. Oh, it's a theme song. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, text doesn't convey that stuff a lot of the time. Oh well. Oh well. Uh, okay. Druid. Oh, I'm just looking because it's Sunday. Right, so once I've done with the runs and once I've done with my set of dailies on Fear, um, the lowest... The lowest raid, dungeon or raid at the moment, is um, uh, Vault of Archivon for Druids. <laughs> um, so I'm going to have to firstly figure out which faction holds it and then like go through and do that. That'll be fun. That'll be fun. Uh, I sent a sound file, so you'd regret it. Can't hold a tune to save my life. Fair. Fair. That's okay. I also probably wouldn't play it. Uh, on stream, just in case it was something that could get me DMCA'd. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> so, I uh, imagine if Heartbreakers were sellable, it would probably be like 30 million or something. Can't be any more than 10. Can't be any more than 9,999,999 gold, 99 silver, and 99 copper. Because that is how much gold you can have on a character. No, the moment always tells me I can't sing, hold the tune, I have an ear for tune. Oh no. That's okay. Why has it put me in as a tank if the healer cues are the fast ones? I am a confuse. I don't there enough heartbreakers to sell, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, 30 mil would be low for heartbreaker. Yeah, but you can't sell it any more than 30 mil. Any more than 10. Like, that's the whole issue. Who 
Give them BMR if anything. Hey Annie, how you going? Welcome on in. If it was tradable, you could sell it player to player. You could and then just not like trade it until they'd given you the amount of across all the different tunes. But it would just cause so many shit fights because they'd be like, oh, you know, oh, it's, I send you this much gold, but I don't want it anymore, so I'll take all that back. And it's like, well, um, you know, that's not actually how much you sent me. And then there'd be all these reports and problems and it just, it's not, it's not worth it. Not worth it. Too much shit. Uh, doing fine. And you, yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Any luck with BLR? I don't know what that is. Um, but if we're talking about the Heartbreaker, not yet. Uh, but it's, it'll be here. It'll be here. I'm doing 50 attempts a day because I've got 50 characters. So look, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. What the hell is my swipe? Clearly not on my bus. Good job, fair. Another one down. Um, ah, uh, yeah, it's no longer the Big Love Rocket. They've renamed it to the Heartbreaker. Um, it is, it's the Heartbreaker now. Um, all right. That's another one down. On to the next one. Mm -mm. Bottle is empty. Wonderful. Okay. How are we looking? 19. Perfect. <sighs> Here we go again! Oh! Nice quick cue this time. Thank fuck for that. <laughs> Thank fuck for that. So what's after today's, bleh, today's event runs? Well, I do have a round of dailies to do just on fear, just on the one character, which is good. Uh, and then it'll be what we usually do on a Sunday, which is ATT farming. So transmog hunting. Uh, and my lowest dungeon and or raid currently is Vault of Archvon on Druid. So I'll need to figure out which uh, faction has control of VOA um, by the time I finish up my runs and just see how we go. Uh, with that, because I, like, oh, the, the, the frequency of getting a drop in that fucking place is just, like, a drop that you can use that isn't a trinket or a neck or a ring is just, it's ridiculous. That was so fucking quick. Holy shit. Oh my god. This is, I'm, I might have to wait before I can queue again. Holy shit. Oh no. I mean, good, but also not good. <laughs> Next one! Ah, uh, the other words I don't want to wait for last year. I don't know what I want to do. Uh, talk to Kremi, go back in time in another set of runs. Wouldn't that be good? More attempts for fear. Would love that. Love that. Oh shit, hang on. If there's going to be a... 22 seconds. 18 seconds. Ooh, this is gonna be tight. Fuck! Can I, can I, can I? Oh, 
five, four, three, two, one. Enter. Come on, let me in. Yes! Fuck. Whew, all right, let's go. <clears throat> Do you ever buy rare mounts to avoid the grind? No. Uh, obviously not an option for Heartbreaker, but for High Dropper Runs. Nope, I've never, I've never bought anything off the Black Market Auction House, actually. Um, not because I am, like, actively avoiding it or, you know, oh, it's not a real, like, none of that kind of shit, no. Nah. It's, it's just that I haven't had the gold for it. <laughs> um, and when I have had the gold for it, it's not been up or it's gone out of what I would will, what, what I would be willing to pay for it by the time it's actually there and stuff. Like, I just, yeah, it's, it's never been the right time for me and that's okay. Um, I actually kind of enjoy having... Like, the grind is worth the oh my fucking god moment when it drops. So I would prefer to have that. Um, there are also not a lot of mounts on the Black Market Auction House uh, that I don't have anymore. Um, I've ground out, like, a lot of them, honestly, which is a good feeling. Uh, but yeah, there's not a whole ton of them left that I don't actually have. There are still a couple, but not many. Um, that's what they said. <laughs> Lyrics me neither. Better things to spend gold on at the moment. That's why I googled them. Pay off from the grind as part of the point. Makes sense to me. Yeah, for sure. Um, but that's not to say that I have anything against people who do buy them off the off the beam. I like fucking go for it. If you've got the gold and you're willing to spend it, and the one you want is there, fuck yeah. Congrats on the mount, and congrats on not having to. You know, it's it's time or money. Time is money, friend. It's legit. You know, do you want to spend the gold or do you want to spend the time? Uh, and for some people, that's not even a question. They'd much prefer to spend one or the other. Um, and that's to that's totally cool. Totally cool. Um, yeah. Haven't really had the opportunity to, uh, to do that. There are a lot of things on the BMR that I don't have, um, but a lot of it's transmog, like stuff that's been removed from the game from old raids and stuff like that. Uh, so that would be probably what I would be more likely to... I just realised I can't for a little while. <laughs> um, yeah, that would be what I was far more likely to... to to buy shit that I actually cannot get from any other... Um, it's like um, people ask me, why the fuck haven't you bought Harika's Mount yet? Because you can just buy that with Anima and Grateful Offerings. Is because there's a ton of stuff I don't have for Anima that I'm going to buy first. Because you can't get it any other way. And there's a ton of stuff to buy with Grateful Offerings that you cannot get any other way. Whereas Harika could drop. Like Harika is very low on my priority list to purchase. Because it can come from elsewhere. Uh, but yeah. Efficiency. Um, time is indeed money. Grinding the gold also takes a lot of effort and time. It does. Not for everyone though. Some people uh, find it far easier to come by gold than they do to come by time. Um, some people jump on and they buy stuff from the auction house and they flip it and that's it, you know. They're like very little time or money. And uh, hey presto profit. And that's great. That's awesome for them. Uh, but yeah, I have uh, not so profitable. Like, I mean, garrisons are still fairly profitable, but they're not like super quick. Um... It is true that if you did the grind to get that gold, you still earned the mount. Yeah, absolutely. Just a different pathway. Choose your own grindy adventure. 100%. Hello, David. Good time zone to you. I hope you're doing well. I'm going to queue up when I hit 10 seconds. There we go. Because then at least if it's an instant queue, I won't get kicked out of the queue. For waiting until it... Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> so does anyone know who holds VOA at the moment? I mean, I know I'm not going to be in there for another, like maybe even an hour at this point, but um, hopefully not an hour, probably more like 30 to 45 minutes, but, and I know VOA rotates on far, like faster than that, doesn't it? Oh, look, it's tank queues now. Good Lord. Okay, that's fine. Apparently you can still get in there pretty simply if you don't have control. Oh, okay, cool. I thought it was locked behind a door that you had, like, locked behind a teleporter, and if you can't get, if you can't use the teleporter, you can't get in. Um, but... Is it scenario shapes between factions, or is it still people can fight it? Oh, people fight it! Like, you have to, I'm pretty sure you have to fight it. Um... Uh, 
Let me check the Wowhead comments. Vault of Arakevon. It's Winograsp, right? Ah, look at that, Shiba. Um. Uh, okay, it didn't jump to the appropriate comment. <laughs> uh, it just sent me to the top. Because I'm like, a few months ago I posted Aqual on the Sea Watcher was going to happen so close, and I was like, that's not helpful. What? <laughs> um, VOA has a summoning stone. Uh, new boss was added. Uh, it doesn't. The newest first. Newest first. Let's do that then. Yeah, it hadn't even saved that sorting. So our Toravon fight goes. What's recommended for tanking? Information, loot, locations, fights, Emelon, Coralon, blah 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 blah. Uh, yeah, I'm still not seeing it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Ah, uh, okay. It's a glitch that gets you in if your faction doesn't control it, which I know you probably don't want to do. It's a glitch? Like... Yeah, if it's, um... Like, if it's involving walking through walls and shit like that, I absolutely do not want to lose my account. Um, so I've just typed in the word faction, like, as a control F on the whole page, and nothing says anything about being able to get in there. I'm wondering if you maybe have a, a cached version of the page and they've removed a comment explaining, uh, removed a comment that is explaining to people how to take advantage of a glitch, because that is potentially putting your account at risk. Because it's not, there's nothing here mentioning faction. Like, because I imagine, you know, if it's like, if your faction doesn't control it, here's how to hack it to get in. Not hack it, obviously. It's using a glitch is not hacking. But yeah, um. Yeah, I'm wondering if maybe you're looking at a cached version of the page that doesn't. that, that And now they've removed that comment because it's, um. not creative use of game mechanics. Um. I totally forgot about that. No, that's okay. Just, yeah, it's it's a good thing to think about, you know. Like, if you're if you're jumping through walls or you're squeezing through a part of a door that you absolutely your character should not be able to fit through, um, keep in mind that that's probably a glitch. Um, yeah. Here I was thinking that they'd given us like a roundabout way to do it in case it wasn't. Do you know what I mean? Because it's old content. But no, um, <laughs> not quite. Uh, the comment I'm looking at is from 11 hours ago. During patch 915, it's weird why it's not popping up for me. Yeah, like I filtered by new, like I filtered by pa comments from 1915, and it's not. There's nothing there. There are no comments that are dated later than patch 3.2.2. 2. 
So I would almost guarantee that the, the comment has been removed. Um, yeah, that's... I found out two days ago from the wowhead seems weird they would have deleted it that soon. No. If, if it's a comment encouraging people to break toss on a fan page, makes sense to me that they would have removed it quickly. As soon as they became aware of it, that it existed. Um, they probably would have reported it to Blizzard and removed the, the post helping people understand how to break toss. Um, no link, sorry. It's come through as three asterisks. Do you see with this? I mean, probably the same if I had navigated there myself. Oh no, there it is there. Okay, that's really odd. I wonder why it wasn't working before. Maybe my page was broken. Yeah, that's not... Yeah, I... Mm. Mm. That's, um... Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Link Glitchy Territory, yeah. Yeah, that's, um... It doesn't only like that. It won't always put you on the page. The patch comment you've chosen to sort by is actually on. Well, I think it's maybe it's because Shiba gave me a a link comments ID blah 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 blah, um, like linking to a specific comment. Maybe fucked it, um, but I'm not sure. Regardless, it's there now, and that's uh, yeah. I'm not sure I'm willing to do that. I do not want to even begin to risk my account. Um, That's the kind of thing where I'd open a ticket and say, hey, I've found a comment on Wowhead that details this way to get into Wintergrass when I am when my faction is not the one controlling it, like getting into Vault of Archivon when my faction is not controlling Wintergrasp. I want to know if this is considered a glitch that I would be taking advantage of and if that will penalize my account if I do it. Um, and not do a, not fucking do a thing until I got confirmation from a Blizzard employee that my account will be safe if I do this. Because if it's not intentional and then they do a fucking ban wave or a rollback or something like that, fuck no, I'm not losing the shit that I've done with my account. Absolutely not. <clears throat> Nor am I going to appear as a fucking streamer who is being featured on the goddamn launcher to you propagate people doing something prepared. that could lose their accounts. Talanas, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a lovely day. How was your stream? What were you up to? What were you doing? Tell us all about it. But yeah, no, no way. Not, not fucking with shit like that. Not, um, not when it could lose me my account. Absolutely not. <clears throat> Um, doesn't sure unless you sort by newest first. Interesting. Uh, this is where you come to enjoy the feeling of not getting the last appearance you need to complete a set. I feel that random personal word comments. Uh, Blizz either needs to clarify a hotfix. Yeah. Um. Well, that's the thing. Yeah. I would. I would definitely not do it unless getting clarification. Um. The problem with that is that, you know, saying that aloud, a whole lot of people would be like, you fucking evil person, how dare you tell them about it? Now they've fixed it and now we can't do it. And it's like, did you want to lose your account? Like, fuck. Oh my God. Axiom, thank you for the jeer. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. Ah, I used to use DMF rideable toys you put on the ground to do gun drag last boss this way. I'm fairly sure you won't get banned for doing something minor like that besides no one will know unless you stream it. Uh, they absolutely can tell. If they have time logs of when each faction is in, is in control of when it grasped and then they have logs of who is entering these raids and instances and stuff, it can definitely be put together if they wanted to go that far to do it. And I don't know them 
So I don't know what they would consider minor enough to, you know what I mean? Like I, I'm, and I'm not willing to assume that much. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Um, nor am I ever going to sit here and tell people, yeah, absolutely, give it a go. You should try breaking DOS. No, fuck off. Absolutely not. <laughs> it's not. It's not happening. I definitely do not recommend uh, doing anything that could potentially be considered to be breaking of DOS. Um, yeah, definitely not going to encourage that. Uh, that was back in Wrath. Probably isn't worth the risk. You're true. Yeah, it's not worth it. Not to me. Look, I'm I'm not your mother. I'm not your mother. I'm not going to promote doing it. I'm not going to advise that you do it. Absolutely not. Um, but I'm also not your not your mother. I'm not your parental unit. So like, you do you boo. But if you lo if you lose your account, then you can't bitch because you've done a thing, and you knew it was a glitch. So <laughs> like, yeah. Calculated risk. Um, raid indeed. Hello, Silver. Hello. Hello, Talon. Welcome on in. If you run through 50 characters all in a row, that's mass exploitation. <laughs> yeah, I have. I have 50 tunes. Yep. Uh, all right. Um, I have us not fixed since Wrath is their problem at this point. They can make it your problem. If you're the one not abiding by toss, if you are, if, if there is a glitch there and you know it's a glitch and you know it's not supposed to work that way and you do it anyway, doesn't matter. They can do whatever they fucking like because technically you are renting your account from them. That's what it says in the toss. You are in the EULA end user license agreement. You are, you are renting a license to your, your account on which you use. You do not own your account. You do not own your characters. You can lose access to them at any point at Blizzard's discretion. Don't fuck with them. <laughs> Unless you're willing to lose your shit, don't fuck with it. Uh, but again, not your mother. Um, uh, we're playing Dying Light 2. Hey, just drop kicking people off skyscrapers. Sounds like a grand old time. I hope you had an absolute blast, Helen. Uh, one of the comments says, if you log out inside, then when logging in next time, it doesn't matter who controls. Maybe camping with only 50 tunes might work. Potentially. That's, yeah, that, um... That'd be interesting. Don't think Vault of Archivon entrance skip fixes a priority with a new patch in 10 days. Uh, part needs clarified is whether this is an old exploit or a new issue. Well, there are people talking about it from 902. Um, uh, 8.1 video here. As of 2020, there's an alternative. As of Feb 21, there's another alternative. Um... No. Um, so yeah, there are a few people who have said stuff. Um, there are a few people who have said stuff a while back, but it doesn't... Um, it, it doesn't matter how long, how old it is. Like, matter of fact is, if they consider it a glitch and they decide to enforce it at whatever date now or in the future, that's their choice. It's their product. Uh, and they don't have to give you access to it. Just like they're allowed to take the servers down and turn the game off entirely if they want to at any point. They're not going to, because it's making them money. But they could. And you'd have no say. Because you, it's not your account. It's theirs. You're just, lent, uh, you're just uh, leasing it. Renting it. Um, yeah. Unfortunate, but it is a fact. Um, but again, not your mother. If you want to do it, fucking go ahead. Sure. Just... Be aware that it's if it, if it is a glitch and it is not intended to work that way, then there is a potential that you will get in trouble. It's as simple as that. And I personally am not willing to take the risk, especially considering that I half of my fucking income, well not half, but a good fucking chunk of my goddamn income that I use to pay my bills and pay for food and pay my rent and all that kind of stuff comes from my ability to play this game. So, so that's it. Like, I'm, it's not worth it to me. Uh, but everyone has different sets of values and different priorities and all that kind of shit. And that's fine. That's fine. Um, I just would never, ever, ever advise anyone to break DOS. It's that simple. Ah, <sighs> dearie me. All right, out we get. On to the next tune. This is the last Alliance tune. Thank fuck. 
Um, they can 1000% tell they log everything. If it can be logged, they log it and you'd be a fool not to. Hi there, on a lighter note, do you have a moment to share your opinion? Stir and how it impacted your life. Uh, I know of Def Leppard. I don't think I've ever heard any of their music. Sorry, Havoc. Um, is for your mother? No. Uh, if you lose your account, uh, you're an adult, you took actions, your actions have results. Yeah. Um, but yeah, look, again, like, you do you boo. I'm not your mother, but... Uh, make sure you calculate the risk. Old exploits are still exploits. Yep! Am I in tank spec? No, good. It's a glitch that has evolved. Uh, this is really what it boils down to. Yep! Could be as minor as a 24 hour ban, or you could magically, magically lose thousands of hours of work. In the case of a streamer, your literal income. So, I mean, dot, dot, dot. Yeah, that's, and that's that's my perspective. Look, and people are gonna unfollow, and people are gonna rage about me, and never follow, never watch ever again, and all that kind of shit. And that's fine. That's, that's totally your opinion, and you are entitled to that opinion. This is mine. I'm entitled to it as well. Uh, I'd calculate the risk, but man, I'm bad at math. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Oh, that's great. Look, we hit 20. Amazing. Actually sitting on that 20 instance, it means like I'm, I'm going as quickly as I can and that feels good. <sighs> because goddamn, 50 tunes is a lot to run this shit on. <laughs> if I wasn't having fun, I wouldn't be doing it, but goddamn, it still takes a while. Ah, <sighs> oh, fuck. That is Alliance done. 1,140 attempts onto the Horde tunes, my last 10 Horde tunes. <sighs> so Renard was the last one we did it on. So, Yalka. There's a battle. Oh shit, there is two. Thank you. Um. Oh, the only way you should ever do an exploit is if it happens in the MDI and Blizzard says, yeah, go for it. Like mists, wall pulls, and skips. Yep. Yeah, if, if you get confirmation from Blizzard that they're like, yep, whatever, then absolutely, which is why I said I would open a ticket and say, hey, I've read about this thing. If I do this, is my account going to get banned? Is this an exploit or is this a fun, cool trick? Is this a creative use of game mechanics? And if they confirm back to me it's an exploit, I'll be like, all right, cool. I'm not going to do it. Even if they never fix it, it's still an exploit. They've said that and I have confirmation from a Blizzard employee. But if they said it's creative use of game mechanics, fucking go for it. Do the thing. But yeah, like that's, yeah, I wouldn't want to, to try it without having confirmation. Um, I'm glad this is fun for you because boy howdy, I don't have the patience for this. Fair. Uh, I've still got 18 seconds before I can queue, before I'm going to be let into a dungeon. Uh, things that Shadow Step inadvertently works on until they make it no fun at all. Can confirm I'm doing this with 40 tunes and it hurts my soul. Uh, do you have any thoughts about the Microsoft Takeover? You may have already talked this out, but all this mention of Toss and Eula has me thinking about how things might change. Um, yeah, no, for sure. I've definitely talked about it because, as you can imagine, when it first happened, it was a big co conversation. Approximately three days after it was announced, no one asked me anymore because, basically, it doesn't matter. Uh, Zam, K, and Gooses, congratulations on your bonus shit. Um, it, it doesn't matter. Um... At this point, like, it's going to be literally years before we as the end users see any kind of effect. Um, the people who, like, firstly, it actually has to go through. There are there are so many legal jumps, like, legal hoops that they have to jump through before it, it will actually go through and happen. So it hasn't happened yet, obviously. Um, by the time it does go through, we're looking at about a year from now, um, approximately. It might be a little quicker than that. It might be a little bit longer than that, but it's not going to be in the next two months. <laughs> like it's gonna be they said financial year 2020 uh sorry 23 they said fy 23 which is you're looking at june 2023 at the earliest it's gonna be july 2022 which is this year obviously but that's still what four five, 
math, five months from now, that'll be the absolute quickest it'll happen. It won't happen that quickly. Big fucking takeovers like this take a long ass time for them to check all those legal boxes and make sure everything's in line and everything's in its place. So that's when the actual purchase will happen. Next thing is that um, companies who buy other companies, they only ever buy another company, especially this big, because it's profitable. They don't want to start messing with shit until they know what exactly makes it profitable. So they don't touch that because they don't want to break a company that they've just paid fucking how many millions of billions for. They don't want to waste that money. So they will take their sweet ass fucking time to investigate the entire fucking company and figure out exactly what makes it profitable. That will take years. It'll take years because you've got to do the research, you've got to talk to the people, then you've got to actually like put those reports together and then send them higher up and then they've got to summarize their reports and send them higher up and then summarize those reports and send them... Anyway, it's a whole thing. Um, so that'll be a couple more years. Then once that happens, they will start making changes. Maybe. Maybe. And if they make those, like, if they make those changes, it's going to be to, uh, like, personnel shit. It's not going to affect how the games run. It's not going to affect EULA or TOS or anything like that. It'll be, like, how many people they employ to do what jobs. Do they have a central graphic design team or does each game have a graphic design team? Those kind of changes, uh, which won't affect us whatsoever. Um, and, yeah, so we're looking at, like, five, six, seven years down the track when they might actually start making difference and making changes to how we play the game. And by that point, there will have been so many changes anyway. It'll be a totally different game anyway that any of those changes might have been because of Microsoft and we'll never fucking know. It doesn't, it, it doesn't matter for us. It, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, by that point, WoW might not even exist. We have no idea. Uh, but yeah, look, it's um, from from what I have heard um, there seems to be positivity about it, um, from, like, employees and stuff like that. Granted, that might just be because that's what they have to project outwards to, to external people or whatever, um, but it's, it's, you know, looking forward to what the future might bring. Um, so, that's, and that's all that matters to me. As long as the employees are happy, well, like, well, you know, that's, that's how it works, right? Happy employees tend to put out good games. Unhappy employees tend to make, uh, you know, employee turnover, which results in a shitty game because no one has enough time to figure out what the previous set of employees wanted. Um, so yeah, I just I hope that I hope that they are they are comfortable in their roles and that they're happy with how they're treated moving forward and all that kind of stuff. That's that's what matters to me, honestly. Uh, yeah, there you go. Enjoy rant. <laughs> uh, I'm terrified for the day I'm not focused on stream. It's just an explosion of screaming and crying. That is what clips are for. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I forgot I made that. Thanks, Shiva. <laughs> I forgot. Good. Rant unnecessary. Fantastic. God, I'm a fucking numpty. Um... I'm yeah, never sure yet. <laughs> I mean, they won't eventually hotfix the game mechanic, but without taking action on anyone. Yep, yeah, but or they could hotfix it and take action on everyone who's used it recently. You never know. Uh, any discussion about potential impacts on WoW now is like extreme crystal ball conjecture, not worth the mental effort yet. Yeah, basically, basically. Um, look, I know I understand that there is a section of the community for whom it is super fun to like figure out all this kind of stuff and like, what if this happens? And what if that happens? And what if that happens? And it, it never matters. None of that shit ever matters. Even when you're like playing around with like, oh, this stuff on, on PTR, it's a, it's a test realm. Put in your feedback in a constructive manner and it may or may not make it through to live. <laughs> like it's a test. Uh, but yeah, it's a... Uh, it's, it's, I know that some people, for some people, that is genuinely fun. That is what they enjoy. And I'm never going to tell them to stop doing what they enjoy doing unless it is at the expense of others. Like, you know, we, we say that there are a million different ways to play WoW. The only wrong way to play WoW is the way that shits on other people. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, if that's how you, ha if, if conjecture is what is your form of fun, then go for it by all means. Um, but I, I probably won't engage because it'll just be like, yeah, you're right. It could be, it could happen like that. You're right. It could happen like that. Or it could not. You're right. It could be like that. Or it could not. You, you just, you just don't know. There's no, no way of knowing. 
Um, but hey, look, as long as people are having fun, right? As long as they're enjoying their days. Only way that it matters currently is it may push Blizzard staff whose working conditions have been negative to come forward. Um, or it might shut them up. We don't know. I don't know what Microsoft's working. Like their market, their working conditions look pretty good from like the outside and stuff. And the the announcement was when the announcement was made by Microsoft's, I think it was CEO of gaming. I don't remember what their exact title was, but they did talk a lot about equality and all that kind of stuff. So that's a good sign. But uh, talk is talk. Talk is talk. Uh, it's kind of like guessing what happens in 11 -0. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of funny. But um, to each their own. Void versus light basically guaranteed. Ah, uh, Void versus light equals Microsoft taking over. I'm more referring to the details. Who the fuck? Yeah, of course. Of course. Ah, uh, but hey, that's just theory. A game theory. Yep. Yeah. Okay, I just lost the game. Oh no, Zam, you lost the game. Sony and PlayStation players should have nothing to worry about. I'm one of those players. Oh, it would, like... This literally does not affect you whatsoever at all. Like, if Microsoft got bought out, then that's different. But this doesn't affect anything else apart from, like, Activeless people. Like, it, it affects nothing on the other end. <laughs> um, so did we... you saying that? Brilliant. Microsoft just never getting bored out at this point. No, I know. But like that, do you know what I'm saying? It's uh, yeah. Am I? I'm in tank form, so this will be fun. Tank form. God, can you tell I've been playing too much Pokemon? Um, going to local. I have some dinner. Enjoy your dinner, Talon. I hope it's delicious and delightful. Ah, uh, it's been years since I lost the game. Oh no, Sai. I'm so sorry. I hope you're okay. I hope you can pull through this. It will be okay. I, I promise. It will be okay. Welcome to the stream, your dungeon when you were a healer. Your tank was in Sparrow, Feral Specs. Look. Look. Just look. I lost the game. Oh no, Ram. Everyone's losing the game. Left, right, and center. I'm trying to get these things, like, when they're not in the patches of stuff, and it's just heckin' impossible. Yeah. I don't think anyone gives a rat's ass about specs in this dungeon. Oh no, some people, some people do. You get you get really angry whispers occasionally. It's kind of funny. A little bit. It's like, dude, we killed it. Why 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 are you angry? It's okay. Take a breath. It's Oh, excuse me. It's fine. I also just miss anti-monopoly laws, not necessarily because of Microsoft purchase or not. Yeah. Yeah, it is kind of interesting. Like competition is good for everyone. Competition pushes progress, like people learn to do new shit because it, they have to find a way somehow to put themselves ahead of the competition. Um, so it, you know, drives innovation and, and stuff like that. It also, it keeps prices reasonable. Like there is a level that people can't go below. They can't drop this low because that's going to make them a loss and they're a company, they still need to make a profit. 
but it also like it makes sure that they don't just put them sky high because they can. Um, yeah, it's uh, competition makes for for healthy businesses uh, and a healthy industry. But um, yeah, look, people are greedy. People just want more money in their pockets. <clears throat> Companies get comfy. They do. Yeah, That's exactly how I feel about it as well. Competition driving innovation. Yeah. Competition is great as long as the workers are protected. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Because if they drive, if they, if competition means that they're driving their prices too low and they try to pay, pay their workers less to get their prices lower so they can beat the competition, then yeah, that, that needs to be illegal. But unfortunately it doesn't seem to be. Um, you know, minimum wage is there's a thing that minimum wage is supposed to protect workers and it just isn't. It just isn't. Don't end up like American where they're duopolies or cartels. I mean, we have we've had duopolies in Australia for a long ass time as well. Like prior to Aldi getting on the scene, like about ten years ago, like it's Aldi has not been here for very long. Coles and Woolies was a fucking duopoly. Optus and Telstra was a duopoly for a very long time. Like <laughs> I like Australia has this too. Um, it's like art tablets. Longest time it was only Wacom, and they got comfy driving their own prices up the wazoo because the, there was no competition. Now there are at least two other really great brands that come out for a lesser price, but on par with Wacom. That's awesome. And it's interesting because like Wacom can still leave their prices high though, because there will be some people who be like, oh, oh yeah, but those are really new. I only really, really trust Wacom. It'll take it takes years for new companies like that to be able to drive down the price of a of an exist like a prior monopoly. It's interesting how it works. Hey, humans are weird. Humans are weird. I'm primarily a US based comment, but it appears to have rolled out to the entire world, so yay. Let's not get into that. How bad US ISPs are. Oh fucking oath. At least in Australia, like most companies cover most of the country. Like there, there isn't even a question of who's available in my area. It's like, you've got at least three choices, no matter where you live. Um, brand purists and all that. Yeah, but not, not even brand purists. People who, who are nervous about doing their own research and trusting other reviews and stuff like that. It's kind of like, it's not, oh, I only use Wacom because I'm a fancy person. It's it's more like, oh, cool. So there's this new brand that's come out. They like all the specs seem to be about the same as the Wacom tablet, but ha like, do they last? I don't they're a brand new company. Like, is there any is there company trust for them? Like these reviews come out, but that review is probably sponsored. So like, can I trust that? Maybe I should go with the tried and true, even though it's three times the price, because I know like they've been around for decades and they know what they do. Do you know what I mean? Like it's, there's definitely that as well. It definitely takes a handful or like a really good handful of people to put their necks out and put and take the risk of trying the new company so that other people can come to trust them as well. It's really interesting. Like psychology behind, you know, what brands we choose and stuff like that is, is very interesting. Very interesting. Uh, Shilio is still being sold 80 megabits as top end. No, we're not. I've got more than 80 megabits, I'm pretty sure. Um, anyway. Uh, at least it works. Shall we see what you mean? Okay, video cell. 2.5, Google Fiber, there's no go back from that. You're on Fiber. Yeah, but the vast majority of the country has Fiber now. So that's, we're not being told, we're not being sold 80 megabits as top end. We're being sold Fiber as top end. Like, that's, like, your... I don't what, sorry. I'm 80, 100 down, 30 up and I'm in Australia. The vast majority of the country has fiber. Not all, but the vast majority of the country has access to fiber. And we know that that's the fastest available. 80 megabits is not the high, like, yeah. That's just false. Um, I'm not generally a fan of LD because they have few choices in each category. It makes it harder to find food made in Oz without, with, or without certain additives. Love them in theory, not in practice. So the way that they have their prices so low is because you don't get a choice. That's that's how they manage to keep their prices lower. Is like, you know, you go here and you've got all these choices. 
and they're all they all take up shelf space which means higher rents and things like that because like you know brick and mortar so aldi keeps prices low by having smaller stores because they have smaller stores they have fewer choices and stuff like that that is not going to work for everyone absolutely but it's not it's not theory versus practice their the way that they work is the only way it can work in australia if they wanted to have more options on the shelves they would need to pay higher rents and therefore the products would be more expensive hence they would be coles and woolies um it's not for everyone but it can, it can only work the way that it works currently unfortunately um yeah and entire cities in the US have 21 as the fastest, and that's just fucking ridiculous. Oh, and I'm only on fiber of the node. Same Z, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, like, we're, we're not being sold 80 megabit as the, the top end. We're, we're not. Fiber is what we're being sold as being the top end. Not everyone has access to fiber, but a very small portion of the country now doesn't have access to fiber. Um, yeah. But yeah, no, um, this is a really long, what is with this queue timer? Six and a half minutes. I feel like it's broken. This has got to be broken. Actually surprised living out in the sticks that I have a decent connection. Um, a lot of like when they first started the NBN rollout, they, a lot of it targeted people out in the sticks because they, that would, people out in the sticks would get the biggest benefit from it. If they rolled it out in the city, people would go from this connection to this connection. Whereas out in the sticks, they'd go from this connection to this connection. So that's that's why they tried to spend the money to, to bridge that gap faster. Um, but then companies started investing in NBN Co. And so they got their connections faster. And so they shifted from the sticks into the cities and then kind of everything was a bit fucked. And then the cost of the whole thing blew out because people are idiots and just look, NBN was a terrible, terrible thing. Um, the, the, the rollout of it was a terrible thing. Having fiber in Australia was necessary for us to, you know, actually compete on a global stage. Uh, but, um, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's a, it's a whole thing. <clears throat> um, Riku was heels. I was cute as all three. That was the problem. Uh, I see it on buses, so I thought it was, but I see now that MBN 1000 or 1000 megabits is the top. Oh yeah, yeah, it's, um, you might have been seeing 80 megabits sold as the top for, like, mobile phones. Maybe. Especially if it's on a bus, and people are sitting there waiting for something to load, and they go, oh, fucking, oh, 80 megabit for my phone? That's perfect product placement. Like, perfect placement of an advertisement. Not product placement, but, like, advertisement placement. Like, it's perfection. Um, but yeah, not definitely not for homes. Definitely not for homes. Uh, focused on rural and industrial businesses earlier. Yeah. Yep. Give the biggest benefit to the economy quicker. Uh, makes my heart hurt so much. Yeah. Aldi has that model everywhere. They sell small ranges, generally okay quality and cheap. Hey, Akaz. Hello. Um, yeah, there are, there might be some countries out there where they could expand their range and still be able to keep their prices low, but in Australia, they absolutely cannot, <laughs> which sucks for those who need specific requirements, like are looking for stuff that doesn't have additives or particular preservatives, or, you know, they have allergies and stuff like that. It, it sucks for those people. Um, but if Aldi tried to, like, tried to do that for everyone and everyone's requirements, they would have to pay a lot more rent, uh, and therefore the, every, the price of everything would go up. Um, it's just that's how it works, unfortunately. So, um, yeah. I'm pretty sure I opened that box. Um, totally screwed the rollout. 100% rollout was terrible. Could have done in, been done in better ways. It's because it was being rolled out by fucking 60 to 70 year old men who had no idea how the internet works. But whatever. What do I know? Get on the Luna. I did. It ticked off. Okay, good. Uh, wait. No, that's where I needed it anyway. Ha ha. Uh, you understand why they are that way? That when they first arrived in Australia, they guaranteed Australian products unless something wasn't available. That gradually eroded. Ah, uh, gotcha. Okay. Uh, maybe I'm more accurate to say I loved them when they started out, but now their current practices don't suit me. Fair enough. I was definitely focusing more on the comment around preservatives and additives and stuff, um, rather than the food made in Oz part. I was I was honed in on that other section. Um, 
but yeah, the the Made in Australia stuff. Um, it it may well have been that the cost of production in Australia cl like climbed sky high, and if they wanted to keep their prices even reasonably competitive, with a uh, fun fact, um, fresh stuff, fresh fruit, fresh meat, fresh veg, uh, fresh shit at Aldi, same price as Coles and Woolies, usually within cents on the kilo. As in, if something is nineteen ninety five a kilo at Aldi, it'll be nineteen ninety nine at Woolies or Coles, like that fucking close. The only place that you save money at Aldi is on packaged goods. You, your spreads, your bread, maybe. Bread bread is a questionable one because I know like obviously bread and milk and stuff at Woolies and Coles, it's a big selling point for them, how cheap it is. Um, but yeah, like it's, it's the chips, it's the cookies, it's the chocolate, it's all that kind of shit <clears throat> that is cheaper at Aldi. <clears throat> Fresh shit, no difference in price. <clears throat> And I know this because when I was on AIP 100%, like the AIP is autoimmune protocol for those of you who haven't been here for very long. Um, it's basically a diet that's designed to help manage people's uh, autoimmune symptoms. I have an autoimmune condition. So when I was on AIP, I, I literally went into Aldi and I went into Coles and I went into Woolies a couple, like every every month or so to, to take note of what the different prices were on different products because all I could eat basically was fresh stuff. Anything packaged, guarantee it would have an additive that is not AIP compliant. So I had to eat fresh stuff and I had to make everything from scratch, which was okay, but it required work and it required a fuckload of label reading. Um, so I did that and I went to try to figure out how I could do it at, on as much of a budget as I could. And I realized all the prizes were the fucking same. It was all the same. And I've kind of kept an eye on it since then. Um, obviously you get more selections of meat, of cuts of meat, for example, like in Aldi, you have maybe like three different types of steak of beef. You know, there's like a porterhouse and there's a sirloin and there's a, there's a, um, not a sirloin, a scotch fillet and there's a, so rump porterhouse and scotch fillet. Yep. Whereas at Woolies, you've got like seven different cuts of steak. Um, so definitely more, more selection, all that kind of stuff, but the prices for what is available at Woolies, same. It's all the same. <clears throat> um, Alpavo Social Housing Estates was able to get FTTP slash B, so I felt pretty lucky with video selling 42. Fair. Fair enough. Every new build house in the UK has gigabit and 30% now have fiber to the premises. Yeah. We had fiber to the premises for a while and then they were, oh, this is so expensive. So we're just going to run fiber to the node and then you'll have copper to the house. So there was like a section there of about a year where anything built within that year was fiber to the premises or fiber to the basement if it's an apartment building. Um, and so I've got fiber to the basement here. Um, and then and then after that, everything's fiber to the node because it got too expensive. They, they blew out their budget by something like 800% anyway. And that was just doing fiber to the node because they were idiots. They were idiots. Uh, but that's fine. Psyche used to be a Telstra engineer decades ago, got retrenched, went to Psyche. Interesting. Ah, uh, it is done. I completely finished everything Lunar Festival. Hey, fantastic news. Congratulations. Can you hear the bathroom being queued over eight minutes? I don't want to risk not getting in. Ew. Uh, yeah, that sounds about right. How come you're not queuing with us, Kay? I mean, how many dungeons have I done in the last eight minutes? Like, fuck. Or is it something else? Oh, queuing for Rathi. Okay, my bad. Sorry. Yep. Uh, I found if the queue time goes over four minutes, this event you have to requeue something isn't right. Yeah. Ah, uh, labels be small. Generally try to go to look a butcher for me at fruit and veggie shop for those. Just hit the coals woolies out here for the rest. Yeah, I um don't always have the option to do that, uh, especially in the summer because I don't have a car, uh, so I can't go walking as far as I need to to a butcher and then walk home even with a cooler bag because it's not going to stay cold. I'm going to give myself food poisoning. Uh, and the last time I got food poisoning, I ended up in the hospital because of the autoimmune. Um, so yeah, nah. <laughs> Would love to, it's a nice thought, but uh, nah. I just upgraded the original ADSL. Why? Oh, as in, like, that's what they did by making it NBN, is all they did was upgrade it? Yeah, I can agree with that. It's fucking trash, but anyway. Uh, a lot of it came to down to a change in government mid-rollout. Did my vent runs this morning when Americans were on. Got a net called the winking eye of love. Sounds dirty to me. 
uh, waiting to see what the city fiber price would be like before designing for mutual higher speed. Fiber's not that fast, city fiber is one gig. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, that'll be the, keep in mind that'll be the maximum you can get from, from that provider. Um, and that it'll likely be a bit lower day to day. Um, but I mean, they always tell you that kind of shit anyway. Um, lucky that I drive. There's a really good butcher right on my way home. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Um, city was basically at war with Google for years because they weren't the first city in our metro to get it and they finally got over themselves this last year. Oh, God. So we didn't get it first, so we don't want it at all? Like, fuck off. Think about your fucking constituents. My God. <sighs> Good morning from Spain. Hello, Gab. Watch with my morning coffee. Fantastic. Wonderful. Almost done. Four more tunes, including this one, and I'll be done for the day. Mm, 14 and still waiting. Good lord. Yeah. Look, the PvP queues can get a bit ridiculous sometimes. Especially when it's not a PvP event for the week as well. I don't have a very high opinion about elected representatives. Yeah, not a lot of not a lot of people do. Not a lot of people do. Uh, I just need to pity this fool. That's literally how it went down through a temper tantrum. Every city around us got it, despite being smaller cities. Good lord. Did you ally swap? Yeah, this is my. I'm at one thousand one hundred and forty-six. All my allies are done. Or are you talking to Kay about going in as a um, as mercenaries? That might be what you mean. Okay, yeah, <laughs> I thought so. After I said it, I'm like, that's not what was, that's not what Jack meant. Um, yeah, so if you're having a really long queue, it might be because there's not enough opposite side people for PvP. So if you speak to, there's a there's an NPC in um, in uh, the capital city on, uh, in, in BFA. Um, although actually they probably moved that to Oribos now, didn't they? It would make sense if they did. Yeah, there's an NPC you can talk to to queue as the opposite faction. So if your queues are too long, you can uh, bump them up in speed. Uh, I think City Fiber is being done to make sure it's one gig speed. That's impossible. You can't do that. That's not how internet works. Um, you can't guarantee a minimum speed for internet, unfortunately. Uh, exchange box through the top of the path. Another one's just further down the road. Seems to be small exchange boxes close together. Cabling is such in. Uh, just need to be connected. Yeah, um, it's still... That's unfortunately not how internet connections work. You can say this is what we're expecting to hit. This is this is what we're, you know, like this is where we're at, but that's going to be off peak time when this is not happening and blah, 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 blah. Um, that's like your ideal conditions is going to be at that speed. And then during peak hour, when everyone's just got home from work and is flicking on the Netflix and stuff, it'll be not much lower, but not like not max either. Um, yeah. Uh, Arbos will be a fair hiding near the PvP vendors in Arbos. Interesting, might give this up. Do the other two, then do that later. Sitting outside the next place, I need to video full lol. Uh, I think it only works for the least populated faction. Nope. You can you can do it whenever you want, Gabri. It wouldn't make sense for it to be to for it to work for the least populated faction. Because then you've got more of a, like, if we've got Alliance and Horde and you have the least populated faction Alliance switching to Horde means even more people in a queue not getting a match. Like, that doesn't make any sense. If anything, it'd only work for the most populated faction. But even still, I'm pretty sure it works for literally anyone. Because then they'd have to, like, turn it on and turn it off and then turn it on and, turn, like, depending on who's got lower queue times, like, kind of, it'd just be a fucking mess. Um, they just leave it on all the time. So if you're having a ridiculously long queue, you go and give it a try. Because people probably aren't going to use it if their queues are fast anyway. Um, well, those queues are usually much faster. Uh, can we do that then? Break time. No worries, Jesse. Enjoy. Enjoy. Good luck, Jesse. Yes, absolutely. That's a vending great job. Sorry, thank you. Oh, for Jesse. Yes, of course. Of course. Enjoy the raid. Hello, Kim. How are you going? Uh, Mercs is not up all the time. You usually only switch the side, which needs more players. Oh, really? Um, at least it was that way in BFA. That doesn't seem to... Like, that just seems like so much fucking work on their end. Why not just leave it up all the time and people will only use it when they feel like they need to? The most perfect faction I meant. Yeah, if I may be wrong, I thought here in EU you can only be Horde Mercenary, but not much PvP from me. Fair enough. Aw, oh, thank you, Kim. Much appreciated. 
Yeah, I just I, I feel like that'd be kind of a waste of resources. Why not just leave it on all the time? And if people want to do it, they can do it. If people don't want to do it, they won't, sort of thing. Um, but, oh well, what do I know? Clearly not much about PvP, because it's not something I do super often. Uh, right, battle. Let's do that. Oh, what was that? And just... Oh, oh no! One of the hearts came off the... There we go. Pop it back in there. Because I, I did, when I got it, there was one missing on the very end. But there wasn't an extra heart in the box or anything, so I just kind of... But there you go, that, that makes sense. Uh, <laughs> oops. Coming up for long queue time factions. Okay, noted. There you go. Now I've learned something new. Which is always hard. At least in, yeah, an AOC is always hard. Uh, do PvP, however, whenever the IA Battleground is up. Easy farm, easy... The AI one? Yeah. The, uh... Artificial intelligence one. I've never not seen the NPC that yeah. That doesn't surprise me. Uh, I am in queue, by the way. For those of you who are keeping an eye on Quick Join, I am in queue. Uh, just also waiting for the battleground to play out. The battleground, the battle for Stream Raiders. Goodness gracious. Oof, we're getting close to three hours today. I'm not comfortable with this at all. Because so on the fifteenth day of Lovers in the Air, it's got, it runs from one a.m. when the daily reset happens in Australia to four a.m., which is when the event ends in Australia. So it's a three-hour window to get fifty tunes done. Fairy, Meaty, Zam, Faden, and K, congratulations on your bonus shit. So I am like every every day that we get kind of close to this taking three hours to do, I get really nervous because I don't want to miss out on like a handful of attempts on that final night at that final day. It's gonna, it's gonna suck. So I'm just like, yep. You go place your units. <laughs> oh, just place me as a tank for God's sake! Come on, surely there's other DPS in the queue. What are you doing? Drop a fourth final day. I really fucking hope so because I do not want to be sitting here until 4 a.m. when I've got work that day. I don't mm -mm, don't want to do it. So I'm really hoping that it bloody well drops before then. <clears throat> this is a bit silly. Two minutes in queue. 500 laptop broke down on me as soon as no one five came out. Been saving up to come back. Oh no, Kim. Oh no. Well, fingers crossed you'll be able to get your hands on something new soon, yeah? Fingers crossed. Something is wrong here. Still says one minute. So it seems like the DBS queues are the fast ones. Yep. Maybe we all just need to select all of them. Although I'm, I'm, I'd be surprised if we found like a single, ah, uh, single healers and single, single tanks. Maybe. Uh, yeah, let's try taking everything and just uh, see how that goes. No, Jack, you meant to take everything. Dungeon DPS queue. Fucking. <laughs> 
My children comes in and have more than enough. Yay! Excited to wake up one morning to blah blah has been deposited. Fuck yes. No TBS. Yes. I did take everything. Well, it says Alluria Zuljin has chosen tank healer. Let's try again because it, it varies. Like I can send you a screenshot. Maybe it's just breaking. Like if it's through. Um, yeah, now it says damage. Never mind yet. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know, it probably would have popped our original queue by now if I hadn't have left the group. I hadn't have left the queue. Oh, I hate myself. There we go. Um, this major. This guy so that old game never gets old. A weak aura for holy power. She looks like it was filling the box. Oh no, Jack. <gasps> oh no. Well, now that you know, hey, look, now you are aware. Now you're aware. You got something to keep you entertained. Yeah, that's a very good point, Kay. Me too, Kim. I'm glad you got something to keep you entertained. God, I'd hate to lose internet. I'd be losing all my income. Literally all of it, because I work from home. My day job. And I stream. If I didn't have a PC, I couldn't do either. I couldn't do either either. Like, I'd be totally fucked. I'd be on my phone on 4G begging the internet for help, like... <laughs> oh, fuck. That'd be a nightmare. That'd be a nightmare. Last character! I'm still playing Skyrim again, too. Ah, oh, look at that! I've been playing Pokemans. Um, I... Uh oh, okay, so I need to clearly, I need to like super glue this one into the hole because it's not. Okay. This has just fallen off again. I'll fix it after stream, I think. Um, I could you not think of such nightmarish propositions? Yeah, basically. Uh, it does not sound like a fun time at all. Right, so this is my last tune. Plan for the rest of the stream. Uh, after this character, I'm going to switch on to Fear, and I'm going to go through and do uh, her dailies, her round of dailies, because I still need to do three more days worth of dailies for her so that she can get the 270 toy at the end of the thing. Um... After that, I'm probably, because I'm already on fear, I'm probably going to take her to Windergrasp and just check which faction's in charge. And depending on which faction's in charge, um, I can take either my Alliance Druids or my Horde Druids in and hope for the best. Hope I can get some drops and bring Vault of Archivon off the floor um, for, that, for that class. Because not, like, not being able to, uh, actually, like, I don't think I've ever not been able to do whatever's lowest on my list. So that's an interesting concept. <clears throat> there we go. 50 tunes done. Please don't sit on the electrified heart. Oh no no, they're not like so they're not full. So it's the it's like it's like a light like this, like just just the singular LED, and then it has like a cover that's glued on over it. So all it is is the, the plastic cover that's falling off. The hearts themselves are not electrified. It's just stuck on with like a hot glue gun or something. Ah, uh, cool. So there you go. 
50 of 50 completed since lot. You can't see that because there's a thing behind it. But I've done all 50. Ugh. Good. So let's get a going. Three hours on the dot. I know, right? Stream time. Yeah. So that's, um, that's a scary feeling. Boo, no mount. Boo. I know, right? What the fuck, Aaron Jesus? Why you do this to me? That's okay. Tomorrow. Get it tomorrow. Uh, all right. So let's pull up Zygor. Um, we're going to head to Orgrimmar. Add on says I have 47 tunes, but I have 49. Um, is the Tomcat add on switched on on those extra alts? Yeah, don't have it enabled on two of them. That'd be why. Uh, or if you haven't logged into those tunes while you've had Tomcat installed, it can't possibly know that they exist. Um, so you need to make sure on the like the load screen, make sure that it's enabled, and then log into the tune so that it can recognize that it's actually there. <clears throat> Okay, and we'll pick up these quests. Yo, time is money, friend. While we're here, I'm gonna grab my four bracelets out of the guild bank. Oh, for fuck's sake. Um, looking into them every day because of event. Yeah, you need to make sure that Tomcats is actually turned on. Um, otherwise it won't be able to recognize them. Right, so you know how we were talking about how shapeshifter druids don't work? I just applied perfume to a broomkin that is absolutely shapeshifted. But other shape, maybe it's travel form, it doesn't work on them. No, because they go, that bear, that bear's not being, like, I can't put on the bear either. It's really odd. I guess broomkins are humanoid enough. <clears throat> Cross faction dungeon raids out yet? No, they announced that like a week ago. No, it's going to take months. They they specifically said in the article that it was not going to be ready for nine point two, and nine point two is coming out in on February twenty second. Um, so it's probably going to come out because it's such a big thing. It'll come out with nine point two point five, which is probably about six months away. Um. Works on humanoids. Can you heal the bear? Mage, never mind. Yep. Eight to ten months before 95. Yep. Can't apply to the bear due to him being PvP flagged. Not true. I've applied to uh, PvP flagged humanoids before. It's not anything to do with war mode, unfortunately. Um, yeah, that's why we were so confused by it, because I've, I've put it on green named players before. Uh, and I also couldn't put it on a druid in travel form who had a blue name. There was one tucked around the side. It was in travel form. Um, but a blue name, and I couldn't apply to them either. So, yeah, it's not a, not a PvP thing. Uh, closer to six, I'd say. Yeah, about six months. Eight to ten for, for a minor patch is gonna, like, that's not... <laughs> um, usually it's somewhere around the six-month mark. But, hey, look, anything could happen. Who knows? Oh, no, we're doing the other ones first, right? Oops, always forget about that. Uh, maybe, Jack, I hope you're closer than I am. All right, onward we go. Actually, while I'm here, let's turn all my add-ons back on because it makes it feel a lot nicer. Now that I'm not jumping between 50 fucking tunes. Load screens are much longer when you have a ton of add-ons.
really irritates me that you can't see who's in control of a place when you're not in the zone. Like, why can't it just ping the server and ask who's in control of Wintergrasp? It's really silly. be shapeshifts when that shapeshift isn't the spec's main shapeshift. Okay, so if it's a balanced druid in boomy form, I can put them on them, but if it's a balanced druid in bear form, I can't apply it. That's interesting. That's really interesting. I wonder what coding fun times... Kinds of humanoid, I guess. No, 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 apathy. Because what Jack is saying is that if it's in, if it's a, a guardian druid in bear form, then it'll work. Now that's not humanoid. It's got nothing to do with being humanoid. Nothing at all. It's got to do with what spec you're in. Mm, it's the same for stuff like crop questing. Okay. I wonder what funky little bit of code did that. It's curious. Jump on him on bear form only if you were guardian druid. Fun. Interesting. Something something spaghetti code something. Correct. Correct. Hmm. So does anyone know who's in charge of Wintergrass at the moment? If you don't, it's fine. Don't go out of your way, because I can just port there once I finish with my, um, with my quests. I'm kind of curious. Why doesn't WoW have thing about winter grass? What do you mean? What thing? The hotfix if people didn't know how to swap forms to human could interact easier. Yeah, fair. How to unshape shift. Oh, WoW head. Uh, possibly. Tending to avoid Wowhead's front page for spoiler reasons, but um, I could definitely check that later, I guess. Or I can just port there myself and save myself the spoilers. Because they tend to have a really bad habit of putting story spoilers in article headlines, which is really fucking annoying. So, what am I in combat with? Soon to be nothing! Go? Nothing. Go turn these in and then hand out some bracelets. And then farm some fucking transmog, shall we? Back to normal Sunday. What? How is everyone going to adjust when we go back to regularly scheduled programming where Fear has days off and doesn't do dungeon runs for half the stream? How are we all going to feel about this? I know I'm going to feel fucking joyous, but um, how about you guys? <laughs> it's going to feel weird. Yeah. Yeah. We'll adjust somehow. So dramatic. Love that. Hey, how you doing? Time is money, friend. From car. Thunder Bluff. There is a specific add-on on Curse Forge to show who controls Winter Grasp and timing for next battle. I'm not sure it's worth it as your mage, but it is an option. Yeah, I'm not sure that a whole ass add-on that'll have to load up every time I like it. It already takes me forever to load in when I have all my add-ons turned on. Um and they use up a fair bit of memory and stuff as well. So it's like, 
I don't really... And as soon as 9-2 hits, I'll be fine visiting the front page of Warehead again. It's just that I don't want story spoilers when I haven't experienced it yet, you know? Uh, so, I'd, yeah, I don't think it's worth me getting a whole ass add-on for it. But if you are someone who does it really regularly, that's a fantastic option. Uh, as long as you're healthier. Yeah, look, I, I fucking hope so. Here's the thing. Like, by the time Love is in the Air ends, uh, my birthday gift from Zarin may arrive or be, will be arriving shortly, which is a fucking Fitbit. Good lord. Um... And so I'll be able to, like, I'm, I'm planning on, I mean, I'm using Jass's at the moment. I don't have it on right now because resting it on the, the thing all the time digs into my wrist a bit. Um, but, like, I actually want to take more advantage of its features, like actually log my food, log my water, all that kind of stuff as well as just, like, a, you know, a pedometer. Um, so hopefully, even if I don't become healthier, I'll have, like, printouts that I can take to my doctor and be like, this is what I'm doing what am I doing wrong? <laughs> like, help me fix this. Help me make the numbers better. Uh, but yeah, it'll, uh, yeah, it'll be good fun to, to track all that kind of stuff. Um, <clears throat> what do you mean when fear has time off? Fear doesn't have time. No, but I have nights off of being live. Like I have a night where I can go to bed at like 9.30 if I want to. Um, talk to the guy and say Kumi is allies, a way to confirm that it's queuing. Um, you have a buff that looks like a coin, can't remember what it's called. Yes. Uh, without our dearest, wait, without our dearest streamer lighting our days and chasing away the shadows on all days, we have to use our reverse light and await the scheduled that the light of fear's face touches. Oh, good lord. Uh, you have to find something to do to entertain yourselves. Good lord. No. You find other streamers to watch. And find, find fun things to do in game and 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 yeah it'll be great it'll be awesome um you can turn off stories about different subjects you can turn off ptr stories to avoid spoilers a lot of the time they don't actually flag it in ptr though like this is the problem i've i've had spoilers from wowhead before when it had when i've had stuff turned off so i just don't even bother anymore i'm not gonna give like i'm not gonna give them my clicks and my ad revenue and all that well i mean I don't give them ad revenue anyway, but I'm not going to give them my clicks to boost their stats whilst they put spoilers in headlines. You can very much talk about story without putting the spoilers specifically in the in the title of the article that you know is going to show up on your on your homepage. There are ways to do it without doing that. And so I'm not going to give them my clicks. I'm not going to give them the um the boost in statistics when I don't agree with those practices, personally. But to each their own. Uh, I have to requeue after that, usually get enough to two minutes max. Uh, and we will, lo and behold, if it's infiltrating. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, you can, where head doesn't always get that 100% right. Uh, I did, I went and did the other stuff and requeued, but it's still been 12 minutes. For other streamers, there are hundreds of thousands of them, in fact. Hundreds of thousands. 9.30 is a late night for me. Well, I mean, I finish stream at 10, usually. And then after that, I need to, you know, like, make sure everything's shutting off. I need to record an intro for the VOD. I need to, uh, all that kind of shit. Hang out for a little bit in the, the person we've raided's channel so they don't feel like I'm just, like, you know, raid and ditching. Uh, and then I've often got bits and pieces I have to do after that, like go take a shower and, and brush my teeth and do my skincare and all that kind of shit before I actually get to go to bed bed. Uh, I usually don't get into bed until 11.30. Um, so, yeah, 9.30 is an extremely early night for me. Um, ah, oh, Kim! Thank you for the cheer! Much appreciated. Thank you. Uh, Arathi specifically need Arathi fear offline. Isn't that what VODs are for? Or Instagram? Yeah, have a, have a scroll through Instagram. Make sure you follow. Drop a whole lot of likes and comments. Do the thing. Help me get brand deals. Oh my god. Uh, Northrend, let's go. So I have two more rounds of dailies to do on Fear before she is done. <clears throat> Specific queue is going to be slow no matter what you do. Correct. Uh, how do I do? I hope I boost your tree go a bit. Uh, uncertain. Uncertain. Um, Horde Wrath, the only queue would be painful. Fair enough. It wasn't awfully yesterday, but I DC'd. Oh no. Oh no. Worst comes to worst. Might rate till after reset. 
True, feel like streaming about Instagram followers more than YouTube. I do, I do. Well, YouTube at the moment is so small that it would take like a massive amount of effort for me to get even close to being able to get YouTube specific sponsorships. Um, especially considering that all it is is just rehashing of Twitch. Um, but Instagram is like, I'm actually getting semi close to being able to apply for like sponsorships on Instagram. Um, I think it was at 895. Um, so 1,000 is like your first milestone, and then 3K is where you start getting actual money for posts. Uh, yeah, 895. Yeah, highly recommend. Uh, okay, let's... Awesome source. All right. So it's currently held by Horde. Next battle's in 45 minutes. So I'm going to land. I'm going to take me back. And that's good because I'm pretty sure I've got three Horde Druids as opposed to two Alliance Druids. Uh, so that's one extra bonus shot at getting something, anything from fucking VOA. Uh... <laughs> Currently sitting at 57 out of 227 appearances from Druid VOA. So that's fun. All right, so we're gonna go with all, and we're just gonna turn them all on. I can turn them all off again tomorrow. So we'll start with the lowest and then work our way up so I can update the number on Phelan, who this, this data is from. Um. Oh, I'm going to go get some chocolate. I'm going to be right back. Run away, little girl. Run away. What am I doing? Right. <clears throat> mm, I plan to add your clips and hearts, YouTube. Interesting moments of stream kind of stuff, or saving those for a future date. Look, maybe. Um, I'm having enough issues uploading my VODs. Um, <laughs> I'm having enough fucking issues uploading my VODs. I got a copyright strike playing WoW. So, um, yeah. On YouTube, that is, not on Twitch. So yeah, I'm trying to sort out those um, little bits and pieces before I start trying to even think about expanding YouTube stuff. Um, from who and for what? From Polaris Hub AB for Malax Angel something something from World of Warcraft in brackets. Um, basically, it's it's zone music in Shadow Moon Valley. Zone music in Shadow Moon Valley. Um, so there's a there's an email address uh, for 
content licensing for Blizzard. Um, and I've emailed them explaining the situation to ask, like, is this something I can challenge? Um, am I supposed to do it under fair use or can you give me a license? Um, but yeah, I, I don't know how that works. Hmm. You're yeah, going, how was your birthday dinner? It was amazing. It was really, really good dinner. Uh, and I'm going okay. I'm tired, uh, but overall doing pretty well. How are you today? Oh man, copyright strike. Oof, yeah. On YouTube, so I don't really care much about it. But, um. It doesn't affect my account. It just means that even though I'm not part of the YouTube partner program, so I can't monetize my videos, um, Polaris Hub AB can stick ads on my video and make money from it. Which is understandably fucking annoying. Especially considering that you're supposed to be able to create content using Blizzard stuff totally freely. Mm. Mm. Me too, Dunno. Thank you. I just discovered the privacy setting that was hiding my gifted subs. I was like, I swear I've gifted enough to be on the leaderboard. Absolutely. That's really funny. They're saying next battle in 40 minutes, but it's not showing me on the map who's got it. That's really funny. Isn't all the music created by Blizzard? Um, yes, but they're like maybe they didn't. Maybe this one they just licensed from somewhere else. I don't. I don't know. It's really interesting, which is why I've emailed them and I've did, like specified this is what I was doing in the video. This is what the the claim is from. Blah 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 blah. It might be like there are companies out there that all they do is go around buying up cheap pieces of music. And then putting them into the automatic scanners and just scanning and trying to claim on as many videos and stuff as they can. That's the whole company model. So they might have been able to pick up on a license for this or something. I, I don't know exactly how it works, but um, the I've emailed Blizzard to say, hey, can I challenge this? If so, how? Um, can I have a license, please? Cool. So, congratulations to Bod, Koala, Dunno, Spam, Meaty, V, and Fairy on all of your bonus shit. Well done. I wonder if it's being detected as something very close. No, because the actual name of the song that is being detected is something, 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 in brackets, from, in quotations, World of Warcraft. It, excuse me, it knows where it's from. It knows where it's from. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know what's going on there. So I've, yeah, sent an email off to ask and I'll find out. Or I won't, either or. Um, let's pop that one there. Someone else posted first, Blizz isn't claiming it. First poster can make claims, YouTube will claim it automatically. Yes, but the company that's actually making the claim, I Googled them and there's a whole lot of research on Reddit about the fact that this company only has a CEO and a lawyer. That's it. And all they seem to do is just put out claims. 
that's all they do. So I'm guessing that there are a few, like, just a small company that owns a ton of, like, little obscure uh, licenses to music and that all they do to make money is just claim as many sh uh, as much stuff as they can all over YouTube. But, like, when you've got a six-hour video that's going to be entirely monetized for a random company because they own the license to a music that's in 1 minute 30 of a six-hour video, yeah. Plus, it means that my video is going to be fucking full of ads. Like, fuck off. Uh, what am I doing? This button. Uh, yeah, copyright troll. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, so, but the thing is, though, I don't want to, because if you dispute, right, if you dispute a copyright claim, it sends through your entire, your first, last name, your address, your locate, all that kind of shit through to the claimant, you know, because it's like a legal proceeding, right? I don't want to fucking do that unless I know for certain that I'm going to win. Uh, and I, so I don't know if it's fair use. I, I, I genuinely, because I'm not transforming the music in any way, so I don't know if it's fair use. Um, so there is an email address for Blizzard that you can contact to get a copyright, like to get a, a content license. So I've done that. Um, and I'm just kind of hoping that it'll work. Um, I'm hoping that that's what I'm supposed to do. But we'll see. Video that had to use secondary copyright handler to being a cover and it's a bizarre honestly yeah look for, uh like fair use is a thing and you can just submit under fair use but i don't know if playing a video game actually comes under fair use excuse me so um i'm not like i don't want to do that and have it rejected and then not have another chance or something um without having the correct info all right look at this beautifully long list of shit i need <laughs> from this goddamn boss let's hope i get at least one Come on, let's let's give me at least one. Do I actually have I do have a guardian thing. Then why it's not why is it not coming up? into bear form. Stick that on the bar. There we go. Nothing new. So what did I actually get? I got Hunter Shaman Mail. I got Paladin Plate. I got Priest Cloth and Warrior Plate. Good. Good man, whoever has the energy for court probably shrug it all off. I'm so lazy. Clive Palmer, man, has uh, too much energy for court. Agreed. Agreed. And also, people who are trying to save their entire income, Kim, is people who have time and energy for court. If if it was threatening your livelihood, like your ability to pay your rent and or your your mortgage or whatever, then you might find yourself having the energy. Uh, <laughs> manifesting good energy drops. Thank you. Much appreciated. I mean, Jarathi, yay! It is a mad, mad world. You are correct. You are correct. So this is—is is this Emelon I'm heading to? No, Emelon's along the way. Oops, I should have probably done that. Hmm, he hears kitchen every time. Noises some every time someone uses his stuff here. Yeah, probably. It's the meta done. Yay! Well done, Kay. Congratulations. Congratulations. Mm, he was good every time someone tells him they don't want him and his stuff. <laughs> Suck it, you're gonna take it anyway. Actually, so I should change the... Lovely charms tonight! Yay! That's awesome.
I'm so glad you guys are ticking all these things off your lists. It's so, so awesome. Okay, so we got Shaman Mail, Paladin Plate, a cloak I already had, and Warrior Plate. This is not going well for me. Mm hmm. Let me see. I just choose to wait a whole year again for Gen Feb. Mm hmm. Set yourself like an alarm in your phone for like, like if you've got the calendar alerts and stuff on your phone, set them up now for next year. Trust me, so worth it. So you don't forget next year. The number of times before I got what a long, strange trip it's been, the number of times I'd go, oh, I've only got one achievement left. When was it for? Oh, a month ago. Fuck. Gotta wait another year, for God's sake. So yeah, set those alarms. <clears throat> We're calling this catch up on right now and get back to charm farming. Yas. Sounds like a plan. Only three items that time. DK plate, DK plate, and priest mage warlock cloth. Fuck my life. <clears throat> oh, good idea. I definitely forget. I, next mm, I know that feeling, Kim. I know that feeling. Hello, Lucky. How are you going? I ticked over to one year of play. Wow! Oh, well done, Koala! What an anniversary. Uh, I missed the mage tower. Did you complete it? No. I didn't even try. Um, I knew it was going to be full of bugs and, and uh, bad tuning and all that kind of stuff, so I'll just wait till next time it comes around. Or maybe even the time after that. I'm not too bothered. Mm, that's how I felt trying to get them out. I'm good. Just realized I was watching didn't actually send greetings when I got- That's okay! Not a worry! Totally fine. You know we love our lurkers. Do my reminder working the holidays this year. Yeah, I'm gonna be working my ass off to tick all these holidays off, so I will absolutely be like, okay guys, Noble Garden's a week away, get your butts ready. It's gonna be great. So I got priest cloth, DK plate, mage cloth, warrior plate. Not a single piece of fucking leather in the whole goddamn place. Okay then, <laughs> on to the next druid. I've got two more to run through here. So hopefully one of them will drop something. This is the, I think this will be the only time, like I'm on 57, right? If I get one piece. All I need to get, all I need to get is one piece and it won't be the lowest anymore. One piece. Uh, how goes the farming? Yeah, not too bad. We did, um, as per usual for the last six days, we did our 50 runs of the, for the heartbreak amount from Lovers in the Air. And we've, <clears throat> excuse me, I've just moved across to doing uh, transmog farming. So nothing too exciting there just yet. I don't need free high blood pressure. Uh, we get Marsha's temples for my birthday and then two weeks later, Noble Garden, amazing. Can I join on my paladin? I need all that plate you're getting. <laughs> oh, fuck. Should fear just admit it and main paladin? No. 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 I'm not sure if our mythic avatar is such a headache. Avatar. Are there more words to avatar that I need for context here? Because all I'm thinking of is the movie. <laughs> I'm, I'm having some troubles. Breaks the floor, we fall. It's DPS race. 
Oh, Fallen Avatar. From, um... I know what you're talking about. I think it's Fallen Avatar. Hmm. Fallen Avatar from Jimmy Sargeras. Yep. Cool. Hello. <laughs> na -na -na -na. Ah! I will see with no expired pills. No. <laughs> Thank you. No topping. How are you going? Put your stuff on the answer. Huh? Oh, it is. Oh. So you know that bigger black mug? Yes. Yeah, when you try to When you tip it, it spills a little bit. That's what that is. Oh, yeah, because it has the, the rounded lip yeah. on it, yeah. Yeah, that's okay. Ooh, smells good out there. The smell's just kind of wafted in. Oh, well, that's good. Yay. We're back soon. Okay, are with you food? having a good day? We're back with food. Okay. Um, yes, toss. <laughs> Uh, he drops these awesome warlock shoulders I want on my shadow priest. Well, will you jump and wings pop out? Yep. Cool, cool. Um, so holiday. Obviously, I'm working on lovers in the air. Noble Garden's up next. What do I actually need from that? Tusket a tasket and noble garden basket. Eager, eager basket? Uh, apparently, there's a toy I don't have. Then there's all the transmog, the spring, the circlets. And then Noble Garden chocolate is a currency for the noble for the for the circlets. Yeah, that's yeah, that's fine. That'll be easy. There's a quest, and then there's shit I have to buy. Like that's that's like a stream. Just run around in circles clicking eggs and I'll be done. Um uh, I want to be cute someday. Transmog will do it. Half my tunes are ugly as hell because I haven't done any transport. But my mage is adorable. If you consider a vampire as adorable. Yes. Oh, I have to click the thing with Jake. Uh, is there time walking this week? Yes, cataclysm time walking. We were going to do some on Friday and then we kind of ran out of time. <laughs> we did, I think, we did one dungeon of cata time walking. Thank you. Have this. Thank you. Oh, we need more sauce again. Yes. Oh, God, I hate getting this shit open. It's like... Oh, not good. Mmm. <coughs> Nums indeed. I'll leave it open for you. Here you go. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yum. <laughs> yeah, it's a um it's a one hour cooldown, Ollie, so uh you can you, you don't you don't need to keep trying it. Uh Mm. Okay, so what spec am I in? Resto. That's fine. I'll find ways to kill things. It'd be great. Um. Definitely shape shift. <clears throat> Make go faster. Let's go bonk Coralon and hopefully get something that a druid can use. Maybe. There are 29 things I could use and I've only got seven of them. I don't understand how none of it's gonna drop. Don't understand. But that's fine.
Here we go. Can we get a thing? Just a thing. One thing. More would be nice, but one thing is fine too. I love classic Melox and Guide Shot coming in, complaining about every change made in retail. It's like, uh huh. Uh huh. Can fear get a thing? Maybe. Maybe. No. <laughs> so we got Mage Cloth, Shaman Mail, a duplicate of the Shaman Mail, and Plate, generalized Let Plate. Let me confer with my sources. No. Grumpy. <laughs> oh shit. What guys, what do I do if my lowest dungeon or raid I can't do? What do, what because I've done it and I can't how do I do I go through all the other leather classes trying to get something that's generalized leather? Like is that what I do? Flit Warrior, get Druid Lover, yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's exactly, exactly what's gonna happen. Second lowest. I don't have a thing to find that, and I have literally hundreds, if not thousands, of cells to read through. So I, I can't actually figure out what second lowest is. Can you try General Lover? Okay. Alright. Yeah, it's not, it's not like sorted by percentage complete. It's a, it's a lookup thing. Guys! Guys! So I got leather that I earned. Th that's the leather. They got the leather belt. Amazing! And apparently I've gone from 57 to 61 because it shared a bunch of appearances. And I got Hunter Mail. And I got DK Plate. And I got DK Plate. So we're going from 57 to 61. And I had an unlock on. Good. Okay, good. Oh, hello! But I'm still going to finish this one and then I'm going to do my additional druid as well. Just to see if I can't push it up a little further. I got a thing! You're telling me I need to make three entries? No. No, you don't. It's fine. I will, I will just do... It sounds like no it doesn't. It's fine. It's fine. We don't need to worry about it now. Yay, Thor. My second lowest, if you wanted to temporarily put a V and shoot to make V way high to see second lowest, then revert the whole starter. Yeah, but then like trying to figure out what if what if I go through and do the se the second lowest and I have to look for the third lowest. It's just it's not a good pattern to start. <clears throat> not a good pattern to start. So that's okay though. I will. Um, I think I'll kind of generalize out from there and just try to do what I can. Cause like I try other le leather wearers to get generalized leather and then I can go through on literally every character um, and try to get like cloaks and shit. Um, so yeah, like that's, and that's plenty of time, especially in a raid like this. Uh, I need to yank that 50-50 sheet again, go for it. Go for it, it's fine, translates to, you don't have to, but if you don't mind, yeah. Then just get drops really, I mean, yes, but um, can't always control that. Uh, just there, I got warlock cloth, I got uh, generalized male, and a, tr a, f a ring, a fucking ring of all things. A fucking ring. Yeah, these these raids where you get like PvP shit and whether um, uh, uh, loot tables are just so goddamn enormous. I'm gonna be doing these for a very long time. A very long time. Thought women liked rings. I mean, men can like rings too. Non-gen, like non-binary people can also like rings. I'm looking for transmog. Rings can't be transmogged. Uh, all right. Uh, druid leather. I think I already had those. No, I didn't. That was what was. That was what got added. Uh, DK plate, DK plate, and DK plate. Fucking DK plate. Um, but yeah, 64, 64 out of 227 now. So that's a bit of an upgrade. Uh, we're gonna hearth the fuck out of here and jump onto the last of the three druids that I have that are hoard. Mm. Mood ring! Yep. Some women, i.e. me, don't really like rings. Yep, I don't think it's a gendered thing about people liking a specific type of jewellery. 
honestly. I think that's just a human thing. Like, you like it or you don't like it or you don't mind either way. It's got nothing to do with your gender. Uh, I could quickly, quickly rip up next to next lowest. Oh, wait. No, I couldn't. Oh, uh-oh. I think Jack has realized something. <laughs> it's okay. You don't have to. The don't, don't. It's okay. You don't need to. It's fine. You don't need to. I'm starting to imagine another tab where all that data has been taken from tab one into tab two and sorted by percentage or some shit. And I'm like, scary. Uh, if you can choose different earring necklaces, they should totally transmog rings. You can, but it's not part of gear though. That's the thing. Um, and having to like, a lot of the time you can't see your rings because you've got like gloves on and stuff. But I mean, the same thing could be said if you don't have, like if you're wearing a robe, you can't usually see the pants that they're wearing and stuff. So look, I don't know. But yeah, rings have never been a, rings and trinkets have never been visible on a character. Um, jewelry, other jewelry has been part of like character design as in like haircut and style and stuff like that. And then jewelry. Um, so yeah, a little bit, little bit different. Uh, hey Scarlet, promise rings are sweet IMO. Oh, it depends on the people. Like, if if you like it, then you can have it. If you don't like it, then you don't need to have it. But um, I do think the um, pressures around promise rings can be a bit icky. Uh, but that's not necessarily about the rings themselves and more about the parental figures being shits. Um, okay, uh, where are we going? Vault of Arakibon. Uh, how are you on this fine evening? I would be better if I had gotten the heartbreaker, but I'm not too bad. Thank you for asking. How are you going today? <clears throat> uh, gobs from Venthyr, Xmog set sport a big ring, at least if you want to show off some bling. Love that, Taz. Love it. Surprising doing well. Good. That's awesome. Cool, we're on the right one. Oh, what spec am I in here? Resto, of course. Charm woodland creature. Fuck. Well, females can show off necklaces as well. They superimpose some of them over your armor. Interesting. I didn't know that. I guess I've never noticed. <clears throat> think night elf can too ah yeah and Tora necklaces a tooth hanging off the neck is pretty cool absolutely depending on your personal style absolutely hmm Added in the Shadowlands customization updates. They added some really cool shit, hey. They did a really good job with those. I love the Blood Elf messy bun tiara hairstyle in the lavender color. Beautiful. Getting ready to race change my druid back to Torin in 9-2. Awesome. <clears throat> Twelve and a half minutes, not too bad. No, so you guys crowned from the mall. That'd be kind of funky. Definitely be kind of funky. Alright, let's see if we can get a 
another drop or two. <clears throat> so this is no longer the lowest uh, one. So I'm, I'm just finishing this off to see how many I can extract out of it this week, but it's no longer the lowest percentage complete. So what class do you think that we're going to be doing next? Once I finish this run, what class? Uh, I play as the more crew to hear my emote yelling at anger over invincible not dropping. Yes. Oh, that'd be great. Which of the 12 classes do you think is the next lowest on the list? In before you all cheat and go and look at the fucking spreadsheet. This is not Paladin. No. Not a cloth wearer. Correct. But which not a cloth wearer? <clears throat> DK? Nope. Invincible yet either. You will eventually, Kim. Keep at it and you'll get there. Hey! Another one! General Lever. A lovely, great, fantastic. Alright. <clears throat> leather probably, if Druid is lowest. Uh, yes, it is a Leather Wearer. But which Leather Wearer? Anyone care to guess? Uh, I feel the pain always hardest when I go on a mount farming binge too. Rogue? Not rogue. Not rogue. Almost 9pm. Good answer I've got. Totally fine. Totally fine. General leather? Yeah. <laughs> Demon hunter because it's newest? Nope. It is monk. K is correct. It is monk. Uh, does anyone want to take a stab at which instance we're going to be going into with the monk? No prizes on the line. Just for shits and giggles. Something fun to, to think about. Monk has more weapons. Uh-huh. It's Sunwell. It's Sunwell. Mm, Blazing Drake was on BMI the other day, last one I needed for the achievement. I was bidding up to about 600k, then called it quits. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, look, mount farming, it takes time and it takes serious fucking dedication. Um, but... It really is quite fun. I, I tend to focus, so I only do mount farming one day a week, and I usually, I focus on like one, when I, back when I was doing raid-based mount farming, I focused on one mount at a time. So I would do Siege of Orgrimmar on as many tunes as I could in a day until it dropped, and then I'd move on to the next one, as an, like, as an example. Uh, and I've managed to get to 641 mounts, so I think my method is working pretty well. Um, I haven't, I've never burnt out, I've never, like, wanted to give up or anything like that. It's never felt like too much, um, so, yeah, it's, I think one of the things people like to do is overcommit and go, oh, I'm gonna farm these, all these mounts, but then if they don't get all the runs done, they feel like they've failed and it, fe and so they've got less motivation to do it the next week. Um, so, like, focusing on one, or if you have the time, maybe two mounts each week and you do that on all of your characters. Keep in mind, I have, um... Oh, okay. Uh, keep in mind, I have 50 characters. But back when I started mount farming, I had like three. And then I worked my way up to seven. And then I worked my way up to 12. And then I worked my way up to 17. And then to 24. Um, and now I've got 50. So, like, mount farming is something that you absolutely can burn out on if you try too much all at once. Highly recommend... Um, just like doing it, like setting yourself a target that you can easily complete each week. Uh, because that way you'll feel like, yeah, I smashed it this week. It didn't drop, but it's good. I got my attempts done and I'm going to get back in there next week. Um, and then leaving yourself time to do other shit. Leaving yourself time to do other shit uh, would be what I recommend. But that's just me. And obviously I am not you. None of you are me. We are all different humans, and what works for one person is going to be some, is going to work completely differently for another. Um, but that would be that'd be my generalized advice. Um, <clears throat> sometimes the payoff makes the frustration worth it. Sometimes, yeah, there are, there are sometimes it's like, oh my god, it fucking dropped, and then there's the times where it's it's too easy, and it kind of like, oh yeah, okay, cool, it dropped. Like, there we go, that one's off the list, next one. And then other times it's like, oh my, th thank, thank fucking god it dropped, I'm done, I can go on the next one. Th there is definitely dif differing feelings, depending on how long it's taken, for sure. 
Uh, but I get there. Every single mount I've gone after, I've gotten. With the exception of the Shah mount and the Undasta mount. And the only reason I changed it up from those is because my viewer numbers were dropping. It was getting boring for people. Um, so I changed up what I was doing uh, in terms of like entertainment value. Uh, which is fine. I get that. It sucks a little bit, but I, I understand. Um, and now, when we do a, like, we put up a community, like, challenge when people contribute embers and when it's shah farm they go batshit for it and throw all the embers in and then i do a fucking shah farm and we get like 130 fucking viewers because it's it because it's not every goddamn week people look forward to it because it's it's like oh my god fear is gonna go batshit it's gonna go you know it's so yeah it's um there's a trick to content creation uh assassin faden koala and bod congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit Ah, uh, you know, it'd be really funny if he runs somewhere on the monk and gets Thoradal to drop again. I've had it drop thrice. I'm pretty sure I said three times. I think it's three on my mage. Yep. It's fine. Ah, oh, I killed my, ma my melee units. Brilliant. I'm gonna start placing my flag bearer again then. Whoops, I clicked the wrong button. Oh, you didn't intend for- Okay, that's fine. I will, I will decline it then. Um, if you want access to it though, you're more than welcome. I'm happy to. Um. Oh, right, add-ons. <clears> 10 percent <throat> of appearances in ICC to, to plenty of run left for Invincible. Yeah, right? Like, and you, you'll get invincible before you hit 100%. Uh, like, for a, like, holy shit. Definitely true about the overcommitting. Get overwhelmed when I start looking at the list of ones I need and making plans for each. Yeah, one at a time. One at a time. Find yourself a system. Uh, I used to go top to bottom in the rarity list when you have the minimap button and you hover over it. And it's like, I used to just go top to bottom that way. And then I hit char. Um, and at the moment, I use data for Azeroth. Uh, I jump in there on the, the mount thing and I untick collected. I untick collected on alt. And then I sort by rarity. So you have the most common mount that you don't have all the way down to the least common mount that you don't have. Uh, and I figure if it's more common, it must be easier to get, right? Because more people have it. Well. Well. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely kind of helped keep me on track. A lot of them, because I mean, I've gotten through the vast majority of raid drop mounts now. I don't, I don't have lots of them left to go at all. Um, in fact, I think the only ones I have are like Nighthold. Um, uh. <clears throat> yes, and just and stuff. Yeah. So I've got um, the Nighthold. I've got Antorus. I've got Bod. Um, Mechagon, Pete King's Rest, Nilotha. Like, I've got re all the really recent ones, like Legion and BFA, and then obviously there are a couple in Shadowlands as well. Um, but yeah, so that's, uh, but I prefer to do my mount farming solo, uh, just because I don't have to rely on getting a group together every week, um, and I don't have to, like, you know, have every last one of them get it before me and drop like flies, and then I'm by myself and I have to rebuild a group. Like, fuck that shit. Um, <clears throat> I can just go in and I can farm at my own time, at my own pace, and get it done. Uh, so I tend to prefer those ones first. <clears throat> oh, I want to get the 400 on one character, but man, that's a lot. So you want them to all drop on one character? Or are you talking about, like, character mounts? Because, like, I've got the 496 character mounts, but 641 account mounts. Is that... Because, yeah, getting them to drop on one character is... That's just masochistic. No. Yes, that's just masochistic. Uh, <laughs> uh, latest one for me was Frightened Kodo. Glad I don't have to camp out in Darkstar anymore. Yes, Amazing. Right, look at the Frightened Kodo. Updated Kodo skin sorter. Yeah, absolutely. Heavenly Onyx Serpent was on the BMR recently too. Bids for that one probably got to the millions easily. Yeah, absolutely. It, it probably would have. You'd be right. Love that. Must admit, maintaining peace within the Holy Roman Empire is rather amusing with only 20 men. Tell Austria Brandenburg called the Habsburgs mums fat. <sighs> I... <laughs> Killed all the Habsburgs. They kept on revolting. Was trying to make a copy to test them. Ah, I could just mess around another sheet with access though. That'd be nice. Yeah, sure. Like, I, I'm happy to give you access if you'd like. Just let's not fuck up my shit. 
Uh, <laughs> just committing genocides again. I've learned I can't stop him. Uh, <laughs> I have learned that I cannot stop him. As long as he doesn't commit any real life genocides and it's all in video games, I just have to kind of let it slide, unfortunately. Um, okay, fucking zone drops. Here we go. Let's do it. If they just make the damn mechanic soluble in old raids, I'd be going after all the raid achievement mounts I'm still missing. Um, can I soluble in old raids? Most of them are soluble. Which which ones are you talking about, Taz? Red leaders of Europe for like a thousand years. Is just killing stuff, probably. Correct. Uh, drop on one character for the achieve. That's not how that character, that's not how that achievement works. Um... So that achievement is um, that achievement is uh, mounts usable on one character. It can drop on alt number seventy three. It can drop on alt number thirty three, and as long as character one can use it, it counts towards. It's just saying that all the different legion class mounts, only the one for your character, can count on that one. But I got that achieved not on fear. I actually logged onto my DK because the DK was an engineer and the engineering mounts pushed me over the achievement cap and then I went back to Fia and I still have the achievement because it's account wide. Um, they don't have to drop on one tune. They just have to be usable on one character. <clears throat> oh, that's not, okay, I have this button. Perfect. Put that on my mouse, good. It's not genocides, it's uh, putting down dissidents. Uh-huh, uh-huh, sure. Achievement requirements, not mechanics. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, the ones that are, the, the achievement requirements that aren't soluble aren't in the metas. As far as I'm aware, unless they've changed something, the meta achievements should be soluble these days. Not, like, not as recent as BFA, but like the old, old ones, all the meta achievements should be soluble. So I just got, what are they? Oh, they're bop. Okay, never mind. There might be one that isn't. I think in ICC, the the biting, well, once bitten, twice shy isn't soluble, but I think that's the only one from memory. That's oh, a funny group in it for the fun, that I help everyone get the mount. Yeah, except that they'll do it once or twice and they won't show up for like, you know, the literal months that it takes you to actually get the mount. Um, I've tried it before. It, yeah, it doesn't work. Or they just, you know, someone's busy that week and so you can't put the group together and you can't kill because you need that one person and then it just, everything just sort of falls apart. I've, I've tried it before. Um, it's, uh, yeah. Uh, it's far more worthwhile instead of you know trying to put a group together for an hour I might as well use that hour and go do like seven or eight attempts on a different mount um it's usable I've been reading that wrong you have you have because of diplomacy vassalize the Pope you know how much one of these old prick oh my god you vassalized the Pope uh, I wouldn't touch anything at all on main sheet or on other sheets okay awesome we'll just have one called Jack's sheet and then you can just fuck around in there <laughs> Um, again, no, actually, I don't tend to look at pictures of church stuff. Vatican is very large. Actually, I have that one already. Uh, the add-on collect me is good for showing you how many you have on a single character. There's still a few here and there, mop ones. Oh, okay, fair enough. Um, there's a few, like, the, the mop ones, like, show me your moves and the, the anger one, neither of those are in the metas. Specifically, like, because they removed, they were in the meta and then they removed them. Um, because they didn't want people, they wanted people to be able to do it themselves. Um, but yeah, show me your moves. I did a little while back, a couple years ago now, I think. Um, but put a group together uh, and it took us about three weeks of doing it once a week, going in there for like four hours and, and trying. Uh, it was a nightmare. But we got it and we all yelled and screamed and it was lovely. <laughs> Um, but the WoW Achievements Discord is a really good place to hunt people to do that kind of, those kind of obscure bits and pieces. Uh, Cataclysm is one I think requires two people if you don't have the right class. There is one in Mop AF, uh, as far as I know, is doable with one account and two characters. Uh, might need to take over Emperor again, random provinces keep splitting off due to inheritance. Speaking of, just got elected in! Oh no! Is that a bad thing? SEC twice bitten, one is soluble, just need to do it on two different weeks. 
I thought one of the things, like you had to be bitten, but then you had to bite somebody else, and you can't bite somebody else if you are by in there by yourself. I thought. Uh, no, you had to do it. You had to do it once while getting bitten, and then once while. Oh, so you just wait and then get bit and then kill it, and then another week you just kill her faster? Is that. I don't know. Look, Wowhead will have, like, if it's soloable, Wowhead comments will be able to tell you, for sure. Um, we'll jump up when I get the invasion stuff. <laughs> Grab my stuff. Uh, as Venice and EU4 hours making like 14d a month as three provinces. Some stuff in Paradox Games is just too OP. I'd have to look through them again, see if I can tackle any more solo. Yep. Definitely, like, definitely do it because there have been some that have either not been a part of the meta or have been soloable for a very long time that I think maybe it's, like, I'm not sure how long it's been since you've checked, but, um, yes. If you're missing it, like, you should only be missing, like, one or two, if that, uh, and the rest that, the meat that you might be missing aren't part of metas, um, so you can ignore them. I mean, obviously, you, I want them as well because I want all the things. Um, but I, yeah, you can, like, WoW Achievements Discord will be uh, a great way to put a group together for that, because, uh, lots of people will, will try to, ah, amazing! Lots of people who will try to, um, put together random groups for that kind of shit. For funsies. Um, yep. Yeah. Uh, I had a friend who always loved my Ashes of Love, took her in to show her how to run fruit drop. For in that run, amazing. Amazing, very lucky. Bohemia in CK3 is a tiny bit busted. Version of the rain. I hope I've had to get those achieves at level. Yeah, I got most of them at level as well. Uh, I, I was only missing a couple of them, uh, and I went and got back later, I think. Um, did that one soluble? Only one left for ICC is Lich King one. <sighs> I think voted in as Emperor resets my damn feudal contract. I mean, to me, I took over their home province as the Dutch. My second race her army wherever now. Pity that being the Emperor is so damn expensive. Yeah, fair. Fair. I really appreciate the advice you're giving out. A lot clearer than some of the Google searches on the matter. Aw, oh, you're welcome. Like, most of what I know is just from either, like, doing it myself, going in and trying, or reading Wowhead comments, like, fuck Google, look at Wowhead, read the Wowhead comments. Most people will actually put in, like, a step-by-step -step guide on how to do this shit, literally. And that is where I know it from. So, yeah, like, it's, yeah. Um, seems to call 30 stacks or something. Apathy, you know, the pedestal sword, the fetch to start with. Okay. Um, so I got a drop before, so I'm up to 17 of 47. Where the fuck is Sunwell? So I was at 14.55. Wait, why is it 50? Oh, because I'm not on Melissa. Right, okay, I need to leave that then. I'll update the number when I get to the last row, to the last monk. Uh, it'll be something to do with the, um... Every time I've gone and updated shit, I've realized it's because of patterns and things like that, because all my tunes have different professions, so I don't want to fuck with the numbers I have. Because these ones are the correct ones. Just need two people in ICC. Uh, well, we have a whole community full of people who like to collect shit, and a lot of people who have only started playing fairly recently. So if you ask around in the Fiama Discord, like in my Discord, chances are you will find someone who also needs it, and you can go in and do it together. If it's only a two-person achieve, like absolutely. If you need a larger group, you can start in my Discord, see if you can find a few people, uh, and then the WoW Achievements Discord, like they they are there because they like achievements. Um, so you will likely find a group or the last couple of people for your group in there. Mm. <clears throat> Google definitely needs a bullshit and outdated info filter. They probably lose a lot of business not indexing 99.9% .9 of the internet. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Uh, well, it helps with dream. Mm, absolutely. Absolutely. Look, hey, the easiest way is often the, the best way. Uh, don't shift so my province up in Burgundy back into the imperial lands. Oh, fuck. Malagos, my lord. I don't do 
needed anything from Brutalis in here. Except for sun motes. That was fun, which is interesting. But I still await a true challenge. Come, try your luck. Savoy is the bane of my existence in every Paradox game. Good to know. Uh, so working on getting all the Covenant mounts. Two, Venthy will be the last. Embercourt mount is one thing. That one locked behind a Vowed Rep. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. A Vowed Rep is like an absolute pain in the ass. <clears throat> like, I do my Ember Court every week, and then every four weeks, like once a month, I go through, because I have Crypt Keeper Kassir in my court quite often. Um, so I just take all the shit that he's given me and go use it. And then that's that's my Avowed Rep farming for the month. <laughs> I'll get them eventually, but eventually is not today. <sighs> Don't even get how I got out in the first place. Fourth time, I'm shoving him back in there too. Dem Cabbage need all the class mounts and zone mounts. Uh, class mounts from Legion are pretty easy to get nowadays that they change the requirements. Like, you don't have to do the whole last fucking quest line to get there. Just, like, a small part of it. Um, so I'd highly recommend checking that out if you've got the time. Don't know what you mean about zone mounts, though. Because technically every mount comes from a zone. So, a little bit confused there, but that's okay. Alright, Felmist, can I have my leggings of the Immortal Knight, please? Hmm, mm, hope Crush and Feminine stuff, maybe. Both of which I still need. Mm, probably the ones that drop from any mob in the zone. Ah, oh, like in BFA. Ah, uh, mounts that drop from things. Ah, uh, that's still like 80% of mounts. Um, <laughs> sorry Jabba, but like that literally like, cause I mean, mounts can drop from bosses in raids, mounts can drop from island expeditions, mounts can drop from like, yeah, that's, that's a lot. Um, my freaking men at armies take all these provinces without a commander. The island expeditions I didn't want to remember. Those two. I've got five out of nine of them now. I got my legs of the Immortal Knight. Amazing. And then I need leggings of the Immortal Beast, but apparently that's currency for. So I have sun motes. I have sun motes. That's good. So I can go and turn that in afterwards. I won't minimize that because I need to go and grab those after. Sometimes these share an appearance and sometimes they don't. So that's cool. That's cool. Um, they're not greedy. I just want them all. Oh, so you were like cracking a joke. Like I need the mounts, all of them. Yes, that's fair. I just went, yeah, when you said zone mounts, I thought you were talking about something as specific and narrowed down as the class mounts, which you were absolutely not. Um, so, yeah, that's all. <laughs> uh, tone does definitely not convey in text. Um, Paragon mounts, yeah, I've got I've got a few of the Paragon mounts. Um, not all of them yet, but I'm close, so I'm getting there. Um, I'm just going to have to hit this time. When do you not have a hit list, Jas? Brain heard this repeated as Subway is the bane of my existence in every Paragon game. I mean, what Maple or Cold Cut Combo sub had to do with you getting your Paragon in Diablo 3? Oh, God. Well, I have about 500 maybe mounts. That's not too bad. That's pretty good. Most more than most people. Keep in mind, you can be happy about the ones you've got and the amount that you have managed to collect whilst still striving for more. Like, it's not like a bad thing. <laughs> like, I've got 641. Doesn't mean I'm not going to go get more. I'm not unhappy with how many I've got. I'm really happy with the, the level of, you know, farming and stuff that I've done. But I ain't gonna stop. Um, stop messing up the Empire. I'm trying to play Isolationist Bohemia. Ah, uh, still trying for Invincible? Do it. How many characters are you attempting each week? Like how many, sorry, how many tunes are you running ICC on each week? Will fear stop? Probs not. I will stop for short periods of time, like when I have my second surgery, but I won't stop permanently. 
I like a damn look on your face. Good morning, Maridi. How was heartbreak today? Deprived. 50 runs, no mount. Confusion. It's about normal. Hatred. About normal. Chaos. So I need a few things Please. from the Eridar twins, Hallmarks. actually. So we'll see how this goes. All those drops are not a thing that I needed. Ah, oh dear. No grip of Manoroth. No shoulder pads. No spaulders. Good lord. Uh, five away from 500 on a single tune. This it ever does put a new mount collection achievement. I'll have it right off the bat. Yep, fantastic. So will I. I think I've got... I don't remember. But yeah, definitely going well. Surely tomorrow. I know, right? It, it's bound to happen. Bound to happen. Just gotta keep going. Excuse me, assuming it's 450 and 500. Yeah, of course. Of course. On my 12 alliance five horde characters maybe i'll get it yeah absolutely like i mean it does take a little bit to get there but i think the the sharing the skip on all your tunes does that i don't think that works anymore um back when i was farming for invincible um i sacrificed one i, I did have like 24 tunes keep in mind um but i sacrificed one and had the lockout that was up to uh lk and then i would share it between my alts and then that only have to kill Lich King each week rather than having to clear the whole fucking instance. I don't know if that works anymore. Uh, I know they fixed it for things like Ulduar, um, but I'm because of the um, the time walking done the time walking raid. But I don't know if they fixed it for uh, for ICC. Um, but if they didn't, there are videos about it on YouTube. Um, very easy to watch and follow along. But yeah, absolutely. Like if you just if you just you focus on that one mount. And you do it on every tune you have, every single week, but just the one mount so you don't burn out. I think that's a, like, you're bound to get it. You've just got to focus it. Instead of bouncing around and farming for different things and all that kind of, like, focus on one thing till you get it, and then the next thing. Uh, it's worked well for me, that's for sure. Uh, how, how did the Pope just break free of my empire? Buddy, I'm taking your goddamn hat again. <laughs> Oh no, uh, six amounts away from the 400, I have 25 characters, but not all high enough. Um, spending some time leveling them is also really worth it, just personally speaking. Um, I've got 50 tunes at 50 plus, um, so the lowest level character is 50. Uh, I've got four at 60, and then there's a bunch that are kind of like 51 to, to 54, but most of them are 50. Um, and it's, it's really worth having more tunes than you can run. Um, yeah, it just, it makes farming for pretty much anything just so much easier because then you can say I'm going to farm it for six hours a week and however many tunes you manage to get done that's it and you, you're golden but you're never going to run out of tunes and be like oh I've got this spare time and I could be farming for Invincible but I can't it's yeah it's good fun uh speak for ashes right now I only have like seven tunes that's okay seven is plenty seven is how many I had when it dropped for me seven is how many I had when it dropped for me Seven is a good number. Nothing from Muru. Alright, KJ. You've got a ton of shit for me. Let's get some drops, shall we? Azure and Blue Drake from the Iron. One drop. Amazing. Amazing. After this event, I'm going to start leveling a bunch of characters. Um, yeah, that is... I, I would highly recommend. Like, having an army of ults. If you're a collector... Having an army of alts is beneficial in so many ways. So many ways. There's a 0.00002% chance that you could farm Heartbreaker for 70 years without a drop. That's good that it's that low. It's good that it's that low. I mean, I've so far I've had a 29.18% chance of having seen it already. So it's not too like I'm 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 still within the lucky. You know, if I have it drop this year at all, I will be still in the... Even if it's the final, like, the 1600th attempt, I'll still be considered lucky by, um, by rarity. Now I shall succeed where Sargeras could not. I will get this 
and secure my place as the true master of the that will save. The end has come. Let the unraveling of this world commence. I'm in Rester. Oh, fucking mystery of a spec, just by the way. So this is this is fine. This world oh, storm. I serve only the master now. Okay. I have three fucking oh no, two cal of light's purity. Uh, but then two items that I can actually use, so that's good. Cross two things off the list. I will channel my powers into the orbs. Be ready. That's nice. So now I need to go and buy this leggings of the immortal beast from Irma. Uh, and I have to run all the fucking way out because No, I don't. I'm hearthing. And uh Yeah, I'll do that. Um, 23 to 24 set up. Just got a level. Yes. Do it. Got the whole amount. First kill me too. First kill outside of current content. I'd spent two days farming up Emperor Shaohao rep. Uh, and at the end of it, went down and bought my Heavenly Golden Cloud Serpent. And the person who I, I found a person about halfway through my second day who was farming as well. And we ended up finishing off together and going down and getting the, the mount together. And then it said Fallon's up. And so I'm like, oh, let's go do that as well. Might as well. Chance it them out. Hit the button and was running up, and then they were, you know, saying, "Oh, what, what, what does it drop?" And blah blah. I'm like, "Oh, it's this, it's this really cute, like, you know, blah 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 blah." Telling them about the thing and all that kind of stuff, and they're like, "Oh yeah, what, what is it? What is it called?" And then we killed. We got up there as Fallon was dying, and I got my hit in, and it was essentially the killing blow. And there was the mount, and I, I said to the person I was in a party with, "It's that one." <laughs> and they were like, oh my god, grass! Like, is it is it rare or is it like super common? Like, you just got it then, and I'm like, it's uh, it's a bit rare. It's a bit rare. Uh, so I felt like that was uh, the universe telling me good job for farming up the rep. Mm, it has been on and off for like two months when I started. I had four, like 55 attempts in. Yes. You just gotta keep going, hey. Like, gotta keep going. <clears throat> it can drop if you've got one character. You've just gotta be consistent with it. You've gotta keep going. Keep getting that kill every week. I have a cup on now, let's hope no chill get eaten again. Brilliant. The first day when time was started, fantastic. Mm. Zoya, welcome on in. Congratulations, that's awesome. First week of Mop Galleon spawn was rare. Tag the boss with 1% HP and then suddenly Sun of Galleon. That's awesome. That's super cool. Well done. Well done. Okay, back into Sunwell with Monk number two of four. By the way, in case you were wondering. Wait, shit, I wasn't supposed to fucking- Oh no! Okay, hang on, I need to go back. I fucked up. I need to go turn in that other thing for with the currency to buy the other appearance. I totally forgot about that. And if I don't do it now, I will forget about it completely and then I'll fucking sell the item and everything will be shit. So I need to do this now. <laughs> I just need the jade mount from the Warbringers. Ah, uh, they're easy to camp. Just AFK camp it. Uh, future away from Paragon Chess with no world quest to do. Oh no! <gasps> Nutty, that sucks. That really sucks. Very first tune, set foot on Pandaria, decided to fish in the first pool I saw. Turtle mount dropped. Yas. Oh, that's awesome. I love that everyone has those stories of like their really lucky drops. Something to keep us going when we have those really shitty times when something hasn't dropped at 4,713 attempts. <laughs> yep. Yep. God, these load screens feel so long now that I've been logging in so often with like no add ons enabled. Do 
to remember the class and pass on loot to non dropped. Oh no! Wait, which class happened? Oh shit. Because a lot of those are personal loot that just push straight to you. You don't have to pass or roll on them or anything. Uh, to remember from Northrend took me a few years of farming. We keeps fighting my mountain commanders in the mountains. You guys are not winning that. Stop it already. Hello, nurse. Doing well, thanks. How are you? Okay, so where are those pantaloons? Oh, I have a, one of these as well. Beautiful. Wait, that's not it. It's um these ones, leggings of a model knight. Okay, good. I'm gonna have a couple sun motes. Which one I still have it? Oh no! Did you get heartbreak yet? No. Did not. Okay, thanks. Fantastic. Fantastic, but yeah. No, it's all good. More runs tomorrow. More runs tomorrow. Consumer <laughs> up here or in the other building? Way to find out. Easy decision for content. Heartbreaking continuing to hide. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, I have already, like, if, if it does drop, I have content planned out for the rest of the event anyway in case it drops, um, because you kind of have to when you're in this position. It is down the other place. I thought so. Yeah, you kind of need a backup plan. It's kind of like, you know, if I win the lottery, this is what I'll stream. If I don't win the lottery, I need a backup plan. Uh... <laughs> Oh, okay, she's not here either. Where, uh, mm. One moment, please. It's from Felmist. Fifty point two twenty eight point two. Oh, it's on the boat. Right, okay. Good. Uh, Thor, Dunno, Draz, Zam, Ali, Apro, Koala, and Kay. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. <gasps> you got a skin, Ali. Fantastic news. Well done. Well done. Uh, would you still stream WoW if you won the lottery, or would you just stream whatever you want? I would absolutely still stream WoW because I actually really enjoy WoW. Um, like, I'm not just streaming it because it gets numbers, I, I stream it because I enjoy it. One of my big things for so many people, like, when they ask for advice, I, I often say, like, I mean, if you, if you have fun, if you enjoy yourself chasing what's hot, then by all means do it, but don't feel like you have to play something that's just come out just because it's the hot new thing. Like, if you're not enjoying it, you're gonna have a shit time and your viewers are gonna know. <laughs> like... Don't, like, mm, yeah, play what you love. Play what you love. And I love WoW. Um, if I won the lottery, I could stream more. And maybe I'd actually cross a few categories off the list. Greetings, friends. All right, so it's Leggings of the Immortal Knight, and I'm looking for Leggings of the Immortal Beast, uh, which is this one here. Cool, so I've crossed another thing off the list, which is good. Um, I can't hearth back, so I'm going to log out here and we'll switch on to the next monk. Stream wow from a private beach in the tropics? Absolutely fucking literally not. Sand everywhere. Uh, but still wow, if you won the lottery, would you buy tokens for mythic carries? Probably not. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I feel it's not really fun going and dying off in a corner somewhere to get an achievement and gear. 
Um, I'd probably still wait until it was doable with a group of community members, honestly. Uh, even if it wasn't current content anymore. It's just not really fun. <laughs> to me, like, obviously other people might find that very fun. Because they get their achieve and they get some gear and, you know. Not really my cup of tea. Hmm. Hire a social media manager. Absolutely. fucking -lutely. You didn't think about the Zand? Uh-huh. Has to be a decent internet connection too. An influencer wouldn't need to buy carries. I beg to differ. I beg to differ. I don't think... I don't think Mythic Raid carriers would be starstruck enough to take me for free. <laughs> That's not. I don't think that's a thing. Okay. I don't read anything from any bosses up to the twins, which is cool. How fucking batshit would it be if I finished off this entire raid with four runs on four monks? <sighs> I feel like that'd be a little bit silly. Awesome, but a bit silly. Like, where the fuck is this luck when I'm trying for the heartbreaker? <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, it's downstairs. Fuck. Oops. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm in that weird spot where I'd love to experience the content. The group I like playing with isn't really capable of CE. Yeah. Yeah, I just like. I've played with CE groups in the past, and it just. It was great fun, like killing the content was a fantastic feeling, like achieving something with a group of people that you've been working your asses off to get to, but the politics and the shit talking and the the elitism and just all of that shit that went along with it, I don't know if it still does, and I'm sure there are CE groups that are capable of the content who don't have that bullshit that go along with it, but I don't think I'm good enough to get in with those groups. Um, it's just, it's just not worth my time. It's not worth my time. Yeah, it's just, I don't have time for that kind of bullshit. <laughs> ah, it's one of those very real problems in modern gamer faces. Could be some beautiful exotic location, but does it have decent internet? Yeah. Because, I mean, you can have all the money in the world. Unfortunately, sometimes money cannot defeat literally being unable to put a cable in a location. Like, it's just, yeah. Yeah, but that's okay. Um, I still, like, I wouldn't want a private beach or, or something like that anyway, honestly. I'd be much happier in a in a townhouse, in an inner city location. Um, I'm definitely that kind of person. Get sunburnt entirely too easily. Uh... And I like having a shitload of various takeout options near me and like lots of different awesome restaurants and, and interesting food choices and bubble tea bars to choose from and like, do you know what I mean? Like all that kind of stuff is what's important to me rather than like the sunshine and the feel of sand between my toes. <laughs> like, uh, I can go on a holiday to somewhere that has sand, sure, but um, it's not like my everyday desire. And others feel differently, and that's fantastic. That's just perfectly fine. It means that I'm one less person who wants to crowd their private beach, you know? Uh, but yeah. Um, Harvest is dreading print. Ah, oh, well done, Jack! Congratulations! Nice! Just a nice place to order yourself. Ah, uh, not all to myself. Not all to myself. Um, I would very much like to take Jas with me, if he would be willing. 
because I mean he's he's my best friend and he had this is who brought in dinner and, and bubble tea earlier and who's Jasserith in chat um <laughs> he's my best friend uh, has been for years and we just we get along so well and we have a lot of the same interests but like slightly different as well like there's been stuff I've introduced him to and things he've introduced me to and stuff and it just we 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 match we match so yeah no I would love to lovely townhouse beautifully set up stream room have Jas along and uh Preferably in Melbourne, because it's where all my family is, and I miss them dearly. Get to see my mum and my stepdad next weekend for the first time in two years. It's the longest I've ever gone without seeing members of my family, because of this fucking virus. So yeah, it's um... Yeah. Can you tell I've definitely not thought about winning the lottery before? Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, every duke in the empire is a criminal. This is gonna be an amusing restro- Jazz! What happened? What did you do? Ah, oh, pretty pasty fellow myself. Do you like the beach on occasion? Feel like getting a farmer's tan of death would be a real thing. Yeah, I, uh... Sunscreen. Men are sunscreens. Uh, Australian SPF 50. And just, uh... Make sure I am coated head to toe. And even then, only be out in the sun for, like, a maximum of 30 minutes and have, like, some fucking shade. Like, one of those big-ass cloth umbrella things. Yeah. Honestly, I prefer, like, pools. Like, swimming pools to, to the beach. Because I don't like sand. It, it, I, I don't like sand. It gets everywhere and it you cannot wash it off. It's like glitter. You know? It's like natural glitter and it fucking sucks. Um... So I would much prefer like a swimming pool. Um, I do actually like, there There are some swimming pools where they have like a layer of sand in the bottom of the pool uh, and it somehow doesn't clog the filters uh, and somehow like the there's a motion in the water that it can do so it can even it out. Because obviously like if you swim in the water and stuff you'll end up with like divots and lumps and stuff like that but there's some way that these pools over time smooth out the layer of sand in the bottom and stuff like that. So you get that softer feeling at the bottom of the pool, but it doesn't come out with you. Like it can't stick to you because you're already wet before you touch it rather than wet and then on dry sand. And that's how it, you know what I mean? So yeah, I don't know. They, they sound, they sound like they're powered by magic and I would absolutely have one of those. Uh, alternatively, uh, like, um, uh, what's that? Oh, cool. Um, alternatively, like a, uh, a spa. A spa would be nice. Just be able to sit in the warm water. Warm bubbly water. Ah, uh, East Franca just became Germany. They did nothing. It's all the rebels I've spent the past 20 years shoving back into their own duchies. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. In the townhouse right now, I've got it all to myself. It's far cry from an ideal location. It could, of course, it could always be much worse. It could. It could. Like, homes are nice to have. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm, uh... I'd like a townhouse because, I mean, I, I I like apartment living. I like that it's not a whole ass fucking house that I have to take care of. There aren't gutters to clean. There's not a front yard and a backyard and all that kind of, like, I just, that, like, vacuuming and mopping is kind of the kind of housework I can deal with, but, like, like fucking, uh, fucking, what, what's it called? Um, mowing and cleaning out the gutters and all that kind no, no. <laughs> Whereas if it's a townhouse, I might have like a small paved area out the back door, maybe. Um, and the gutters, there are far fewer of them because the house goes up instead of out. So <laughs> and so it'd be a whole lot cheaper for me to hire someone to do that every so often. Because um, I'm very short as it is and I do not think I would be very safe going and cleaning out the gutters myself. Uh, I think it'd just be a, a dangerous thing to do, especially with my knee being... Um, fairly damaged anyway. But yeah, so it's like the townhouse kind of feels like a larger apartment and I don't have anyone above me or below me and I don't have to, like, you know what I mean? It feels kind of like a happy medium between a house and an apartment. Um, so look. Yeah, 
Maybe I'm wrong, but uh, from the, the townhouses that I have been in and my family have owned, it certainly feels like the, the right sort of choice for me personally. Um... <clears throat> I despise sand. I saw that happen earlier. The shoe tends to happen when the culling is deposed. Sand is one thing. I'm not a fan of all the stuff on the sand that you find in a typical beach. Yeah, miles of dead seaweed, etc. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Ah, uh, sounds pretty nice. What the fuck is my family doing? So the king of Germany and me share her grandfather. Agree with you there, Fia. It's one of the disinherited member I sent up in the world. Neurotic cat is the only roommate I need. Having friends nearby is nice. Yeah, for sure. I also have the King of Scotland as my cousin, not just not of my lineage. So I'm going to spread the family name. If you win the lottery, you could pay for it to do gutters, etc. Exactly, exactly. I mean, even if I don't win the lottery, um, I'd probably see if I could find a way to pay someone to do the, gutter, the gutters of like a townhouse. I would imagine it'd be cheaper considering there are fewer gutters to manage, but um, hmm. Hmm. You will tell me. Come on, Lord, I'm about farming. Middle of nowhere and have all the goats. Love it. Love it. Hmm. What about the pet battle, but no mount, sadly. Pet battle? Five hundred percent effective knights. Jesus Christ, Just, what did you do? Ah, oh, pet battle well cost, yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Speak. I grow That's okay. Next round. Asking. Next round. I still have a few paragons myself. I'll get there. I'll get there. I, will crush you. I still don't need any loot until the twins, until twin imps. I did my best. I'm actually, given that this is my lowest percent to completion, I feel like that's wrong. That's gotta be a lie. That's right. I'll get there. Once I get to the the main ma uh, the main mage the main monk, I'll uh, update the numbers and I'm sure it'll jump sky high. But while I wait for Phil to spawn, I might go uh check a quick chair stream. Well done. So I have a couple of those. Uh, I will be right back. To kill Jaden, death to all who oppose. Yo. Uh, how do I? Right there it is. <clears throat> oh, kill Jaden will prevail. 
Um, perfect warrior, call him here to kick ass and kill everybody, specifically in that order. Duke looks like Bill from King of the Hill, would hope so, Jaston would be kicking corpses. And they loot the corpses of the people they kill. That's almost as bad. That is the more traditional approach. Correct. But this Correct. Is far from over. I'm using bubble tea for hydrates now because I don't have any water left. You'd be fine, right? You'd be fine. <clears throat> Machine isn't cheap, everyone we kill gets to pay for it. Oh fuck. Ooh, another one. Tis a great honor. I'm sure it is, Jess. I'm sure it is. Most of the twins. And twins is where I start actually getting drops, so we'll see. It would be nice. Still a fist weapon that's a uh, zone drop, as well as the patterns. We can only hope. <clears throat> if you decide to take me on in the mountains, I kill three times as many people. It's great. Oh, fuck. Misery, depravity, confusion. Hatred, mistrust, chaos. These are the hallmarks. Within me. Okay. Spoilers of reclamation. So, holy shit, that crossed a lot of things off. Um, so that must have shared appearances. It did! Oh my god. Alright, so... Oh, I don't even have to use it as, um, thingy for anything because it shared an appearance with what it needed to purchase. Fuck, alright. So all I need from the twins now is shoulder pads of vehemence. Vehemence. That's kind of cool. Alright, I'll minimize them then. And on to Muru! I'm cleaning up in here this week. Oh, I thought that voice line was coming from my game and talk right. Oh no. Oh no. Usually like if I need to disconnect something like my, if I'm, if I notice that my mouse or keyboard is battery dying and I go to unplug it and plug it in, you know, it makes the beautiful windows noise. And I always say stuff like, this is me, not you. Like, don't stress. You're not moving anything. This is me. Or that was, and then do it. And then that was me, not you. But yeah, voice lines can be trippy. Voice lines can certainly be trippy. God, I've got so much fucking nether weave cloth. I like I think I've got over 11k now. Yeah, 14k. 14,000 nether weave cloth. I think I need to do an entire fucking stream where I do all the crafting on my tailor to get all the fucking transmog just crossed off the list <laughs> because it's getting a bit ridiculous. <clears throat> Maybe that should be a stream that I do after my surgery when I'm still recovering. Fear, high on painkillers, attempts to craft a shitload of stuff on Tailoring Toon. <laughs> it reminds me, headset has been on critical for a couple of hours now. Yes, better plug it in. Absolutely. Absolutely. Ah, oh, it's a thing the Go XLR a couple of streams ago helps with window sounds. Ah, split out system to only go to your audio, other tracks and stuff. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, see, I feel like maybe I should put it on my wish list, and then the other part of me is like, bitch, you already know how to use it. 
If someone buys it for you and it arrives before the end of February, you are not going to be able to fucking use it because you're not going to have time to figure out how to use it. So there's that as an issue. And then I feel really guilty someone buying me something really expensive that I don't know how to use. <laughs> you have a community who can teach you? Yes. While I'm drunk on painkillers, that'd be great. I'd love that. <laughs> but no, it's it's more having the time to be able to sit down with members of the community and learn how to use it. Um, but yeah, it like... Yeah, I, I do... I would like to upgrade uh, stream in a couple ways. Um, but we'll, we'll get there. I'd watch that. Good. Good. Sure, which just mean you have to hold on to a bit ball and Yeah, exactly. I just, I feel kind of guilty for someone, you know, buying me something expensive and then me not u using it. Like, it's, yeah. I don't know. Ah, uh, Ghost Last Pistol is expensive for the sound quality you get, but it's more ease of use functionality with dual PC you're paying for. Gotcha. Which I don't, I don't have the the dual PC setup yet, but so maybe that's something that I would add to the the wish list after getting the second PC. Maybe that's probably a yeah. Really understandable. Hmm. To clarify for anyone who's new here, I'm not planning on getting a new PC anytime soon. Um, but I have twenty three thousand dollars worth of dentistry to to pay for first. Um, but the idea is that when I get another, when the next time I get a new PC, usually I gut my case and rebuild it from the inside. Uh, but this time, uh, because I am an affiliate with, uh, Artesian Builds who do custom builds, custom PC builds, they build it themselves over in the US and then they ship it to you, but they build it on Twitch and they work with you to get a build that's going to meet your specifications, um, within your budget. You know, obviously within reason. Um, if you give them a budget of $50, they're not going to be able to build you anything. Uh, so I'm going to work with them to, to build a PC. And I'm like, if it comes with a case and everything, why would I get rid of this PC? I could use it and actually do a dual PC setup. Um, so that's probably what I'm going to do. But that's not for a while. I need to pay for the the teeth first. Like, that's that's priority number one. Um, because if I don't, if I'm not healthy... I can't use two PCs to stream. I can't use one PC to stream if I'm not healthy. So, yeah. So if you if you sub, if you donate, if you cheer, every anything that you do, use my affiliate programs, all that stuff. Any income that I earn from there is going towards my dentistry. So, uh, fun facts with fear. All right, there we go. That's another monk down. I think I've only got the one to go now. Ah, oh, do a PC make sound management. Cakewalk really should not be typing out these sentences. Well, auto running in the moor. Oh no, what happened, Jack? What did you do? Oh fuck, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Fear strikes again with distraction techniques. Uh huh. All right, out we hop, and we're gonna jump onto the main monk. The main monk. Monk main. Main monk. No wait, shit. What? Oh, I've got two more to go. Fuck. Okay, I've lied. This is monk three out of four. What did you run in slash off? Correct. What did you run into or off of? What have you done? <laughs> Deary me. So close to falling off on the way back from the assault. Oh, wow. Uh, dear. Oh, good news. I mean, looking at my spreadsheet of, um every single class and raid and dungeon up to and including Legion, the fact that my lowest completion score is still above 25% is pretty good. Pretty good. My overall average, uh, my, my overall completion is 63.16, which I'm uh, pretty impressed with. For someone who doesn't, who hasn't really collected transmog until like a handful of months ago, I'm I'm pretty happy about this. Bum bum bum. In we 
dagger. Hey Fia, how are you? Yeah, I'm doing all right. A bit tired, but I mean, that's not really anything new. How are you going, Chaos? Speck is this one in. Mistweaver. Okay, so I want to put Spinny Spin on here. That'll do me. Hmm, okay, have my booster shot today. Ah, oh, fantastic, congratulations. <clears throat> I have a feeling I haven't really done Sunwell on the Monk Braver before, considering all of these have gotten the achievement for exploration. Kind of entertaining. So somewhere else is 31 out of 47. My spreadsheet says out of 55, so I think there must be some like leatherworking patterns in here that I haven't picked up. That's okay. I still remember coming in here on Fear and uh, clearing all the trash up to Calicos, running out and resetting farming for those fucking patterns. Hopefully, everything crossed, hopefully all of the patterns will drop before I get 100% completion across all the classes for Transmog. But we'll see. <clears throat> we will see. I have kind of considered going like by raid or dungeon and like getting 100% across the board on the very first raid and then 100% across on the next one and but I don't know I think I think hopping around maniacally like this chaotically coatically as it were is a little more fun um I just I get to see so many different raids and dungeons each week rather than doing the same thing every week until it's done um although that would definitely be more efficient in actually clearing them out, I think. Putting, like, you know, with the the with the, mon uh, the mount thing. You know, you put focus into one mount until it's done, and then the next mount until it's done. But I don't know, this just kind of feels like it's a little bit more fun. Mm, how'd you go with the Heartbreaker run today? Yeah, 50 runs, no mount. Um, All good. Tomorrow. There's some BOE patterns that have a low drop rate, even queue at a time getting them. Yeah. Like one in one in five thousand drop or some stupid thing like that. Yeah, uh, I remember dropping in when he was running for them. Uh, yeah, the jewel crafting ones are a pain in the ass, um, but that's okay. I'll I'll get there eventually one day. Not like there aren't plenty of other things to get as well. It's like, it's like world drop BOE greens, right? Why the fuck would I buy them off the auction house when I still have 70 dungeons from that expansion still drip? But I guess I'll, you know, what I'll, I'll clear all of them. They'll all be 100% and then whatever's left, I'll buy off the AH. <laughs> like, because the chances are you'll get 98% of them from the trash just running the dungeons and raids. No point buying shit when you can get it to drop. <clears throat> And I'm nowhere near close to getting- I mean, I've got a couple of dungeons that, and a raids that are like 100% on the mage. And so therefore I've got a couple of dungeons that are at 100% on the priest and the warlock. Because there's no class specific stuff, it's just cloth. Um, and there's weapons, but they all can equip them and stuff. But uh, yeah, the rest of the classes? Absolutely fucking not. Absolutely fucking not. I just got a leather, a, a bop leatherworking recipe. Oh, 
you bastards. Bop shit shouldn't be able to drop on a tune that can't learn it. Like, fuck. Mm, I hate that so much. I mean, if they, if, like, because it's Outland leatherworking, right? If they have a leatherworking, but not Outland, then sure, let it drop. But if they have fucking tailoring and inscription, piss off. No. <laughs> just, I mean, if it drops, fine, just don't let me see it on the loop dogs. <laughs> that makes me sad. This battle's going on for a while, isn't it? Oh, it's because it's all the walls. Yeah, that's a pain in the ass. Ah, uh, we did a lose. How many were left? 162 left, Jesus Christ! Did we have like seven people on the battlefield? What is going on? I wanted to go down. Yep. Stinky cheese. Stinky cheese indeed. Alright guys, place your units. All of them, place them, put them down. Do the thing. Let's let's go. Let's go. I'm gonna buff everyone as much as I can. Okay, place units. Let's do this. I was gonna say last battle of the night, and then I realized it's only nine. Today's stream feels like it's going for a lot longer than streams usually go for, and I like I don't know why. That's really unusual, but I kind of like it. I feel like I'm getting more done. I like getting more done. It makes me happy. <clears throat> I found an air purifier um, on Amazon that I'm considering make purchase of to see if it helps with all this kind of stuff. I put it on my wish list just because, I mean, it's there and so I don't have to re-research it again. You know what I'm like. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's just getting to the point where it's so fucking bad. Mm, HP runs finished faster than usual, probably that's why. They didn't though, they took three hours, which is about eight, they, that's about average. Which is kind of scary. I hope, I want average to be lower than three hours. <laughs> the, the queues just aren't moving fast enough. I mean, you know, having one queue that was like six minutes something definitely didn't help. Okay, so we're not going to get any drops until Twin Imps, the Eridar twins. So we're not worried about not getting any alerts until then. The fate of the world hangs in the balance. Hold, friends. There's information to be had before this devil meets his fate. Don't like waiting for Uppy. Is on Vina, demon. What has become of Kalis? Mm. So, what are all of your plans for the next 24 hours? What will you be doing until you see me next? <laughs> I'm going to be doing some cleaning um, because I have been exceptionally lazy this weekend, uh, which I'm fine with. It's fucking birthday weekend. If I'm going to be lazy once a year, it might as well be birthday weekend. Sleep. Good. I'm also going to sleep. I'm going to try to sleep for sure. Uh, posture check. Sure, okay, I'll do it in a second. I'm comfy, okay. Um, uh, I watched Super Bowl, brilliant. Back to work tomorrow, headache finally getting better, fantastic. Glad to hear the the, the headache is getting better. Uh, glances at the small rebellion forming, killing more dukes by the looks of it. As an American, I'll probably watch the Superb, superb Owl too. Sleep far more charms, maybe level some tunes. Awesome. Yeah, I think what I would like to do is do some exercise. Just gentle, like, like I'm not gonna go balls to the wall trying to like kill myself with exercise or something. Like I'm, I want to do something, just ease myself back into it. Um, but yeah, get back onto those self-care activities because I've been a bit lax on them for about a week or so, 
and I think I'm really starting to feel it. Uh, what with eating all the crap food for birthday, and then um, not not the food being bad, just bad for me. You know, lots of cake. Cake is delicious. Cake is not good for me. Uh, so getting a little, like easing myself back into a bit of exercise and um, eating well and stuff like that, I think would be. I think it'd be a good plan. Good thing to start with. <clears throat> cake is good for the soul. Cake is good for the soul. Um, but you've got to, you like, I feel like this, the eternal struggle is trying to find a balance between good for the soul and good for the belly. Because I know, like, if I eat a whole lot of, I mean, I never used to be like this. I used to be able to eat crap all day, every day, and I'd be just fine, you know? But as I'm getting a little older, and maybe it's got something to do with the autoimmune thing, maybe my body's just in general angry, and so it's a lot more sensitive to stuff or something. I don't know. It's a bitch. Um, but I know that if I don't eat well for multiple meals in a row, and if I'm eating a lot of, like, snacky stuff and, and not very good for me stuff, my body starts to rebel pretty quickly. Like, I start feeling really lethargic and just slow and gluggy and gross and I get belly aches and pains and and just I start getting headaches and like all of the stuff just stops working particularly well um and that doesn't feel good <laughs> it makes me feel like shit um so having you know it's a balance having a balance is good like having some soul food and having some some body food and just kind of balancing between the two. I think what I'm struggling with is finding the balance. Because uh, I really like, I really like soul food. I really like soul food. I mean, I like, I like some body food as well. But soul food is easier to get usually. <laughs> just go buy a pack and put it in my face and I have to cook it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I think uh, finding that balance is going to be key. And there are some things that are both body and soul food. And making sure I have stock of those regularly is going to be a really good thing. Like, I bought a bunch of bananas. Uh, I forgot to buy the coconut milk. Uh, but bananas and coconut milk and cinnamon just blended up together. Some, depending on how ripe the bananas are. If the bananas are a bit green, adding a touch of honey. Um, but if they're not, if they're, like, yellow and they're starting to get a little bit of a brown speckle, you don't even need the honey because they're sweet enough. Uh, and just blending them up. And then you can have that as a smoothie. You can you can freeze it and have like popsicles, like icy bowls that you know in those molds and stuff. They're just it's so tasty and they're so rich and creamy. They taste like soul food, but they're heckin' good for you. So like yeah, I need to find those kind of balances. And I was doing a bit of a clean out of my uh, my my uh, uh, my hard drive O2. So my my PC is called Oracle. Um, she's named for uh, Barbara Gordon from before the new 52, the old 52, <laughs> um, uh, when her back was broken in The Killing Joke, uh, and instead of allowing it to destroy her life and control what she could and couldn't do and all that kind of stuff, she decided to still work for Batman, and she was set up in the Batcave with a Bat computer, um, and she could speak to Batman through his Bat helmet, through a Bat communication device. Um, I'll stop. And um, so basically, she was like, Siri, um, she'd look up on the fly while he was out doing the vigilante bullshit. She would look up the information he needed, like, like floor plans and stuff like that. And, and the maps for the ventilation systems he was climbing through and all that kind of stuff from a place of safety because she was unable to walk, uh, because her back had been broken. She was paraplegic. Uh, and she, and after that, before, instead of being Batgirl or Batwoman or whatever the fuck she was known as, uh, she became the Oracle. And um, so my PC is Oracle in honor of her uh, and her strength and her resilience and all that kind of stuff. And um, so my hard drives are O1 and O2 because um, <laughs> it's just like O1 is an SSD um, that has just Windows on it. And then I have O2, which is like a data drive. It's where a lot of programs are installed. I have stuff there, like when I record my, my streams and stuff, it'll get saved there and stuff like that. And then I have a drive that's called WoW. Uh, the, and there's nothing on there except WoW, and it's another SSD. So yeah, like, um, so I was cleaning up O2, and I realized I have like a shitload of cookbooks on there. Every time Humble has a cookbook bundle, I fucking buy it. I need to stop doing it. Because um, they're so good, but I have so many fucking digital cookbooks. When you can't see them on a shelf, you don't understand how much you have. 
Um, but I found that I actually have like three or four cookbooks that are like just smoothies. Um, I don't think I got the shoulder pads. Shoulder pads of vehemence. No, I didn't, but I have one more chance, so that's okay. Um, so I have like three or four cookbooks that are, excuse me, just juices and smoothies. Uh, and these will be handy when I go to surgery again, because I'm going to not be able to eat solids again for however long. Uh, I do have a couple more cookbooks for soups, but fuck soup. Um, I want fruit-based shit this time. So I can make icy poles and I can make smoothies and stuff like that. Um, uh, especially with juices, if they don't have bits in them, you can even dissolve gelatin. If it's a juice that can be heated and won't separate, you can dissolve gelatin in it and make gummies. And stuff is obviously not going to be great for um, for uh, the after surgery stuff. But having fucking gummy bears or whatever, like gummy candy that I can eat that isn't packed full of sugar, that will taste like a treat. Ooh. Oh, look, it's not bop. Fantastic. Um, so that will work as like soul food that's actually also body food. Kick the sweet craving. And uh, yeah, so I'm, the only issue with all of this is that it requires time to prepare. I don't have time in February, but if I plan what I'm gonna do with my time in March, then maybe I can get healthy. Uh, body food tastes like bleh, not always, not always. You just gotta get the right body foods. Body food can taste fucking amazing. You just have to get the right combinations and the right herbs and spices and stuff like that. Ah, uh, term body food reminds me of the lovely conversations of cannibalism. Not food made of bodies. Food that is good for one's body. Food that is good for one's body. Have you tried or thought of a salt lamp to help with air purification and loads of other benefits? Yes. Do not, I repeat this as loudly as I possibly can, do not put any salt lamps anywhere near your fucking tech. They will ruin them. It'll take ages, like it'll take months, maybe years, but it will absolutely destroy your tech. I've had I've had friends and family members put beautiful salt lamps on like their entertainment units next to their TVs, next to their very expensive TVs, you will find salt inside your electronics because it it accumulates. And like, the especially if you're living in a humid area where that salt is being, like those ions and stuff, they're being released into the air just because of the water in the air. I've had salt lamps um, multitudes of times um, basically melt and leave a spreading patch of salt under them on whatever surface they're on. Do not, for the love of fuck, put them anywhere near your tech. As a result, I don't have any in my bedroom. <laughs> because I have so much tech in here and it would all be destroyed in a matter of months. Don't, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Please don't do it. If you're gonna have them like in your lounge room and shit like that, that's great. Put them literally meters away from your televisions, meters. If you've got like speaker systems that sit up the back, away from those, like, do not put salt lamps near tech. You are asking for pain and heartbreak. Don't do it. But that being said, yes, I have had salt lamps in the past. I've had a few disintegrate on me because of the, the humidity in the air. Um, I currently have a small one. It's just about this kind of size. I call it the orb of power because of how it looked on the webcam. Um, but it's a USB one. Um, so it's got a really long cable on it and it's near zero tech. It's near zero tech. I had a, I've got it, like I had a string of fairy lights that I had woven around that were battery powered uh, and they died after like a month or so. And I'm like, what the fuck? What the hell's going on? I cracked open the battery pack and the battery pack was caked in salt. The batteries hadn't leaked. It was salt from the salt lamp. Just fucking be careful. Oh, okay. So I got a thing from Muru. I got a, I got a thing from Muru. Um, and it's the Harness of Carnal Instinct. Um, and I think that, yeah, there is a currency for that, so I need to go and do that after this. 
But yeah, salt lamps are really good um, for a lot of stuff, but they're also really, really good at eating through electronics. Um, so just... Hey! I got two new things. I got the Duplicitous Guys and the Golden Staff of the Sindora from Kill Jaden. Alright, so I need to go back and do that exchange for Maru. For the item from Maru. Did I get sun motes? I did. I've got ten sun motes. Jesus Christ. Um, and this one is from Yoma. Brilliant. So let's go and do that. Uh, actually, I think I can do the Dalaran Hearth. Uh, salt is a great corrosive. It is. Correct. Uh, all metal in near water have big blocks of sacrifice metals attached to them. Yes. Orb of power. Yeah, exactly. It's, it like, it's beautiful and very pretty. But yeah. Um, fair enough. Nope, mine aren't, any, aren't near any tech. Yeah. Good. I'm so glad to hear that, Donna. But yeah, mum, my mum has a... I want to say it's a 60, maybe 70 kilogram salt lamp. Like, it, it comes up to my thighs. I mean, I'm, I know I'm not tall. But it's still like my, th so it's like, where's the camera? Are you going to be able to see? So it's like up to here on me. Like it's, it's huge. Um, and this big ass thing, it's beautiful. Uh, and she has it on 24 hours a day. Uh, it's gorgeous. And um, she did have it somewhere near her, her TV at one point, And I said, hey, I know it's really heavy you're gonna need to move that and she's like why i said because salt will eat your television <laughs> like it will kill it uh and she was like oh so they moved it like on the other side of the so they moved it into like near the kitchen and stuff which is where they spent most of their time anyway uh which is good because you know you want it in the place where you spend lots of time uh but yeah <laughs> yes nom it will nom your tv correct uh but yeah so it's um just be careful of what you do with that kind of stuff like it's it's great stuff just do your research in terms of safety. Um, cause ke and keep in mind that um, niche interests, sometimes they don't overlap. Like if you think about the type of people that you would expect to have a ton of salt lamps and stuff in their homes, not a lot of them are gonna be gamers. Not a lot of them are gonna be people who watch a whole lot of TV. Not a lot of them are gonna be people who who do a whole lot of tech related stuff, right? They're gonna they're gonna do yoga and go hiking and all that kind of beautiful fun stuff, right? Because that's the the that's the stereotype of when you think about someone who has a salt lamp or seven. Um, so that means that a lot of them won't talk about the potential dangers of a salt lamp. They'll they'll talk about the health benefits and how beautiful they are and all that kind of stuff, but they won't talk about how they'll eat your television because they don't have a television. <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, it's just those kind of little things that are unusual that you definitely want to think about because TVs are fucking expensive. <laughs> I mean, they're not, but a good one can be. Um, mm, fun times. Okay, so I think it was the Harness of Carnal Instinct that I got, which means I need the Bladed Chaos Tunic which is this one. Amazing. All. Do we have? Monk. Things of the Immortal Beast. I, we've got that. Why is that a... It's still coming up as a, a cross. That's interesting. Oh, well. Not learned, but it is learned. Yeah, numpties. Okay, that's fine. Let's go back and we'll do the actual last monk now. Um. Want to buy a lava lamp? Oh my god, lava lamps are fantastic. Just don't shake them. <laughs> when I was a kid, I had a lava lamp and I shook it because I wanted it to like break up into smaller lumps. And it just like, they, they broke up and they never merged back together again. I was so heartbroken because I'm an idiot. But... <laughs> Oh, lava lamps are just mesmerizing. They're beautiful. Welcome back, Yori. Transmog hunting seems to be going pretty well. Yeah, I'm not too angry at it. <laughs> not too angry at it. Lava lamps are really fucking gorgeous. Agreed. Agreed. Cool. So, Blood, you've been timed out. The first time you came in here, you granted, you greeted me with Hey Sexy, and I told you off for that. I said, please don't. It's weird. It's like uncomfortable. Don't do it. Uh, and now you've come in saying, hey, beautiful. Um, and, you know, winking and saying, I know something else that's gorgeous. If you do it again, this is your second warning. If you do it again, you're going to be banned. 
Um, please understand that people don't like that. And this is this is me telling you that in no uncertain terms. It's inappropriate. Please don't do it. Thank you. Uh, I wish I could have salt lamp, but bad for kiddos and doggos. Yes. Yep. Keep in mind of, of other types of animals, indeed. Absolutely. Ah, uh, what just happened? I'm confused. Ignore it, Scarlet. It's a troll. Um, it'll lock in after the sellback timer. So it's, oh, but it's on a different character. Yeah, okay. That's that's fair. Annoying, but fair. Um, I had a lava lamp as a kid. It was the best thing. Brilliant. Yes, yeah. I had like a yellow one. Like the, the lumpy bits and the fluid were both yellow. Um, yeah, it was really, it was just like a little, like a, a, a stand, not a, not a big tall one that you put in the corner or whatever. It was like one that you'd put like on a bedside table or something. Yeah, super fun, super fun. They took forever to heat up though. <laughs> oh, you had to wait for it to be warm enough for it to start doing the bloopy thing. Yeah. Oh well. Oh well. Um, should probably stop taking stuff over as the Empire. The AI is probably going to have issues when I drop dead. <laughs> just enjoy the panic when it happens. Half of France is not something you just pass up. Imagine a lava lamp, lava lamp calming you down while raiding gaming. Pretty sure my aunt still has her lava lamp from the 60s. Ah, I don't know. They passed up Louisiana. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. All right. So if I jump in here, Samuel says 36 out of 55. Yeah, that's why That's why it's different on here because of all of these fucking patterns. Um, so from 14 out of 55, we've jumped up to 36 out of 55. So we went from 25% complete to 65% complete. This is pretty awesome. Uh, fun will. Zygor, give me directions. Cast to the Wandering Isle. Can do. <clears throat> Lava lamps would be something of the past scene. We all use LEDs. No heat. I know, right? No. I mean, they, they, deal, they, they do still make heat-based lights, though. Um, and I mean, even if they didn't, they could always just put an LED in there and a heating element just to heat the lumpy bits. Um, as long as they sell, they'll keep making them. So then problem half German, at least semi-efficient in this game. Ah, uh, damn it, I can take over the entire pollen too. I don't know how to respond to that, Jess. Not the only one. First ult, I'm in a level. Be a mage for portals? Fuck yes. Absolutely. Love the convenience. See the German bloodline in this comment? Oh god. Oh, gold. You lot. So I'm in tank. My goddamn problem off to hit up the speed bump. Should I be concerned? I feel like I should be concerned. Oh my god, I've just noticed after, like, I'm not gonna get to it today because we're getting close to, like, time off. But, um, the next one on my list is DK, Barrett and Hold. That's gonna be another nightmare to do. <clears throat> Oh, we've switched to green. Thank you very much, 104695702, for the biddies. Enjoy the green lighting. Uh, next thing you know, I'll have a claim on Russia or some shit. <laughs> oh, dear. In general, I want to have at least one of each class on both Horde and Ally. Good goal to aim for. Really good goal to aim for. See myself being a bird. You could be a bird as a druid. Platform. I mean, a boom chicken is also technically some kind of bird. Balanced druid. Ah! Throne wishlist. Thank you, Qualitron, for reminding me. I have, like, so many fucking packages arriving tomorrow. Um, and I'm so fucking keen. At some point in the future, at some point... Um, Jas and I are gonna do another mini photo shoot because I've got like so many clothes, <laughs> so many clothing bits and pieces arriving 
and I want to make sure that I thank everyone for the gifts like appropriately. So like do photo shoots with all the different pieces of clothing that are arriving. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. It's going to be fun. So I can thank you all for your incredibly generous gifts. Ah, oh, fuck. So I can fly everywhere IRL? Right, IRL. Slightly less, like, not quite, not quite capable with the druid. Uh, <laughs> oh, pretty. already have it, and it's the wrong class. Anyway, give every one of them engineering if you do current content. Yep. Yeah, engineering is super useful. Um... And I have stopped doing tailoring gold making in the garrisons, so I would recommend inscription as the other one if you want to make a bit of, uh, like, bonus gold on the side. But engineering's a good one. Um, hey, Avi, how are you going? What gesture is leading my armies? Um, Jazz. Is that appropriate? <laughs> is that going to work for you? Engine inscription, gotcha. Yeah. Just make the card of omens from your garrison. And, uh, flip those bitches. I had, um, I did a, I did a, um, flipping session, crafting and flipping session just before, uh, just before Lita started. Can you, can you tell? There was a few days where I couldn't do any flipping, or a day or two, because I was busy. But, uh, that jump. Keep in mind, the bottom of that graph is 2.3 million, and the top is, uh, is, um, uh, 2.9. It's a, it's a decent jump. It's a decent jump. Uh, well, which is always, how are you? How's the farming? Uh, yeah, going okay. Um, no, no heartbreaker yet, but that's okay. Tomorrow. There's always tomorrow. Um, and yeah, the transmog farming is going pretty well. I, I managed to get a couple of drops out of the druids in Vault of Archivon. I have a feeling it's going to be at the bottom of my list again really soon. Uh, but that's okay. It is what it is. I only had three that I could run uh, because of the faction lock. Um, but yeah, uh, doing really well. Running. I've run. This is my fourth monk that I'm taking through Sunwell, and I've gone from 14 out of 55. Excuse me, to 36 out of 55. So um, I'm doing pretty well with that. Uh, just uh, need those last couple drops. Last couple drops. He's a 92 year old Dane Berserker. I think he's fine. Details of in please. How is gold made? It's not about gold making. It's about um, teleporting around, I think. Pretty sure. Uh, action, aggravation tactic. Wake. Jazz sounds like cat and fodder. Oh dear. Intimidation. Don't think many people are going to fuck with a 92 year old that's got more combat skills than the next six knights combined. Good lord. Good lord. Uh, okay, so doing Lita dailies on three or four tunes, doing mountain runs on eight, and then level tunes and build garrisons. Nice. Enjoy. Uh, just keep in mind with the dailies on the two, for the, like the Lita dailies, once you've bought what you need, you don't need to keep going because the tokens don't save up for the next year. They disappear at the end of the thing. So if you're trying to like stockpile for next year, there's no point because uh, you cannot do that. Um... So as long as you've got something you're aiming for on every turn, uh, then you're golden. Uh, Nitro boots, Shadowlands, wormhole, mailbox, auto hammer, gliders, gun shoes, cloak parachute, B B R E, etc. Ah, we're from Atlantis Gaming. Hey, try hard. How are you going? Um, hashtags don't work in Twitch chat. Just FYI. I'm not sure what you were trying to link to there, but that's okay. I uh, wears a funny hat while butchering everyone, it's great. All things to buy. She get the hefty ones rest to get the rest of the stuff. Ah, so you're doing like the, the dress boxes and the dinner suit boxes and stuff like that. Ah, I should be able to afford the rest of the stuff tomorrow for Lisa. Ah, yay, Yuri! Fantastic news! Yeah, I, um, I'm just, I've done everything on, uh, Alexia and Phelan. Um, so now I'm just waiting on, so... Uh, like, Fel uh, Alexia's got 78. I'm waiting for her to hit 100. Uh, Phelan's got 140. I'm waiting on her to hit 100 and... Wait. It might be 140, actually. No, 150. I'm waiting on her to hit 150. 
Uh, and then Fia uh, is on 213, and she needs to get to 270. Um, so, yeah, they're all really close. Because um, I'm getting more tokens than expected from the... Like, I'm, I'm kind of, no, that's a duplicate appearance because I have everything from that boss. Once we have tried um, I was going to say, yeah, I, I kind of, I measured out how many daily sets that I would need, assuming I got the minimum each day from the, the runs, the, the dungeon run. Uh, so I know I'm going to hit there, like, I know I'm going to hit them faster. Um, but yeah, it'll be, it'll be good. Uh, clean that off, hopefully... Uh, hopefully I get the Heartbreaker, and that will be Lovers in the Air done until they add more shit. Uh, but I have I, I have a feeling uh, that I might be waiting a little longer for that. Did you have a claim on half of Russia? Face palms. Just need the damn Heartbreaker then. Yes, absolutely. You get out of the way, so it just runs and that's it. A agreed. Agreed. I can't wait. It's going to be so good to have all these things just off the, like... Just cross all of these off. It'd be really, really nice. Trial of Style is like next week as well. And there's like a whole lot of stuff you need from there, um, which I did not realize. So that would be, it would be nice to get that, but um, you will tell me where they are. I don't know whether or not, like, I've been told the best way to do that is to get in a full group of people. Um, and just go in there and essentially win dread. Like everyone vote for this person, then this person, then this person, then this person. One, two, three, four, or whatever the, the number of people is. Um, and just keep going through that way until you get the tokens you need. Um, I reckon we could do that as a, as a stream. I just don't know if that's, I mean, because it's cosmetics, it shouldn't, and there's no rankings for it or anything, it should be okay in terms of win trading. Um, because there are, there are other circumstances that they have explicitly said it's allowed, and all of them have been where there is no rankings, and it's, it's in order to get achievements or, or stuff like that. So, um, that should be, we could probably do that. Um, and then when free t-shirt day rocks up, that'll be fun. Chasing the, the people around Orgrimmar until they drop all the ones they need. Uh, next one is Noble Garden. And I looked before, and there's a couple of uh, a couple of bits of transmog I need from Noble Garden. Um, uh, but again, that'll be fine. I can just camp a chocolate spawn and just click it every time it spawns until I have enough and go buy them. <clears throat> mm. World War, here we go. Strongly recommend at least getting the wormhole generators for each X pack at a minimum. I'm down for that fear because I have nothing for Trial of Style, neither do I. Are you doing the MDI banner? I think it's two times 15 keys to get a unique banner. Didn't you have to be like participating in the invitationals or something for that? Or is that a, a different thing? Um, what's that called? Uh, I've typed banner into the toy box. That's Najatar, Najatar, Time Warp Badges, Salyan War Scout. There's no other toy in here. What is the qualifying gets them? Uh, I don't know. I don't know homepage currently. Right, is that for everyone or is that maybe just for the US or like because I don't remember seeing that all I saw was 9-2 stuff I could be wrong there obviously let me have a look let me have a squiz <clears throat> yeah it's not on my launcher Eternity Zen content, Eternity Zen raid preview, Fiyama streaming live, replica twin blades of Azanoth with Henshin scrap. No MDI qualifying for me. Maybe that's only certain areas or something. I don't know. Oh. 
I don't really have time to run keys at the moment. Anyway, <laughs> I mean, like, I guess I could, we could do them after I do the Heartbreaker runs for a day, but uh, I wouldn't have time to do them outside of stream. Oof, this one is kicking our ass. This one is really kicking our ass. We need one, we're gonna have, this is the last one for the day. All the units, all the units on the, the battlefield. Place your units. Join me. On the battlefield. You need two times keys only appears to be open to all. Are you NA or are you EU, Kaz? It might be EU MDI. Qualifying. I can never remember. I'm very sorry if you, you've probably told me before. Um, link into Discord. Okay, my Discord's not open at the moment, so I'll have a look later. Your EU? That'd be why. It's because it's EU qualifying, not NA. They run them at different times, usually. Yeah, if it's not on the NA launcher, it's probably because it's not available to NA slash OCE people. You too, there you go. Yeah, that kind of stuff runs at different times for different um, regions and stuff like that. Do you know it's now global? I'm aware that it's global, but the different qualifiers and stuff may not be. Especially if it's the same team. Like if they've got one team that's running it, dealing with a smaller number of players and then dealing with a smaller number of players and then collating all of that information to figure out who actually qualified uh, is a lot easier to do from a logistics perspective. Um, Misery. Ah, oh, fantastic. Confusion, hatred, <clears throat> mistrust, <laughs> chaos. These are the hallmarks. These are the Bugger, I didn't get the. No shoulder pads of vehemence. That's right. So that's gone. Um. Sure, in China, all entries are now global. Well, fair enough. Well, it's you said it was on the launcher, and it's not on the launcher for an A. And I would suggest that there's a reason it's not on our launcher. Um, like, I, I've seen MDIs on our launcher before, but, um, yeah, I don't know, maybe it's like, yeah, who knows, there, there would probably be a reason for it not being there. Um, but I'll look into it later. Um, I can't exactly do it right now. I'm going to show HD progress, four choose to grow, a few things from the vendor need to get a bit busy Easter too then. At least, like, Easter's not for a while. And there's no, there's no, like, dungeon you have to run every fucking day for drops or anything like that. You can grind it all out in a day if you wanted to. <laughs> it feels a lot better, trust me. Noble Garden was definitely one of the easier metas to get. Uh, looking at it on where I had now, similar to the last MDI, players who complete the two time trial dungeons in time will get the newest banner, encrypted banner, the opportune, and in-game toy. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, it's not in the it's not in the toy box yet. Uh, I'm assuming that they're not gonna implement it until they actually implement it in-game. Unless it's there's also a few things that if you don't have it, they don't show up, like it's a secret toy type of thing. Um But yeah, um I I yeah, if the close off, if the if the time, like the, the closing of that whole thing is during Lita, then I'm probably not going to do it um, because I I don't have time. Uh, I'm I'm playing enough WoW at the moment that I'm falling behind on other areas of my life. Uh, it's a season three item is not in the, in the game yet. Yeah, I thought as much. Sign ups close on March 20. Oh fuck yeah, that's that's ages away. Good lord, it's over a month away. Maybe we will then. Jack, you want a toy? <laughs> yeah, if it's season three, doing a doing a fifteen that early in the season, that'll be fun. That'll be fun. Can I sign up for multiple teams? Uh, probably. I mean, a team with us, you're not going to qualify, so... <laughs> I can't see them preventing people from... Especially if they're giving everyone who participates a toy. Like, 
I cannot see, like, I can see people carrying a person to get the toy, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, nah. I'm sure that'll be okay. If it's not, then oh well. I'm not really, I'm not a competitive player anyway, so. It doesn't really bother me. Uh, don't mind me asking, you still think you're heading back to Victoria? Things are slowly opening up with mine, a lot is still happening, of course. Yeah, I, I, like, my plan since I left Victoria when I was 17 has always been to move back eventually. Like, yes. Yes. Uh, this is not a recent thought. Um, so yeah, I, I am still thinking of it. I'm still planning on doing it. Um, but there is absolutely no point in moving back home and changing specialists for my dentistry and all that kind of stuff. It, there's, it will cause more harm than good. Um, so priorities. Prioritize. Um, did I get the sun glow vest? Is that what it's telling me? No. It's saying I've got one out of two. I must have picked it up at some point in the past, the, the sun glow vest. And then I've gotten rid of it because fuck me, I guess. Uh, <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, another undone. Hi, Anvina, my love. You will remember your name. Yet this day you uh, 36 out of 55. That's it. No, no extras on this tune. Nothing new. Um, that's okay. So my next, my next lowest is Repressly for Barrett and Hold. Um, I wonder if Tolbarad, which, which faction has control of Tolbarad at the moment. Uh, 20 realm, basically get Biscuit to do it anyway. Toy is a cakewalk then. Brilliant. Brilliant. Uh, unless I have to do a bunch of dungeons to unlock them. Huh? Oh, cool Tyrians are easy to unlock, right? Uh, they're all easy to unlock, it just takes effort. Um, like, well, I guess it depends on your definition of easy, but yeah, they're all pretty easy. Um... You just gotta actually, like, make a concerted effort to do it. You can't- you, it doesn't just happen as part of gameplay, you actually have to go and do the thing. Uh, alright, I'm gonna jump on Fear and port over to Tolbarad, because it's gonna be the- uh, no. Fuck it. Let's go on the DK, because I can- there's a portal up on top of Orgrimmar, isn't there? I always forget that one. And if it's the wrong faction, I can just switch. I <laughs> root all dungeons from address unlocks. Mm. Only a couple of them had them anyway. I think you're right. I think they did remove most, if not all of them. But they also removed all like the rep requirements and stuff. So yeah. Easy peasy. <laughs> Kulturans had some dungeons, I believe. Mm, no, I don't think they did. They could have. I don't remember. It was a long time ago. The Kulturans was the last one that I unlocked, but it was still a really long time ago. So I could be wrong. I could be wrong. <clears throat> All right, let us skedaddle over to TB and see who owns it. Um, FYI, Asana has been amazing for me the last couple of days, so thank you for recommending it. Finally figured out how to make a task repeat for my writing. Make sure to write every day. Yay, Yari, I'm so happy for you. I haven't opened Asana in about three days and I'm afraid to because it's gonna have all these overdue tasks. <laughs> It's going to be terrifying, but it's fine. I'll, I'll just fix it, obviously. Like, you know, things that are overdue, I'll just shuffle around and all that kind of stuff. But it's, uh, mm, I hate opening it and seeing it yell at me for not doing shit. <laughs> but it's been birthday weekend, so fuck off. <laughs> I want to try Asana, but it looked too businessy to me. That's fair. It is, like, it's designed in mind, like, keeping businesses in mind that have, like, teams and run on projects and stuff like that but it is absolutely very easy to use for an individual as well. You've just got to kind of ignore all the pop-ups talking about delegation and shit. <laughs> um, but yeah, it is kind of useful that I have, you know, I can, I've got work stuff and wow stuff and stream, cause wow stuff and stream stuff are different. Like there are things that I want to achieve in wow that aren't stream related. And then there's stream stuff that isn't wow related. Like, you know, doing banners and badges and stuff. Um, and then I've got like, 
my own personal to-do list, things like exercise and stuff like that. Like there's, yeah, it's, um, it's fun. It's fun. Once you kind of get a hang of it and you start expanding how you use it, it's great. Fuck. All right, so it's Alliance controlled. So we're going to head back to the garrison and switch over to my ally DKs. Even if I only get one run done, one run's better than nothing. these things that build a life. You have a life? I don't. <laughs> Definitely no life here. Uh, it's okay. I'll get back into the swing of it. Every so often I have things that happen that just throw my whole schedule completely out of whack and it takes me like a week to get everything back on schedule. Uh, <laughs> but that's okay. As long as it gets there, right? I guess having a life in this economy. A life in this economy. Exactly. Exactly. Lives are expensive. Both time and money, friend. <sighs> so, Alliance people, uh, is the Tolbarad portal over near all the portals in a circle in Stormwind as well? <clears throat> Yep, awesome. Thank you, Quella. I appreciate it. Thank you, Kaz. Wonderful news. Thank you, Licity. Uh, I did a grocery shop today, was way more out of the bank account than normal. Oh, no. Yeah, every so often I get a, a grocery shop that kind of stings, and then I realize it's like, oh, I'd run out of three different cleaning supplies, and I had to buy those, and they last fucking months, but I bought them all at once, you know? Yeah, it, it kind of, oof. Oof. Yeah, every so often we get a grocery shop that stings a little. Just a little. Top rod? Top rod. I have to go to the left, don't I? Yeah. Yeah, true, true. Uh huh. Or when you're like buying in bulk, you buy two weeks worth of chicken, then the next week it's cheap, and then the next week after it's expensive again because you're buying stuff in bulk. Yep. So I guess just general inflation. Gotta go with the flow, I guess. Uh, yeah, but inflation you shouldn't really notice week to week. Um,. Why? Oh, PvP. Um, yeah, inflation you shouldn't really notice week to week. Um, inflation is something that you notice when you look back at how much you spent on groceries two years ago versus how much you're spending now. Um, unless you haven't bought groceries in a couple years, then yeah. I think at this point it's less inflation and more um, like supply issues, supply chain issues with COVID and stuff. Um, that has definitely affected some prices, not all, but some. Um, so we're gonna go for 25, I think. I've not got any of my add-ons active. Good, let's enable all. Uh, I could put inflation up 6.5% in one month here in NL. That shouldn't ever Happened. That sounds like someone fucked something up big time. NL's Netherlands. It's COVID. Yeah, I mean, like, COVID has definitely affected stuff because, I mean, like, 
you know, just because stuff is growing doesn't mean, like, if you've got people out sick with COVID, then you're not going to have enough people harvesting or packing or shipping or driving in the trucks and then, you know, all that kind of stuff. So that's going to affect how much you can get from point A to point B. Uh, and then on top of that, even if you don't have anyone out sick with COVID, COVID regulations mean that people have to stay a certain distance apart and you need to, once someone has come in, you need to thoroughly clean that area before the next person. So it makes everything go slower, which means, again, you're getting fewer items from A to B and stuff like that. I mean, it's for safety reasons. So, like, I get it. Um, but yeah, it slows down the supply chain. It gets everything all kind of fucked up. Good lord. 13 out of 51. Fuck me. Alright, so, I've got to sit to 25. Because I need to. Um, <laughs> oh Jesus. Okay, let's go. Let's see. Ah, uh, definitely noticing inflation currency. Currently, stuff which was 85 currency last year, then 100 after Christmas, and 120 yesterday when I shopped. Electricity prices, yeah. Or clean as a business model. Uh, leveling people makes leveling so much more fun. Oh, sure, Scarlet. I don't find that. I find the opposite, honestly. But um, more power to you. Big supermarkets here in conflict. Large companies wanting to up prices 20% because of energy prices. Yeah, I mean, they've got like every... All the businesses along the supply chain have to somehow make a profit as well. So it's like, how do we do this? If everything's getting more expensive, we we have to we can't just absorb all those prices. We actually have to do something about it. I get it. It sucks though. It's really bad. Um, although that six point five percent is a yearly rate, as are all inflation figures. Yeah, yeah. So it's not going up. Like it's not like a, a price is jumping up by six point five percent in the space of a month. Um, it's yeah. The inflation is a year on year thing. Uh, it's really, in interesting times we are. We absolutely are. Yeah. <clears throat> Nothing new. Phenomenal. Fucking argle off. Okay. Elizabeth, let's go. Let's go. Demon, Demon's a big boy. Yep, a raid boss. It's a raid boss. They tend to be rather large. Yeah, if prices jump that much in a limited amount of time, that's not inflation. That's supply chain issues, not like, not inflation. Inflation is caused by other shit. Inflation is not caused by supply and demand. Doesn't mean it's not still shit. It's just a bit of a different thing. Nothing. Good lord, come on. Come on. <clears throat> Occutha! Profiteering monkeys. No, not, no. It's not profiteering monkeys. If something has gone up in price, it's often because there are plenty of little price things that have affected it along the supply chain. It's not about profiteering. Some of it, sure, it might be. But the vast majority of it has actual, provable, demonstrable issues that are occurring within the supply chain that has resulted in higher costs for the businesses. And the businesses can only absorb so much of that cost. They have to put the money up so they can still, like, they have to put the prices up so that they can continue to pay their fucking employees. And also pay extra employees to cover all of the fucking COVID restrictions, like extra cleaning and, and all this kind of stuff. It is not an easy time for anybody. This shit is absolutely fucked. It is not about profiteering. Wait. We need to take a breath and, and just chillax a little. Uh, WA is having a lot of supply issues, might be part of the today's bill. Um, there was a failure on the Trans-Australian Railroad as well. I read that the other day. Um, there's a train basically that goes from East Coast to West Coast and it supplies WA with a lot of shit because all the boats and stuff that come bring things in from overseas dock east side, not west side, because it's faster. And then they ship things across country via the railroad. And the railroad essentially broke down. 
there was a failure. Um, so you're fucked. That, that's what the that's what a lot of the shortages in WA are being caused by. Uh, from what I was reading. Um, yeah, that's a Yep. Uh, it has absolutely nothing to do with monkeys, correct. Um, I don't think there are many parts of the supply chain that are managed by monkeys these days. Uh, I think most of them got phased out in favor of humans. Um, got flood affected. There we go. That's what it was. Thank you. I know. I remember seeing the word failure. I didn't look into it too much more than that. I don't know if it was like erosion or a crash or I didn't know, but floods. That makes sense. Um, yeah. So that's a, that's a fun time. <laughs> you fucked. Yeah, look. I mean, it's... I don't want to make fun of the situation because it's absolutely fucking horrible, but like it's a really succinct way of explaining how WA is going right now. You're fucked. You know, it's like, it's, yeah, it's pretty simple. Uh, <laughs> so apparently I have an anonymous Wolverine looking at my, uh, my Dungeons and Raids spreadsheet at the moment. So congratulations, one of you is a Wolverine. Well done. I played Monkeys Walked Out the Industrial Revolution times. Yeah, they, they were pissed. They, so they, they left. Um, I mean, you're not wrong. Look. Oh, dearie me. Wait, why is that? Oh, I've typed in A-R-R -R instead of A-T-T -T because I am a numpty. Yes, that's correct. I'm going to see if I can squeeze in another Barrett and Hold run because I want this number to go up because this is just making me sad. 13 out of 51 is terrible. This is terrible. Monkeys were too smart for that work. <laughs> oh. That's, uh... Pretty sure that's probably really offensive to people who actually work uh, in, in some industries. Um. <laughs> ba -da -bum. Bum -bum. Ba -da -bum. Wait, am I on a monk? No. Why? What is Quaking Palm and why does it have a monk like. Uh, like. Uh, thing. Because you're a panda? Ah! Oh! I am. Look at that. Look at you go, Lissity. All the brains. Well done. Good job. That's why it looks like a monk, because it's a panda, and pandas should be monks, and monks should be pandas. Good. I broke my rule, and it, it, and it betrayed me. It, it pulled one over on me, because I broke my own rule. Good job. <laughs> Racial ability is fear a panda. Look, I sleep a lot and I eat a lot. So, look, this is the way up the hill. This is the way, indeed. You sleep, it's not effective. I attempt to sleep. How's that? I lie down a lot. Better? My first job was in a factory doing line work, making chocolate milk. Great benefit was all the free drinks, warm or cold. I love that. How do they, so do you like chocolate milk? Do you have like a big vat that mixes the chocolate flavoring into the milk and then it kind of goes bloop, bloop, bloop into each of the bottles? Or do you like put syrup bloop, bloop, bloop into each of the bottles and then like top them up with milk and then like have another one that like shakes them? How does it, how does it work? Cause like there are so many ways you could do this and we, like what is the most efficient way? It's gonna be Felix wearing bamboo, not eating it though. Correct, I do not eat my underpants. <laughs> I do prefer to wear my bamboo, although I do enjoy not eating underpants. I do enjoy bamboo shoots in like curry and stuff. Like that duck curry that I had on Friday as my birthday meal, um, like the birthday dinner. It has bamboo shoots in it and bamboo shoots are fucking delicious. So I do actually both eat and wear bamboo. So there you go. I'm a dragon, I sleep lots like Chinese and hate sharing. <laughs> Note that the drops fully mix milk into a carousel of glass bottles. <gasps> glass bottles, fancy. I only ever have like the plastic bottles or the um, like the cartons, you know, the little like mini, the, the single serving cartons. Ah, oh, look at that, 
koala -tron. Appropriate timing. If you are looking for the comfiest underpants you will ever wear, step one has got your ass covered, literally. Um, women's wear, men's wear, whatever you prefer to wear, regardless of your gender, they have a few designs available for your perusal. Um, and they're just so fucking comfy. The comfiest underpants I've ever worn. No, no ifs and or buts. The comfiest underpants I have ever worn. Highly recommend you check them out. Ah! I got a thing! I got two things! Did I actually, or are they duplicates? No! <gasps> I Guys, I got two things. Baron and Hold is now 16 out of 51. Holy fucking joises. Um, are either of them currency related things? No, it doesn't say Reprosely has one. Show me! Oh, I've got two of them! The magma plated handguards. I can go get the ah oh, cost gauntlets of the fallen vanquisher. Okay, so I need to hold on to magma plated handguards. These ones. I have to hold on to them because they're currency. Oh, there's two of them. That's really funny. Amaze balls. So I need to get the um I need to get the gauntlets from Heroic Magmore. I will not be doing that today. But I will do that at some point in the future. I just have to remember to hold on to these. Um, glass bottles, did you love to cook Chinese food? Yes. There is butts though, there is butts. Glass bottles, best to use as oh recyclable 100%. Yes, absolutely. And, 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 as they're going along the, the chain, they make the really pleasant clinking noise. I fucking love glass bottles for that. The clinking noise is delightful. I hate, every one of you. I hate you too. Give me fucking loot that I can use. God damn. Uh, but have you tried Lost Ark? No. Seems everyone is playing that today. Yep, because it's a new release. And that's what people tend to do. Uh, there are a lot of people um, with streaming who will jump from new release to new release to new release. Uh, which is totally fine. It's a totally very valid way of streaming, especially considering that there is a large community on Twitch who only watch new release games and they just kind of jump to whatever's hot right now. Um, I've found that that's not the style of streaming for me personally, uh, but that's okay. I hope the people who are playing it are enjoying it thoroughly. There were butts. There were indeed. There were indeed. All right, Akitha, let's do this. Gimme, gimme. <clears throat> gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme. How long have we got on the battle? Two and a half minutes. Oh my god, more shit? Hold the fuck. It's a cloak. Oh, it was a... No, it was a... It was a shared appearance. Fucking whatever. Okay, so... Can I do in two minutes? What is this? Currency for magma plated handguards. So I need Blackwing Descent Heroic Magma. So if I go Blackwing Descent, I wonder how quick I can get there. <laughs> um, Deathgate's probably going to help me because then I can get to play Spritter pretty quick. Oh, I won't let Rod buy a game until he's watched Twitch streams for it. Fair. Totally fair. Path to Garrison. Oh, is there no portal here? I thought there was a portal here. Oh, you bastards. Okay, that's fine. Play Final Fantasy XIV. Now they have finally a Shannon Service. Hey, fantastic, Matt. I hope you're enjoying yourself thoroughly. I did, I did have fun when I played Final Fantasy. I just do not have time for two MMOs and I've been playing WoW for like, I love WoW. I really, really do. Um, it'd take me, it'd take a lot to pull me away from it, I think. Um, but I do, I have a lot of friends who love Final Fantasy as well. So I'm so glad there's something you enjoy. Uh, Lost Ark has become the second most played game in Steam history after just 24 hours, according to The Verve. Interesting. I wonder where they're getting those stats from. Ah, uh, yeah, only so much time in a week, especially when you're doing fucking heartbreaker runs. 
Alliance. Um, <laughs> but that's fine. Oh, right, I'm Alliance. It's going to take me a shitload faster to get to Blackwing Descent. I might actually be able to get this thing. It's from Magmore, right? Magmore is like the first boss as well. And I need Gauntlets of the Fallen Vanquisher. Uh, wait, I can, oh no, Currency 4. And then it's in Stormwind where I actually buy it as well. Okay, I don't think we're gonna have enough time. We'll see how long this battle goes. We actually win this one. Be good. Let's win. Let's do it. We're planet allies versus enemies. It's a pretty cl close count. We lost it. We've lost this one a couple times now, I think. So let's see if we can win. No, 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 no. Blackwing just sent someone on top of the mountain, I think, as well, which will make things a bit easier. Less navigation. <clears throat> oh, we're winning! Can we continue to win? And do we eat? is on heroic as well, so raid difficulty heroic. Everyone's clumped up, they are. Oh, no, look, they're spread out. There's a couple of clumps. There's a couple of clumps. Mortals that fancy themselves heroes have entered the broken hall. Oh, I do hope this raid will appease you. We definitely look like we're doing pretty well. Ah, <laughs> X all the hydrates. I'm gonna have to refund a couple of those, I think. I think I have enough uh, bubble tea left. Alright, I'm in combat with Magmore. Now yeah, we got this. I found this fascinating specimen in the lava underneath this. I've defeated Magmore. I got some transmog. I got Gauntlets of the Forlorn Protector. No bank. I didn't get any bank. That's okay. Next week. Da -da 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 -dum, da -da -dum, Congratulations to Z, Spam, Len, Kludgy, Draz, Apro, and K on all your bonus shit. We're not going to do the boss fight. We're going to do that tomorrow. I'm going to hop back to here. I did not, unfortunately, get the bank um, token that I needed to buy the next piece of transmog to cross it off the list. Uh, but it does mean that my DK at 16 out of 51 is no longer the lowest percentage on the board. Uh, that honor now belongs to Barrett and Hold still, but for Warrior. So it is my warrior that will be taken into transmog huntering next. Yay, first try. Yay, Z! Fantastic. All right. Look at this. It's a it's a diagram of how tired fear is. <laughs> What's today? The 13th. So we've finished up another week of February. Uh, heading into Monday tomorrow with Heartbreaker Farm, followed by our regular Mount Farm Monday shenanigans. Um, I hope you'll be here. If you rock up, like, at the start of stream, which is 4 p.m. AEST, or you can scroll down, click Fiyama, and then click Schedule, and it'll convert it to your time zone. If you're here at the start of stream, 
we will be doing Heartbreaker Runs and you are free to join me. If you type exclamation add me into chat, it'll give you my battle tag. You can then add me to your Battle.net friends list. Uh, then when I'm queuing up for the runs, you can find me in quick join. I'll let you know when I'm doing Horde and when I'm doing Alliance because we can't do cross-faction stuff just yet. Um, I am North America slash Oceanic, so unfortunately our EU friends aren't able to jump in with us, but that's okay. We do what we can. Um, and that's, that's where we're, yeah, that's what we'll be doing. Um, and then followed by our regular Mount Fun Mon Monday stuff. So working on getting my reps up on Alliance side to try to purchase some exalted mounts, uh, working on Paragon caches, all sorts of stuff. We're probably not going to make our way all the way through to Island Expeditions tomorrow. I am just going to work through my normal list that I have, but we're probably only going to get somewhere like halfway through it because we're only going to be doing it for around three hours, maybe less if I get faster queues. If I can get enough of you to join up with me, I'll get faster queues and that would be fucking awesome. Uh, then on Tuesday, it's another bonus stream on the 15th with just Heartbreaker Farms. Wednesday is Heartbreaker Farm followed by some pet hunting followed by some pet hunting. Uh, so I've got nearly 2,000 um, polished pet charms to spend. Uh, so I'll be able to go through and buy a fuckload of pets with those that I don't already have. Uh, and then we might go through and do those, uh, prepare the battle pet dungeons uh, and get some more of those currency. I should be able to, that should be the third one of a few of those. So I'll be able to buy the, the three currency pets uh, for a couple of those, which will be awesome. Um, then Heartbreaker Farm on Thursday the 17th. Just Heartbreaker Farm. When they're done, I'll piss off. Uh, same thing on Friday, but please check the schedule for Friday. I'll be starting at midday, 12 noon AEST. Check the schedule to see what that converts to in your time zone, because that is the day that my mom arrives. And she might actually get here while I'm still streaming. Uh, and I've told her that she's free to rock up whenever she she's ready. Like she can come around, doesn't matter if I'm streaming or not. Um, so you guys may or may not bear witness to me seeing my mum in person for the first time in two fucking years, which whew, will be a big deal. So um, hopefully, hopefully you'll be able to make it for those runs, even though it's a bit earlier in the day. Um, Saturday the 19th will be later in the day. It'll be the 6 p.m. time that the Thursday, the Tuesday, Thursday ones are. Uh, and then next Sunday, we're going to do what we did today. Um, do the Heartbreaker runs and then into, into Transport. And that is the week of... Oh God, that took me so long to explain a week worth of... Usually I kind of keep people updated on the weeks where if you're new here, I'm like, this is what we're doing over the next week. Hope you can join us. But because of all the fucking bonus streams, it takes me 10 years to get through it all. Good lord. I look, I'm this is great fun and being here every day is has been really entertaining for me. But fuck, I'm looking forward to having a day off. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to not having to put makeup on for a day. It'd be really I mean, not that I have to. Obviously not that I have to. Um, but I do enjoy the way that I look on camera with rather than without makeup. And it's fun. I do enjoy putting it on and having you guys guess what mount it is and stuff. That's it's a lot of fun. But, um, yeah, it's just, it's a time. It's a time. Um, Noonstream, yes, Noonstream like it was uh, yesterday. Same time as it was yesterday. Um, Grookey, by the way, looked awesome on Insta. Yay, I'm so pleased you liked it. Uh, Boda shit has a cool down. No. Oh. It's not supposed to. Give me a second. Maybe it has like a one minute cooldown accidentally. Uh, let me. No, it doesn't. It might have been because it was exactly at the same time or something, but it doesn't look like it was. There is no, there is no cooldown on bonus shit. I'm looking at it right now. Cooldown, cooldown, minute zero. User cooldown, minute zero. I don't know what happened there. I'm a little confused. Um, yeah, it's not supposed to have a cooldown. Uh, I guess I'm just making a thing done. Now, England and Germany are both of my dynasty. Holy shit, that's, uh, that's special. Um, I can't wait for a nice long march. March is going to be good. It's going to be, a, it's going to feel really relaxing. Not only will I not have bonus streams every fucking day, but I'm going to take time off. That's right. 
Fear is cancelling streams in March. Because she's having surgery, but still. <laughs> it's still actual days off. Like proper no stream days when there's supposed to be a stream. Ah, uh, rip, I'll be at work. Oh, that's okay. There's always the VOD, Kay. Always the VOD. Yeah, if your mum arriving. And you can also, like, if you're, I'm not sure what you do for a job, um, but if you have the Twitch app on your phone, there is an audio only. There is an audio only mode, so you can pop your headphones in and listen to stream, but not actually watch it. FYI. It's, uh, and you still, in audio only mode, you still have access to chat, but it kind of prevents, it, it eliminates one little temptation to be watching it. You can just kind of listen to what happens and wait for me to deafen you when the mount drops. I'm a fair be on stream. Maybe. No guarantees. No guarantees, but there's a maybe. I know she's arriving that day uh, and she's meeting a friend for lunch because she knew I was streaming um, and she didn't want to make me feel like I couldn't stream because she knows how important all this is to me. Um, and so, yeah, she's going to go out for lunch with this friend of hers, but I told her, like, if, if lunch finishes early or whatever and you're kind of just, like, pottering around, not sure what to do, feel free to come around. Jas is here. He can let you in. He can get you a drink. He can, you know, have a chat to you and all that kind of stuff. Or you can always interrupt stream. I would be more than happy to, to have you as a special guest. Um, but we'll see how we go. Um, fear mum. Fear mum. Yes. Tissues needed potentially. Yeah. It's going to be so good. I'm I'm so excited. Tony Windrider. Yep. <laughs> Wonderful stream. Oh, no worries, Lucky. You've been having a lot of fun just listening. I'm so pleased to hear that. That's fantastic news. Oh, fuck. Yeah, you can't add extra X. It's... <laughs> oh, wait, you're going to rest? I know. I'm going to be high on painkillers and I'm going to just sleep for like three days. Uh, I'm guessing it has an internal block to prevent race conditions. Oh, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, the AI took the Empire's reins and managed to lose the half of France and Italy within five years. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, I need a new claimant to Italy to the border. Try to lurk and be shitty in order. Of course. No, of course. Okay. There is no pressure ups at all. Um, like, you are not obligated to be here or anything like that. It was more as a general suggestion if that is something that works with your current situation. If not, totally okay. There is always the VODs if you want to look, if you want to watch or listen later. Not a worry at all. Uh, I managed to keep Poland. Oh, if your mum is considerate. Oh, she's amazing. She's just... I don't know how I ended up with her as a mum, but I am so thankful for it. So thankful. Uh, it's not extra. It's to bypass a recent repeat spam chat thingy. Right, gotcha. Gotcha, test CD. Gotcha, understood. Alrighty. We are going to send a friend of mine some love. Because I need to go to bed. Uh, here we go. If I can spell correctly. Oh, that'll be Jack. For the race conditions comments. <laughs> That's funny. Did you finish your hydrates? Not quite yet. Grab your copy paste. Three done. I'll refund the rest. Um, so grab your copy paste. If you don't have the Fiamma Hype emote, um, you can still copy and paste the whole thing. Delete Fiamma Hype, replace it with your favorite Happy Hypey emote. Drop it into Berry's chat when we get there. Berry is playing Pokemon Legends Arceus, which is what I have been doing all day in my underpants whilst I wasn't streaming because fuck doing housework. It's birthday weekend. Piss off. So <laughs> I finished the story. I'm working on the post story now, which I'm very pleased about. And uh, I've gotten to a particular battle where I'm like, ah, oh, shit, I can't do it. I cannot do it. It's time for a leveling montage. Um, I will see you tomorrow because you will be here because you don't want to miss me getting that heartbreaker, do you? No, you would, you would kick yourself a lot if you missed it. Take care of yourselves, be nice to each other, and I will see you in less than 24 hours. All the love. Mwah. Bye.